Han Fei immediately understood the true meaning of the Tao heart. This was something he had never understood before. Even though Han Fei had made a great wish, he didn't understand what a Tao heart was. But now, he did. However, this epiphany required a premise, that was, the disassembling degree of spiritual energy had to reach 100%. This was because with a thought, he could create spiritual energy. Creating spiritual energy that belonged to his Tao doubled his strength. Even if his disassembling degree had reached 99% and he could completely construct spiritual energy, it was still disassembling spiritual energy, and relied on his understanding of the structure of spiritual energy. However, that was not enough. The last step was still missing which was, with a thought, the Tao runes would appear, with a thought, the spiritual energy would change. This thought was actually referring to his Tao heart. In other words, his Tao heart would produce Tao runes, and his Tao heart would produce spiritual energy. Under this premise, the stronger the Tao heart was, the stronger the power created would be, and the stronger his strength in the sea establishment realm would be. Therefore, although Han Fei hadn't become a king yet, he already understood the goal of the sea establishment realm, to firm his Tao heart and study the great Tao so that he could become stronger. Han Fei couldn't help but look at the old turtle, sympathetically. So what if he was an emperor? An emperor had never realized the true meaning of the Tao. Heart. In fact, as long as one's disassembling degree of spiritual energy didn't reach 100%, it was impossible for him to comprehend the true meaning of the Tao heart. How could they understand this last step? Han Fei couldn't help but smile. It turned out that it wasn't that no one in this world could fully disassemble spiritual energy, but that people were eager for quick success and all chose to make a breakthrough in a hurry. Even though many of these people had reached the sea establishment realm, they still didn't understand this truth. Or rather, they thought that disassembling spiritual energy was just what venerables should do. Therefore, after they reached the sea establishment realm, they never picked it up again. Han Fei couldn't help looking at the old turtle. Old Yuan, have you continued to disassemble spiritual energy after you reached the sea establishment realm? The old turtle said, I had tried, but I didn't succeed. At the end of my sea, Establishment realm, I only disassembled spiritual energy, to 99%. However, it was useless. I had communicated with the other emperors, but I knew that even the monarchs couldn't disassemble it to 100%. Besides, after the sea, Establishment realm, the Great Tao, is connected to the Origin Sea. The Origin Sea can create its own Tao rune energy. Everything went very smoothly. Han Fei. Han Fei didn't know what to say. This was the change of a thought. The last. 1% was not the way to disassemble, but the way to think, which was. Related to the Tao heart. However, many people were lost and didn't understand. However, the old turtle said even the monarchs didn't figure it out which Han Fei didn't believe. How could someone who could reach the level of a monarch not even understand this? He had only listened to a lecture and his eldest senior brother had solved his problem. Seeing Han Fei's expression, the old turtle couldn't help but say, don't think I didn't work hard enough. The other emperors couldn't do it either. You can't only blame me. Han Fei shook his head slightly. Okay. At this moment, Han Fei had deduced the heavenly deceit technique and comprehended his Tao heart and his combat power had soared, so he was in a good mood. Han Fei looked at his gains. 
Among them, there were 461 so-called monarch palace keys. This number might shock these people. Among these keys, in addition to the trash of the monarch palace, there were also a few useful things. One was 13 mystic yellow stones, one was a green gold key, and one was a green bamboo. This key was the first real key Han Fei had seen. Han Fei felt that it might be useful. The demon purification pot couldn't tell what the green bamboo was, so it didn't know what it was. However, its quality was definitely extraordinary. Therefore, it was listed as a treasure by Han Fei. The others were all bottles, stones, jade, swords, and weapons. However, they were stained with the luck of the monarch palace, so they could barely be used as keys. No matter what, he had gained more than 400 keys. On this trip to the land of King Death, the Snow Lady only asked for 20 keys. It could be seen that this thing was not easy to find. In the next two days, Han Fei adapted to his new power again and felt the feeling of creating power to fight. Only then did he leave Forge the Universe. In satisfaction. During this period, the old turtle asked about Han Fei's disassembling degree of spiritual energy. But Han Fei just said, it's a secret, which made the old turtle really mad. In the outside world. It had been less than four hours since Han Fei came into the cabin to cultivate. When Han Fei came out, I Snow Chuling was still on the way to the exit. The ship wasn't moving very fast, or to be exact, very slowly. Seeing Han Fei come out, I Snow Chuling was a little surprised. She said, Heavenly Master, I feel that you seem to be a bit different. Oh? Han Fei sensed that maybe it was because he had changed his great Tao and pretended to be Shui Zhan. Han Fei said, let's go. It's time to show up. Buzz. The big ship teleported a few times and soon came within 200,000 kilometers of the exit. Huff. As soon as the big ship arrived, they felt crazy shockwaves. The accompanying impact was clearly caused by a great battle. When Han Fei scanned around with his perception, he found that there were hundreds of battles at the same time. Near the exit, there was a melee. All the major forces were guarding here. However, looking at the battlefield carefully, this melee had its limits. Most of the battles were between humans and sea demons, human and merman, and human and undersea humans. At this moment, the 36 mystic worlds of human beings began to be more united. The mermen, the hundred demons, and the undersea humans also began to stand on the same side. No matter how the major powers fought each other during the exploration of the land of King Death, they still had to be united at this critical time. Otherwise, the battle would really be a mess. For example, some human heavenly talents were fighting fiercely with the mermen. Some human peak-level venerables were fighting the hundred demons and the undersea humans. Han Fei scanned with his perception and saw that there were less than one thousand people here, only seven or eight hundred. He wondered if everyone had come. At this moment, the peak-level venerables of the Snow God's Temple were with the people from the Wind-Slaying World and the Thunder-Fire World, and were clamoring against the undersea humans. When Han Fei's big ship gradually approached, it appeared in everyone's perception. A heavenly talent from the Wind-Slashing World shouted, Holy Lady Chuling! Master Holy Child, quickly reinforce us. Roar. Thunder fire sky shattering. A powerhouse from the thunder fire world held a lightning hammer and stood. Proudly in the air. Wind and lightning gathered and he smashed out a thousand. Lightning arcs, fighting a giant lobster. 
A wind-slashing world powerhouse flashed in the void like a phantom and was attacking a super eel. Hanfei said, let's fight. We still have to fight. Ice Snow Chuling was slightly relieved. She tapped her toes and flew into the void, shouting, are the people of the Snow God's Temple safe? As Ice Snow Chuling approached, the peak-level venerables of the Snow God's temple were all refreshed. Some of them replied, Holy Lady, fourteen people have returned, and six haven't returned. Yet. Ice Snow Chuling was slightly relieved. At least, these fourteen people were safe. Plus her, Chu Yang, Qin Yu, and Han Fei, there were eighteen people. This time, a total of twenty-four people from the Snow God's Temple came. If only six. People didn't return, it was acceptable. As soon as Ice Snow Chuling arrived, a strong master of the undersea human race shouted, the holy maiden of the Snow God's Temple. Heh, it's said that. She's just a girl who has just made a breakthrough. Come, let me fight you. Behind Han Fei, Chu Yang and Qin Yu had also arrived at the deck. Seeing the situation, the two of them became serious. Chu Yang said, that person is the old thief of the undersea human race, Iron. Claw. We can't let the holy maiden take the risk alone. I'll go support her. Qin Yu said, the wind-slashing world doesn't seem to be able to withstand it. I'll go help. The two of them glanced at Han Fei and thought to themselves, this guy might have his own plans. Their statuses are not as high as Han Fei's, so they'd better not tell him what to do. Han Fei was looking at the crowd, hoping to take this opportunity to hook up with the people from the glazed glass world. At this moment, the only ones who were fighting fiercely were Mushue Sisi from the Supreme Mystic World and a girl from the glazed glass world. Their opponent was a powerful half-king of the undersea human race. At this moment, Mu Shuizi shouted, Mu Shi, use the three-foot glazed spirit. Splitting sword to attack his soul. The woman named Mu Shi flashed. The void bloomed, and the glass glowed. As she opened her eyes, a colorful light sword reached the center of the half-king's eyebrows. The wandering god scorpion spike. A giant scorpion turned over and stabbed at the small glass sword in midair with green light. Mushue Sisi hurriedly shouted again, Sisi, retreat 30,000 feet. Flowing light. Shield, shield counter star cloud arrow. Mushue Sisi stepped on a strange array map and appeared thousands of meters. Away with a swish. She shouted, supreme mystic water bind, ice flood dragon. A water-colored cage appeared in the sky, and the head of the ice blue dragon shot into the sky. On the other side, Mushi retracted her light shield and looked at the falling light in the sky. Ripples appeared on her shield and spun at the stream of light. A big arrow of light split into three thousand arrows and shot at the undersea human powerhouse. In fact, this was just what happened on one battlefield. Every battlefield had such exciting scenes. These people were all strong. Masters. Whose fighting wasn't fierce? Huge waves surged, and the sea couldn't. Calm down for a long time. Roar. Scorpion tail soul attract, freeze eye. The strong master of the undersea human race stepped on an ice dragon, and locked his bloodshot eyes on Mushi. A blue light shot out like a hook. Obviously, he was trading injuries for injuries. However, Mushue Sisi's expression changed drastically, and she shouted, Sisi. Water glass body, quick. However, Mushi's reaction was still half a beat slower. In an instant, Mushi was dumbfounded. Buzz. However, the expected soul damage didn't happen. When Mushi opened her eyes, she saw a man in a snow-white cloak standing in front of her. 
This person stepped in the air and instantly arrived in front of that undersea. Human. Mushue Sisi was the first to react. Although she was surprised that Shuajan would help them, she still reminded him. Be careful of the blue electric. Scorpion poison, which is extremely fast. Sword, come. In the eyes of the two women, Hanfei stood still in the air. His two fingers were like swords, and he pointed at the void. The sea behind him turned into a sword, and the sword of the sky carried twisted void cracks as it rushed. Forward. Swish. 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 Roar. Hanfei secretly roared. How could the strong master of the undersea human race be a match for Hanfei? After being roared at by the hundred beast soul devouring, his mind went blank. At this moment, with continuous popping sounds, this person was instantly minced into pieces. Hiss, so strong. Mushue Sisi and Mushi looked at each other. This person didn't go far in front. Of the bronze door. Why was he so strong? Hanfei grabbed the man's soul with the void lines, and then looked back at Mu. She indifferently. He raised his hand and held an invisible needle between his fingers. If I hadn't come just now, you would have died. Hiss. Soul-destroying needle? Mushi's face turned pale with fear. Mushue Sisi's eyes widened, and she couldn't help but say angrily, this. Undersea human is so vicious. He even used the soul-destroying needle. How? Shameless. However, Hanfei said, the winner is the king. How is it shameless? Mu Shuizi curled her lips slightly, and Mu Shi hurriedly bowed. Thank you for saving my life, fellow Daoist Shuizhan. Mu Shi will never forget it. Han Fei threw the soul-destroying needle over and said casually, be careful. Next time. Then, Han Fei floated away without looking back. In a step, he stepped. Thousands of kilometers away and disappeared from their sight. Mushi was still holding the soul-destroying needle in a daze when she heard. Mushue Sisase, okay, stop looking. He has already left. Did he even take? Your soul away? Mushi blushed and said shyly, Smelly Sisi, what are you talking about? At this moment, Mushue Sisi glanced at the sun moon shell that the undersea human expert had dropped and immediately grabbed it. Mushi exclaimed, Oh, Sisi, did he forget to take the sun moon shell away? Mushue Sisi was lost for words. What do you mean forget? He didn't intend to. Take it at all. He left it for you since you fought so hard just now. Mushi blushed again. Really? I'd better return it to him. Mushue Sisi said, Yes, he killed this person and saved your life. This son. Moon shell should belong to him. All right, the situation here is critical. Let's return it to him after the battle ends and we go out. Well, at that. Time, you can go to the snow god's temple. If you can call your master over. Maybe you can even be engaged. Ah. Stinky Sisi, I'll tear your mouth apart. On Han Fei's side, the old turtle said, Will this work? Are you sure she will? Give the sun moon shell back to you? Han Fei said, I'm not sure. However, the education standards of the heavenly. Palaces such as Supreme Mystic and Glazed Glass are not bad. These people are kind-hearted. I saved her life. Logically speaking, even if it's to smooth out her great Tao, she will send the sun moon shell back. The old turtle said leisurely, however, where did you get soul-destroying? Needle? I didn't see it. Hanfei Grandin said, I found it from someone else's sun moon shell. Anyway, the battle just now was fierce. They can only blame themselves for not.
paying attention and won't suspect that I took out the soul-destroying needle. Han Fei searched with his perception and finally found Xin Yu in a corner. Near the battlefield between the Hundred Flowers world and the Blue Cloud world. Earlier, this guy escaped from the blood pool. He didn't expect that this guy hadn't left yet and was still hunting here. Han Fei grinned. Since you didn't leave, don't blame me. Buzz. Han Fei activated the twin divine technique, and his white mist body returned. While his black mist body went to the battlefield. In this chaotic battle, it was impossible for these people to discover Han Fei's black mist body. Therefore, Han Fei approached blatantly. After only twenty seconds, when the black mist body floated and attached to Xin Yu, this guy didn't notice it at all. As for the powerhouses of the Hundred Flowers world, they were certainly good at using demonic plants to fight. Their control technique was very extraordinary, and this area had already been covered by demonic plants. However, Xin Yu was not weak. Few people could escape from Han Fei. Even if Han Fei couldn't exert more power because of the restrictions, his enemy wouldn't have been able to escape. If it were someone else. At this moment, a man and a woman from the Hundred Flowers world, one set up a spiritual plant trapping array, and the other summoned thorny vines. When the three parties collided, it was like a terrifying sea beast emerging. From the sea, extremely ferocious. However, although the attacks of the Hundred Flowers world were strong, on a closer look, one would find that the massive forest of demonic plants was full of blood-colored centipedes. A large number of demonic plants were riddled with holes by the centipedes. The other people of the Hundred Flowers world were restrained by the other people of the undersea human race. At this moment, Xin Yu smiled coldly and said, You too, as long as you hand over the resources in your hands, we won't have to fight to this point. You humans haven't arrived yet, and now, your hundred flowers world is even more short of manpower. I'm afraid your lives might be in danger. The woman from the hundred flowers world shouted, Xin Yu, we know you are powerful. However, you should have been seriously injured before, right? Aren't you afraid that the black and white ghosts will come again? I don't believe that you have a second chance to escape. Ha ha ha. Xin Yu laughed. The woman of the black and white ghosts is the princess of the Merman royal family. The man is obviously a human powerhouse. If they dare to show up at the entrance, do you think they can escape if a king interferes? Not only venerables could enter the land of King Death, but even kings could. If people knew that Xia Xiaochan was with Han Fei, neither Han Fei nor Xia Xiaochan would be killed. At that time, it was completely possible for a king to break the rules and enter this place. However, just as Shen Yu finished speaking, suddenly, a black fog enveloped him. In the next moment, a mocking voice appeared in Shen Yu's mind. Do you think you can scare me with a king? Evil ghosts hook souls, and impermanence takes lives. Today, no one can save you. Who is it? Shen Yu's face suddenly changed. How was it possible? He was here? Where was he? But at the next moment, Xin Yu felt that her body was cut apart as if ten thousand ants were eating her heart. Immediately, he felt that his soul had been broken through. An inexplicable power was locking his soul, and then he couldn't move. Han Fei said leisurely, no one has dared to appear in front of me after tricking me. You are the first. I can't make an exception. Therefore, die. Bang. In the black fog, a shocking power erupted. The person from the hundred. Flower's world was shaken back a hundred kilometers, 
and the surrounding. Demonic plants and vines were instantly flattened. At this moment, the two of them were dumbfounded. The woman asked, Where is Xinyu? The man said, I don't know. What is that black fog? It looks like a demonic. Might. Did this guy become a demon and blow himself up? The woman was lost for words. No, no. He was slaughtered. His sun moon shell. Is gone. Hiss. Immediately, the two of them retreated. This top powerhouse had been killed in front of them silently? They didn't. Even see the shadow of the attacker. It could be seen how terrifying the other. Party strength was. At this moment, not far away, on the side of the blue cloud world, a heavenly. Talent looked over in shock. Fengshir, Hua Ying, the two of you actually. Killed Shen Yu? Impressive. After we go out, I'm afraid you'll be in the. Limelight. Hua Ying said with a black face, shut up, Wu Liu Qi. Don't tell anyone about. This. The young man named Wu Liu Qi grinned and said, what a great achievement. Uh. Okay. I won't tell anyone. However, it's useless even if I don't. Someone must. Have seen it. Fengshir sighed. Hua Ying, we can't take the credit. After we go out, we have. To refute the rumors. Otherwise, if our strength and reputation don't match. The consequences will be serious. Huang nodded heavily. Yes, the person who can easily kill Shen Yu can't. B.S. Han Fei didn't care what the two people from the Hundred Flowers world thought. He had already fused his twin bodies. At this moment, Han Fei was helping a disciple of the Snow God's Temple, kill a peak level venerable. Thank you for your help, Master Holy Child. Han Fei nodded. Yes. It doesn't matter. Such battles and looting didn't happen all the time. The people from the snow. God's temple weren't high profile. They didn't take the initiative to attack. Nor were they afraid of fighting. Two half-kings of the hundred demon clan came to test the strength of the snow. God's temple. However, Han Fei killed one and the other was seriously injured. By ice snow chuling. Instantly, no one came over. Han Fei and the others had some free time. Outside the land of King Death. The kings didn't look good, especially the kings of the Supreme Clearness. World, the Infinity World, and the Golden Crow World. At this moment, on the big ship of the Infinity World, Beitang Xian was. Seriously injured and asleep. After more than three hours, he finally woke up. When he woke up, he saw the figure in front of him and hurriedly said, Uncle. Am I out? This person was the king leading the team from the Infinity World, Bei. Xian Bing, who was also Bei Tang Xian's uncle. Bei Xian Bing said, Fortunately, you used my last bit of strength to save your life. Otherwise, you would have lost your life. Xia Hai from the Golden Crow World has already told us the details. A human heavenly talent joined. Forces with the princess of the Merman royal family to hunt the supreme. Clearness, infinity, and golden crow heavenly palaces. At this point, we three. Heavenly palaces have suffered heavy losses. Beiteng Xian heaved a sigh of relief and said, Uncle, it was not that I was too weak, but that person is extremely strong and can actually withstand a blow from the palace master without dying. I even suspected that his strength had reached the sea establishment realm. Bei Xianbing said indifferently, we already know that. However, to maintain a balance, we can't enter. Now, we can only wait. There are only so many human powerhouses in total. If we look at them one by one, we can eventually identify that guy. 
Bei Xianbing didn't dwell on this question but said, Tell me about the bronze. Door. Three days later. Of the remaining six people from the snow god's temple, only one came in the end. This meant that the remaining five people had already died in this place. Hanfei knew that this ratio was not bad. The probability of death was about 20%. He didn't fail the snow god's temple. And up to now, the battle had basically been resolved. It was impossible to fight all the time. Those who went out had already gone out. At least, most of the peak-level venerables had gone out. Including the people. From the snow god's temple, there were only four half-kings left. In the last hour, when the major powers were about to leave, there was some commotion. For example, the peak-level venerables of the Supreme Clearness world discovered, to their shock, that Jichen didn't come out. They didn't believe that Jichen could have died in the land of King Death. For example, Bai Muling and Situ Yuhong were still waiting for Xia Xiaochan and Han Fei to appear. However, they were destined to disappoint. For example, the people of the Five Elements world were also shocked. Where was Five Elements Chen Hao? But most people walked together. The half-king heavenly talents of the wind-slashing world and the thunder-fire. World gathered. These three worlds were on good terms, because the heavenly. Palaces were geographically close, and the heavenly talents knew each other. Li Xuanfing from the wind-slashing world said, You two, let's go together. It. Seems that the results of the snow god's temple's exploration are not bad. It. Seems that not many people died. I snow chewing, maybe we are just lucky. In the outside world. Swish swish swish. When figures came out of the exit of the land of King Death one after another. The king scanned across with their perceptions, the sea waves surged, and an invisible pressure enveloped the sea. Buzz. As soon as Han Fei and the others left the land of King Death, they went straight to the snow god. Han Fei sensed that several king-level perceptions had scanned him. However, he was not afraid or panicked at all. On the snow god, the snow lady stood on the deck. At the stern were peak-level venerables of the snow god's temple. The snow lady glanced at the two of them indifferently. You too, follow me. No one would doubt that. After all, they all went to find the keys. Now that they came back, the keys should be kept by the palace master first. This was a matter of course. It was just inconvenient for them to give the keys to the palace master on the deck. The two of them followed the snow lady into the cabin, and the snow lady said, Long story short, you caused a lot of trouble in the land of King Death. It's fine if it's just trouble, but what's going on between you and the princess of the Merman royal family? Han Fei said, casually, my woman. The snow lady. The snow lady was speechless. How many days has it been? How did you make the princess of the mermaid royal family, your woman? However, the two women immediately realized that it couldn't be that simple. Especially I Snow Chuling, she guessed that Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan had known each other before. Where did they meet? This was worth thinking about. Of course, the Snow Lady didn't dwell on this question. She said, has she returned to the royal family of the mermen? Han Fei shook his head. She's with me. The snow girl was stunned for a moment. How dare you? However, at this time, Xia Xiaochan already couldn't go back. Otherwise, how? Could the snow god's temple explain to others? The snow girl said, you haven't given yourself away. However, when the merman royal family finds that their princess is gone and everyone knows that their 
is a human colluding with the Merman princess, they will definitely be suspicious. There are only these people left, and they certainly won't leave until they find out the answer. Therefore, you have to pay attention to two people, one is the Merman clan Ji Qing Long, and the other is the Supreme Clearness World's Ji Xian. As the kings who can command the entire battlefield, their strength can't be underestimated. As long as they don't suspect you, you will be safe. Han Fei said casually, I'm already prepared. I'll leave a half-king projection on the snow god, to prevent them from examining halfway. The snow lady said, how can you leave in front of so many people? In fact, you should pretend to be in an accident and make people think that you died. In this way, no one will suspect you. Han Fei smiled. I don't think it has to be that troublesome. As long as they can't find me, can they stop the major powers from leaving? The snow lady said, that won't happen. However, they will definitely examine everyone. After all, not only is the princess of the Merman royal family gone, but the humans are also thought to have traitors. Hanfei nodded, knowing that it would be troublesome. With a flip of his hand, Hanfei took out thirty monarch palace keys and said, Take the extra ten as thanks for your help. The snow lady quietly took these keys. In fact, since she knew that Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan were pretending to be the black and white ghosts, she knew that Han Fei definitely had more than thirty monarch palace keys. Han Fei probably had more than two hundred keys, or even more. However, so what? Han Fei kept so many keys to the monarch palace, which meant that there should be a force behind Han Fei. If this force followed him to the monarch palace in the future, they might form an alliance because of Han Fei. A moment later, the snow lady led the two of them out of the cabin and appeared on the deck again. Fools, two idiots. Suddenly, a voice erupted. Many people looked in the direction of the voice, only to see Patriarch. Million Poison pointing his finger at Bai Jingjiao and Dong Fang Ming, almost touching their noses. Patriarch Million Poison snorted. You only exchanged more than two thousand caddies. For such a treasure? Are you brainless? You should have taken all this poison. Couldn't you put it on credit? Couldn't you invite him to our Million Poison? World to secretly trade? If you let him come to our million poison world, how? Can I lack resources to trade with him? You two idiots, I'll punish you two. Cultivate in seclusion, for ten years when we go back. Yes, teacher is right. Teacher, I know I was wrong. Seeing patriarch million poison suddenly fly into a rage, the master of thunder and fire, Lei Qing, couldn't help but say, old poison Huang. It's good enough that your disciples came out safely. As soon as they came out, you scolded them. Don't make such a big noise. Are you afraid that others can't hear you? Patriarch Million Poison snorted. These two idiots encountered countless treasure poisons in the land of King Death, but they only got more than two thousand. Caddy's back. Of course I'm angry. I really want to slap him to death. As he spoke, Patriarch Million Poison glanced around and his glance passed. Over Han Fei. However, Han Fei knew that this old man was clearly looking at him. Afraid that others would find out, he deliberately glanced around. Han Fei thought to himself, Oh no, I've been exposed. I don't know Huang Jia. Very well. Although I told Bai Jingjiao and the others that I bought the poisons to poison others. But who was Huang Jie? He was an old demon. Before entering the land of King Death, Han Fei had personally gone to Huang Jie's cabin to get some poison. Han Fei's heart skipped a beat. Yes, I was too eager 
I shouldn't have traded. With Bai Jingjiao and Dong Fang Ming. I should have taken the initiative to go. To the million poison world when I was free. Just now, Huang Jia purposely scolded his disciples loudly and didn't seem to care who the black and white ghosts were, but in fact, he was transmitting some information to Han Fei. The kings were speechless. So many people had died, but in this guy's eyes, poison was the most important. Huang Jia snorted. I don't know which brat it is. If I find him, I must suck. Him dry. Han Fei was lost for words. It seemed that he had one more person to deal with. The snow lady didn't look at Han Fei, only feeling a little surprised. Huang Jia didn't even bother to use the voice transmission. He was clearly sending a message to someone. Who else could it be but Han Fei? But strangely, Huang Jia didn't mention his name and even helped him keep the secret. It seemed that Han Fei had something Huang Jia wanted. Two hour passed. There was not much time left before the exit was sealed. However, some people still didn't come out of the land of King Death. For example, the black and white ghosts, Xia Xiaochan and Han Fei, the heavenly talent of the supreme clearness world, Ji Chen, the five elements. Disciple, five elements Chen Hao. Buzz. Seeing this scene, Yi Qing Long immediately said, Ji Xian, shall we go back to search the land of King Death? Ji Xian nodded and then shouted, The others, wait here. I'll be back soon. The two kings disappeared from the ship. After half an hour, when the two of them appeared again, their expressions were extremely ugly. Ji Xian shouted, All the kings of the 36 mystic worlds, please gather. Everyone who participated in this trial on the deck. I think you already know. What happened? A traitor of the human race got together with the merfolk. Princess and killed many human powerhouses. On Yi Qinglong's side, he snorted coldly. It's said that that person has a deep grudge with you supreme clearness and other two heavenly palaces. Who can you blame? But this person dares to take away the princess of our Merman royal family. Today, if we don't find him, this matter won't end so easily. Heh. Patriarch Million Poison sneered. The land of King Death is so big. Do you? Two have the ability to finish searching in half an hour? If they really want. To hide, you might not be able to find them. Humph. Yi Qinglong said coldly, let's find him first. You'd better keep your mouth. Shut. Hee <laughs> hee. Yi Qinglong, watch your words. At that moment, Huang Jia spoke with an intimidating aura, looking extremely powerful. But then, Huang Jia retracted his momentum and said angrily, Come out, all of you. Let me see if you've been possessed. Huang Jia intervened, just to let Ji Qinglong and Ji Xian know that they'd better not go too far. If they really wanted to fight, he, Patriarch Million, Poison, wouldn't be afraid. Xia Xiaochan's identity was certainly important. Yi Qinglong took Xia Xiaochan to the land of King Death, but she disappeared here. He really couldn't explain this to Chen Huangdian when he returned. Ji Xian, on the other hand, vaguely felt that something was wrong. Although the number of experts who died this time was not much different from before. There was no reason for Ji Chen to die. Furthermore, Bei Tang Xian from the Infinity World almost died although he took Yun Tian as king level strike with him? Obviously, something was wrong. From any perspective, a person who could almost kill Bei Tang Xian shouldn't be a half king. Of course, no one could find anything wrong with the name black and white. Ghosts. However, it was big news that this person walked the Tao of 
invincibility. Therefore, Ji Xian and Yi Qinglong plan to identify this person by checking everyone's great Tao. In this way, even if Han Fei disguised himself with a technique, they could still find some clues. This method of finding people was not slow. Although no one was willing to show the power of their great Tao, it didn't demand them to reveal their great Tao. Seeing it was different from cultivating, so no one cared. Ji Xian and Yi Qinglong searched world by world. The Supreme Clearness World was the first to be searched, mainly to prove their innocence. As for the glazed glass world and supreme mystic world, Mushue Sisi said, can the strong do whatever they want and check other people's great Daos? On the boat, a middle-aged man glanced at Mushue Sisi, and she immediately shut up. The man said, don't meddle in the affairs of kings. An hour later, Ji Xian and Yi Qinglong came to the snow god's temple. At this moment, Han Fei and the others were already standing here. Han Fei was wearing a mask, which didn't mean that the strong masters couldn't see him. However, by putting on the mask, Han Fei showed that he didn't want others to see his face. Generally, no one would take the initiative to see his face. This behavior was extremely rude, which represented provocation and making enemies for himself. On the snow god's temple side, Han Fei was the only one wearing a mask, which attracted the attention of Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian. Of course, in front of the snow lady, the two didn't demand to see Han Fei's face. Ji Xian asked, fellow Daoist snow lady, can you let your disciple take off? His mask? Every time Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian examined a ship, everyone's eyes moved to it. At this moment, seeing that Ji Xian asked Han Fei to take off his mask, many people were curious about Xue Zhang's real face. Mu Shui Sisi said to Mu Shi from the glazed glass world via voice transmission. Sisi, come on, he's going to unveil his mask. After that, you can propose to him. Huh? Immediately, the king of the glazed glass world glanced at Mushue Sisi, then at Mushi, and asked, what happened? Mushue Sisi secretly chuckled and thought to herself, I didn't do it on purpose. Mushi blushed and hurriedly said, teacher, it's not what you think. Sisi was just teasing me. It's just that fellow Daoist Shui Zhan saved my life. Oh? Saved your life? Then you really should thank him. Mu Shi. At this moment, the snow lady glanced at Han Fei and said casually, Shui. Zhan. Han Fei said casually, Seniors, please forgive me. I covered my face because I didn't want my appearance to affect my Dao heart. With that, Han Fei grabbed the mask with one hand and slowly took it off. Immediately afterward, what was revealed was a handsome face that was almost perfect. It was fair and tender, but not feminine at all. His eyes were steady and firm, and his chiseled facial features seemed to be bestowed by the heavens. The face had a proud air, but not aggressive, and his lips were thin with a natural upward curve. Hiss. Wow. On the supreme mystic world side, Mushue Sisi exclaimed, He's so handsome. Sisi, you're lucky. Duh. The king of the supreme mystic world was quite embarrassed. He froze Mushuizi. And then cupped his hands at the crowd. Sorry, sorry. The moon king of the glazed glass world was stunned for a moment. Oh, I see. Mushi, have you taken a fancy to him? If you have, we can indeed propose a marriage. Mushi was utterly embarrassed. Although she was also stunned at his handsomeness, she hurriedly stomped and waved her hand. Teacher, it's not like that. 
I haven't even spoken to him. The Moon King smiled. So what? As cultivators, our Tao hearts are firm. It's not easy to meet someone we like. Especially in our glazed glass world, there are very few men. Someone has to carry on the family line. Okay, I'll ask the snow lady about it later. Mushi. Hanfei certainly didn't use his own face. Who else could this face belong to if not Zhang Xuanyu? Only Zhang Xuanyu's face could be used perfectly by Han Fei because he knew this guy too well. At this moment, Ji Xian and Yi Qing Long vaguely understood why Han Fei hid his face. Of course, although he was really handsome, there was no need to hide his face. It could only be said that Xue Zhan's Dao heart was not firm enough. Ji Xian said, Little friend Xue Zhan, please show me your great Dao. Xue Zhan nodded slightly. Then the great Dao around him suddenly changed. His blood surged, and a powerful force was somehow revealed. Han Fei said, My great Dao can double my strength. Huh. Not only Ji Xian, but even Yi Qinglong couldn't help being surprised. A great Dao that could directly increase combat power. This guy was already a half king. If his strength doubled, he would probably be comparable to Ji Qin, Bei Tang Xian, and the others. He might even be slightly stronger. Of course, although the two of them were surprised by Han Fei's talent, this Talent was far inferior to the king, who could even shake Yun Tianhe as described by Bei Tang Xian. In their opinion, Han Fei's talent was probably about the same as Li Kai Tian, Wu Hao, and the others. It was true that he was a top heavenly talent, but he wouldn't be able to kill strong masters like Bei Tang Xian and Ji Chen, let alone enter the bronze door. Because it was impossible. The two of them looked around and confirmed that there was no problem. After all, no one could walk different, great Daos. The two of them nodded slightly and continued to check the others. In just a minute, the people from the Snow God's Temple had all been examined. Among the people from the Snow God's Temple, only the Snow Lady and Ice Snow. Chuling knew Han Fei's identity. As long as these two people didn't expose his secret, there would be no problem. As soon as Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian left, with a swish, two beautiful women appeared outside the snow god. The snow lady was slightly surprised and then nodded. May I know why the moon king is here? The moon king's original name was Chou Yuaming. In the glazed glass world, she was the king second only to glazed glass. Yes, the heavenly master of the glazed glass world was called glazed glass. Chiu Yuiming said, I'm here mainly to thank Shui Zhan for saving my disciple. Mu Shi. The snow lady couldn't help but glance at Han Fei, thinking, if just to say, Thank you, why did the king come in person with her disciples? It's obvious. That she's interested in Han Fei. The snow lady smiled. Please board the ship, Moon King. Beside Chou Yuiming, Mu Shi was like a quail, not daring to raise her head much. Her face flushed. Many people from the snow god's temple saw what was going on. At this moment, their faces were full of curiosity, and the snow lady said, Everyone, return. To the cabin. Xue Zhan and Chuling, stay. Xiao Yuaming's heart stirred. The snow lady asked everyone to go back, but why? Did she ask I snow Chuling to stay? It seemed that the snow lady had her own selfish motives. Did she want to? Marry I snow Chuling to Xue Zhan? However, who was she? The glazed glass world was one of the super forces in the inner domain, which was more than a level higher than the snow god's temple. If Mu Shi and Shui Zhan got together, the snow god's temple would be protected by the glazed glass. 
world. I don't believe you don't want this relationship. Xiao Yuaming, as if didn't understand what the snow lady meant, just smiled and said, Cici, return the thing to Shua Zhan. Mushi trembled and quickly took out the sun moon shell that she had prepared. Lowering her head, she trotted to Han Fei and handed the sun moon shell to him. Thank you again for saving my life, fellow Daoist Shua Zhan. You lost this. Sun Moon Shell on the Battlefield When Chou Yuaming and the Snow Lady looked at Han Fei, they didn't notice that. Han Fei's shadow overlapped with Mu Shi's. At that moment, a pure black color appeared under Han Fei's feet and quietly stuck to Mu Shi's body. Han Fei looked indifferent and emotionless. Seeing the scene, Chou Yuaming was a little worried. Is this kid so cold that? He doesn't even like my disciple? Han Fei took the sun moon shell and said casually, actually, it's unnecessary. At this moment, Mu Shi was having a fierce inner struggle. Since she was already here, she couldn't lose too much face. She said, fellow Daoist Shui Zhan, what's yours is yours. You killed that person and saved me. If you don't even accept this sun moon shell, I'll have a great Tao barrier in my heart. Han Fei nodded slightly. Then I'll take it. Chiu Yuaming immediately heaved a sigh of relief, and she said, Sister Snow. Lady, this hero saving the damsel in distress story can make a perfect couple. As you know, the women of our glazed glass world have always had high standards. There are very few men in the world who can catch their eyes. This disciple of mine is even more so. She has made me very worried. Now that I see that Shui Zhan is a very good young man, why don't we fix them up? The snow lady was about to refuse with the excuse that Shui Zhan was too intoxicated with cultivation when Han Fei slowly covered his face with the mask again. There was no emotion in Han Fei's eyes. He said, once I put on the mask, I don't love anyone. Instantly. The snow lady. Chiu Yuaming. I snow chuling. I snow chuling wanted to see how Han Fei would refuse. However, what the f asterisk ck? Once I put on the mask, I don't love anyone? Give. Chiu Yuaming some face, okay? The person talking to you is a king after all. Mushi's face immediately turned pale. When had she ever experienced this? This was even F asterisk king worse than a good person card. He didn't even say you're a good person, but I'm not good enough for you. Mushi was stunned for a few seconds. As a half king, she quickly adjusted her state. Fellow Daoist Shui Zhan. You're mistaken. My teacher is just like this. Don't think too much. Teacher. Let's go back. Chiu Yuaming looked at the snow lady and then at Shui Zhan. She had long heard that the snow lady indulged her disciples very much. It seemed that it was true. Shui Zhan was really rude. Brat, don't let me see you again, or I'll kill you. Mushi ran back to the ship of the glazed glass world. Lu Ran had been staring at them. What was going on? Was her sister bullied? Immediately, Lu Ran went to the cabin to comfort Mushi. When Mushi entered the cabin, she saw that Mushi's eyes were red as she stomped on the big ship. Hey, hey! If you keep stomping, the ship will sink. Don't you know how strong? You are? Lu Ran was lost for words. Wait, I didn't see you two talk much. What did Shui? Jean say? Even if he rejected you, you don't have to be so angry, right? At this moment, Han Fei was still clinging to Mu Shi, thinking, Lu Ran is. Right. It's not a big deal. You're already a half king. Why are you still like? A little girl? 
Mushi said angrily, he, he, he. If he doesn't agree, can't he be more tactful? He simply said that he doesn't love anyone once he wears a mask. What's the meaning of this? Huh? Lu Ran was stunned. Is this Shui Zhang so stupid? Mushi hugged Lu Ran huffily and shook her. He's not stupid. He did it on purpose. I thought he saved me because he pitted me. Maybe he just did it. Casually. Lu Ran patted Mushi's back and comforted her. Damn it. This person is really abominable. We should cut him into pieces and throw him into the sea to feed the fish. Who the hell did he think he was? Does he know how excellent our CC is? Your pursuers can line up from the inner sea to the outer sea. You're giving him face by liking him, but he doesn't cherish this chance. Hanfei was lost for words. What? Just because you took a fancy to me doesn't mean I have to accept your love. Okay? Also, what made Han Fei speechless was that women were all like this, clinging to each other and hugging each other, no matter how old or strong they were. Hearing the two women's crazy complaints about him, Han Fei was naturally not interested. He had already got off Mu Shi and crawled into a dark corner. His white mist body was already in Forge the Universe. What remained in the Snow God's temple was only his half-king projection. His strength was there, so he was no different from a real person. Except for the fact that he couldn't cultivate, his half-king projections were extremely strong in all aspects. Even if he fought a heavenly talent now, Han Fei was confident that he wouldn't lose. Since the plan had succeeded and he had successfully sneaked into the big ship of the glazed glass world, he was naturally not interested in listening to the two women's chatter. Han Fei entered Forge the Universe without attracting the attention of the two women. Forge the Universe. Huff. Han Fei heaved a long sigh of relief. His plan was flawless. Huh. Han Fei suddenly realized that something was wrong here. Why was the spiritual energy in Forge the Universe so rich? Why did his seven million ultra quality spiritual stones seem to become much less? When Han Fei checked, it seemed to be less than 5.5 million. That's not right. Even if I absorb it with old Yuan, how the F asterisk CK, can we? Absorb so many ultra-quality spiritual stones in such a short time? Han Fei couldn't help looking at the old turtle. Where are the spiritual stones? The old turtle said, I don't know. Originally, after collecting Wu Hao's spiritual stones, there should be about 6.6 .6 million left, but after entering the bronze door, there are only more than 5.4 million left. Not only these ultra-quality spiritual stones, but also the energy I suppressed is probably less than half now. Hiss. Han Fei raised his eyebrows. Are you saying that I consumed them behind the bronze door? The old turtle said, of course. I didn't tell you before because I wanted to wait for you to escape. Now, as soon as you came in, you found it. Although I don't know what you did behind the bronze door and what's there, you must have encountered a great opportunity. Is it related to the Void Temple? The old turtle seriously suspected that Han Fei was hiding some secret. The moment Han Fei entered the bronze door, he lost his consciousness and had no idea what happened behind the bronze door. Han Fei said leisurely, what did you learn from disassembling spiritual energy? The old turtle was silent for a moment. I've already reached 99%. What about you? The old turtle stared at Han Fei, because he had a feeling, but he wasn't sure. 
Han Fei smiled, looked up at the sky, and said pretentiously, Me? 100%. Hiss. The old turtle was shocked. How is it possible? There is no such thing as a 100% disassembling of spiritual energy in this world. It's never been recorded. I've never heard of it. However, Han Fei said, in terms of disassembling spiritual energy, 99% is indeed the limit. However, old Yuan, do you think whether it's the great Tao that firms the Tao heart, or it's the Tao heart that gives you the power of the great Tao? Have you ever thought about whether the Tao heart or the great Tao exists first? Have you ever thought about whether the great Tao really exists? Han Fei had thought that this time, it would definitely be his strongest show. Off in history. Old Yuan had always been the one to explain to him, but this time, it was his turn to explain. Old Yuan would definitely realize what a clear choice it was to acknowledge him as his master. However, the old turtle blinked at Han Fei. What did you say? Why is it buzzing in my ears? I can't hear anything. Han Fei was lost for words. Are you pretending? Have you been shocked by my insight? But you just don't want to admit it, right? The old turtle asked in confusion, what did you just say? I'm a little sleepy. And didn't hear a word you said just now. However, my heart trembled as if I had some epiphany. Han Fei took a deep look at the old turtle and felt that he wasn't pretending. So he said in surprise, wait. Did you really not hear what I said? I said. Blah, blah. Buzz. Then, the old turtle sat down cross-legged and began to cultivate. Han Fei. Han Fei was stunned for a moment and seemed to realize that the old turtle really didn't hear what he said. Therefore, he really heard everything behind the bronze door, but he didn't understand anything. This seemed to be a law of the world. It seemed that he had to comprehend it himself. And what those who had already comprehended it preached to those who hadn't comprehended it was like heavenly, Tao, a heavenly book, a concept that they didn't understand or know at all. At this moment, Han Fei understood. No wonder Old Yuan never knew that someone could disassemble spiritual energy. To 100%. In fact, it was not that there was no one to tell, but that, even if someone told him, he wouldn't be able to hear it. Since you can't listen, and no one is preaching to you. This can only mean that. The old turtle wasn't an outstanding emperor before. He was probably a loser. Among the emperors. Therefore, he was led such a long way by a loser. Therefore, a loser, in the 36 mystic worlds, was already a legend. Therefore, even a loser in the world of the strong seemed extremely powerful. Here, and he still tried so hard to subdue him? Han Fei was lost for words. Old Yuan was really lucky to have such an excellent master like him. Otherwise, his great Tao would probably be over. Even if he could cultivate to the sky-opening realm again, he would still be a loser. Seeing that Old Yuan had gone to cultivate, Han Fei thought for a moment and jumped off the ice snow lotus throne. With a thought, he used the massive amount of spiritual energy to expand forge. The universe. Han Fei summoned the illusion of mountains and rivers, and stepped into the sea quelling painting. Xia Xiaochan was restless in the sea quelling painting and couldn't cultivate anymore. The hexagon starfish said, Stop walking around me. You can't solve the problem even if you keep walking around me. Xia Xiaochan snorted. You heartless be asterisk starred. All you know is to eat and sleep. Have you secretly eaten my power of the great Tao? The hexagon starfish rolled its eyes. No. 
I didn't use any of it. Didn't Han. Fei say that the power is very useful? Xia Xiaochan snorted. Good. If I find out that you steal it, I'll skin you. Alive. The hexagon starfish shivered and thought to himself, Xia Xiaochan never restricted me from eating her resources. Why did she become so fierce as soon? As Han Fei appeared? Buzz. While Xia Xiaochan was teaching the hexagon starfish a lesson, she saw Han Fei appear with a swish. Immediately, Xia Xiaochan forgot about the hexagon starfish. With a cry, she rushed over and hung herself on Han Fei. One of her hands was raised, hi. We are free. Han Fei thought to himself, it seems that this girl has indeed been locked up. For too long. Why is she so happy? Han Fei said, yes, you're free, but you can't go out yet. Yi Qinglong and Ji. Xian are searching for us world by world. Xia Xiaochan's body stiffened. Then, you won't be found out, right? Han Fei smiled. If I could be found out, would I still be here? MMM. Xia Xiaochan gave Han Fei a big kiss. So, we're still free. Han Fei rubbed Xia Xiaochan's head and said, We are on a ship of the glazed. Glass world now. It will take us three or five days to go to the glazed glass. World from here. During this period, you can use the power of the Great Tao. Escaping from the bronze door. Xia Xiaochan's eyes glittered, and she asked curiously, How can I use that? Power? I feel that that power seems to be very beneficial to cultivation. The hexagon starfish also added, I think that as long as I absorb these powers, I can break through to the peak of the venerable realm in a few months. Han Fei immediately said, short-sighted. Han Fei said, let me tell you, the main use of this power is to reconstruct spiritual energy and deduce the disassembling degree of spiritual energy in Reverse. Deduce spiritual energy disassembling in reverse? Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish were both stunned. After a while, when Xia Xiaochan sat down and tried to disassemble spiritual energy for the first time, Han Fei saw that the power of the Great Tao was constantly being consumed. Han Fei thought to himself, Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish did collect. A lot of Tao runes produced by the eldest senior brother's lecture. Perhaps because Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish had collected it for eight days and didn't use it, they didn't consume the power of the great Tao. Until two hundred seconds later. Huff. When Xia Xiaochan opened her eyes, she saw that Han Fei was still standing. There. She asked in confusion, how long have I been cultivating? Han Fei smiled casually. Two hundred seconds. Xia Xiaochan was stunned for a moment. Only two hundred seconds? Then, Xia Xiaochan suddenly exclaimed, How is it possible? My, spiritual. Energy disassembling degree has reached ninety-four percent? The hexagon starfish also exclaimed, Ah! Mine has reached ninety-five percent? What kind of? Power is this? It's too terrifying. How can it improve so much? Han Fei couldn't help but ask, Girl, what was your original number? Xia Xiaochan, 87%. The hexagon starfish said, 88%. Han Fei frowned slightly. Only 7%, not much. Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish couldn't help looking at Han Fei in. Surprise. Not much? 200 seconds, 7% more. That's as much. As 7 or 8 years of cultivation for me. As she spoke, Xia Xiaochan suddenly realized something and asked, You went. Into the bronze door. What's your disassembling degree of spiritual energy? Now? Han Fei's eyelids twitched knowing that it was time for him to show off. 
Again, he said leisurely, me. I've finally reached 100% after years of bitter. Cultivation. It's so tiring. Xia Xiaochan. The hexagon starfish. Listen, is this human language? If the old turtle were here, he would definitely feel complicated. This. Shameless B asterisk starred always used the power of faith to deduce the degree of spiritual energy disassembling. How dare he say that he had cultivated bitterly for years. This explosive growth speed was limited to the Tao runes born in the lecture. Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish could only use it once. Therefore, in Han Fei's opinion, their disassembling degree was still not high. Enough. However, there was nothing he could do. This was because if he used his own great Tao to reconstruct spiritual energy, he would have to wait for the disassembling degree to reach 99%, which was to completely understand the structure of spiritual energy. Therefore, even if Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish wanted to use the power of their great Daos to deduce spiritual energy disassembling in reverse, it was impossible. Hanfei also tried to explain to Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish, but just like the case of the old turtle, Xia Xiaochan and the hexagon starfish were stunned and couldn't remember what Hanfei said at all. However, Hanfei discovered that although Xia Xiaochan and the others couldn't remember what he said, they seemed to have some inexplicable epiphany in their hearts. This epiphany seemed to be something hidden in the depths of one's heart that needed to burst out one day. Xia Xiaochan said, I'll cultivate in seclusion for a few days. Do you want to come with me? Han Fei said, I still have to pay attention to the situation outside. I'll call you when we reach the glazed glass world. Ten days later. Han Fei didn't expect that it would take him ten days to go to the glazed glass world. In the old turtle's words, the route of the glazed glass world in the inner domain was extremely complicated. It was even very close to the sea of mist. In the end, it took ten days. In the past ten days, Han Fei had done something. After all, it was about a year and forge the universe. In Forge the Universe, not only had Han Fei completely consolidated his strength as a half-king, but his purity mystic body had also improved. At this speed, Han Fei suspected that if he cultivated in Forge the Universe for another ten years at most, he might reach the limit of the half-king realm. As for soul power, Han Fei's current soul power had probably reached the limit of a normal half-king. After all, in the raging sea, not everyone had his level of life and bloodline. Glazed glass world. A place where Yin flourished and Yang declined. Xia Xiaochan said, the ratio of men to women here is 110. After Han Fei quietly followed the people off the ship, he found that it was true. The main city of the glazed glass world was called the Heavenly Treasure City, which meant a treasure gifted by the heavens. The structure of the Heavenly Treasure City was similar to other heavenly palaces. Because they were built in the same batch, the structures of the heavenly palaces were almost the same. Of course, the color of the city was more fancy than other heavenly palaces. This Hanfei understood. It was normal for places with many women to be fancy. Even in the Yin-Yang world, when men bought battle suits, they were all black, white, green, and gray. But in the women's refining workshop, there were all kinds of colors and jewelry. The glazed glass world was a place full of women. Even the buildings were colorful. After Hanfei quietly slipped out, he casually walked to an island and found that the entire street was F asterisk king fragrant. Without knowing more about the glazed glass world, Han Fei didn't let Xia Xiaochan come out immediately. 
Han Fei didn't plan to stay here for long. He just needed to find Ener and take her away, which shouldn't be a problem for him. The vast ocean navigator quickly turned and pointed north. Half a day later. Tranquil Dao Academy, Glazed Glass World. Han Fei saw a plain-clothed girl in a medicinal field in a bamboo forest. She was not tall, only about 1.6 meters tall. She looked to be less than 20 years old and was relatively petite. In terms of appearance, she was not very beautiful. She was slightly worse than Xiao Xiaochan and Luo Xiaobai in appearance, but she was still good. Looking. Because she was petite and quiet, she seemed to have a first love. Face. When the breeze blew and the sun shone on her face, the girl straightened up, smiled faintly, and continued to release spiritual energy. Huh? A peak-level law enforcer? Han Fei was stunned for a moment. This girl must be Ener. In his heart, Han Fei forcibly raised his sister's temperament. In addition to seeing that Ener's strength was at the peak of the law. In Forcer Realm, Han Fei could also tell that Ener had extraordinary meridians. Her body was absorbing the surrounding spiritual energy all the time. Then, she sprinkled the spiritual energy out and watered the medicinal field, causing the spiritual energy in the field to be abnormally dense. Her spiritual heritage is extraordinary, and she doesn't look stupid. With such talent, why is she only a peak-level law enforcer now? Han Fei couldn't help but wonder if it was because Ener seen soul and Yang. Soul were separated. Ener should be in an incomplete state now. She was still two steps away from being complete. One was the return of her in soul. And the other was to walk through the Age of Doom and return safely. Only when these two steps were completed would Ener, like him, complete the current time leap from the Age of Doom. Han Fei was about to go forward and kidnap her. However, suddenly, he subconsciously pinched his hands and felt that something was wrong. Immediately, Han Fei frowned, took out the Nine Palace Luck Ruler, and tested it. However, the mark of the Nine Palace Luck Ruler fell on the ominous. Huh? There are strong masters guarding her? To be able to make the current Han Fei encounter ominous, and it was in the Heavenly Treasure City now, this was at least a king-level threat. This meant that Ener seemed to be farming here, but she was watched by a king. Is there a king of the glazed glass world here? Han Fei couldn't help but wonder why Ener was sent to the glazed glass world. While he was sent to the Inyang world. While Han Fei was thinking, he thought of something. Outside this medicinal field, about 600 kilometers away, two women were flying. Together towards the depths of the medicinal field. The two arrived instantly. One of them shouted from afar, Han Ener, stop farming. We found a way to. Treat you. Ener, who was farming, suddenly heard someone rushing over. She straightened. Up and looked in the direction of the person. When the two arrived, Han Ener bowed slightly and said, Ener greets. Sister Feng Ling and Sister Yu. The girl named Feng Ling looked cold and didn't seem to like Ener. She said, Han Ener, you really should thank my brother. If it weren't for. The fact that my brother took pity on you after seeing you suffer, such a good thing would never have happened to you. The girl called Sister Yu by Ener also said, Han Ener, this time, Master. Yuran visited many famous doctors and finally got a great medicine from the Medicine King World. It should be able to cure your serious illness. Then you can make a normal breakthrough and become an explorer. Han Ener was stunned for a moment and then asked in confusion, Sisters. Really? I'm ashamed that Lord Yuran helped me so much. Feng Ling snorted. If it weren't for the fact that my brother adores you, he 
wouldn't have tried so hard to find this medicine for you. After this matter is over, your illness will be cured, and your wedding with my brother can be held. Han Ener blushed, but then she looked at a hut a hundred kilometers away, and asked, but, sisters, can you wait a few days? Wait for my teacher to come back, okay? Otherwise, if teacher comes back and doesn't see me, I'm afraid. She will be worried. The girl called sister you hurriedly said, what are you waiting for? It's Junior Uncle Fong, who asked us to come to the medicinal field to find you. Junior Uncle Fong personally guarded the tranquil earth fire platform for this medicine and specially asked us to find you. Huh? Teacher asked the two of you to come? However, why is teacher waiting? For us at the tranquil earth fire platform? That's a forbidden area of the tranquil Dao Academy, right? Fong Ling said coldly, of course. Healing you requires the power of earth. Fire. Otherwise, you can't be cured. Do you think the forbidden area is easy? To enter? Han Fei thought to himself, am I wrong? Ener was so talented, but she had been stuck at the peak of the law enforcer. Realm. Was it because she had some other illness? Junior Uncle Fong? Since she was Ener's teacher, and he had just gotten ominous divination result, she must be a hidden powerhouse. Han Fei thought to himself, I came at the right time. Someone happened to be treating my sister. But it made sense. Just like him back then, no matter how he cultivated, it was theoretically impossible for him to become stronger. It was only because of the demon purification pot that he embarked on the path of cultivation. His sister's current situation was much better than his back then. Someone even found medicine for her. At this critical moment of the treatment, if he directly abducted her, it would be strange if she didn't flare up. Han Fei thought to himself, I might as well stay put for now. If Ener is sick and is about to be cured, won't I become a bad person if I take her away? Now? As for the wedding? It was impossible to hold it for the time being. His sister was only a peak-level law enforcer and hadn't even been to her home. Yet. She wasn't even complete. How could she get married? When the time came, he would just leave some resources and send that person. Away. If Ina really had that man in her heart, it would have to wait after she. Returned from the Inyang world. Hearing Fong Ling's explanation, Ina believed her. Therefore, the three of them began to fly towards the northern forest of the Tranquil Dao Academy. It was a fiery island independent of this floating island. Because it had always been guarded by the Tranquil Dao Academy, few people came. According to Fong Ling, to go to the forbidden area, they needed to take a special teleportation array. Therefore, the three of them used a jade slip as the teleportation array to go directly to the forbidden area. However, Han Fei's perception range was huge. His perception had already locked onto Ener. No matter where they went. Within a hundred thousand kilometers, he could find them. Besides, their goal was very clear, which was the mountain filled with fire. Origin energy about four thousand kilometers away on the north of the Tranquil Dao. Academy. In fact, in the glazed glass world, there was more than one place filled with fire origin energy. There was also an extremely cold island, an island enshrouded in multicolored light, and a five-colored island. When Feng Ling mentioned the forbidden area just now, Han Fei had estimated that it was one of the four islands. He didn't expect it to be the closest. Flame Island. Buzz. Ener and the other two took the teleportation array and appeared on the fiery island a moment later. Only then did Han Fei quietly go there. 
In the glazed glass world, Han Fei should be careful. However, with Han Fei's strength, if a king didn't personally watch, it wouldn't be a problem for him to even fly in the heavenly treasure city. Han Fei arrived in three seconds. He was already very low-key. Han Fei was confident that even a king might not be able to discover him. In the center of the fiery island, there was a deep valley that was sunken. Into the ground. In the valley, there was a tower. According to Han Fei's estimation, this was a good place to refine weapons. After the three of them arrived, Ener was sweating. Although the temperature here was bearable, the closer to the center, the more powerful the earth fire was and the higher the temperature. The environment was still a little tough for law enforcers. The tranquil earth fire platform was in the deepest part of the tower. Its temperature would probably reach her limit. However, at the thought that her teacher was waiting for her on the tranquil earth fire platform, Ener couldn't help but smile. Was her illness finally going to be cured on this day? It would be a lie to say that she wasn't excited. Fong Ling and Sister Yu looked at each other and nodded slightly. The two of them took out two tokens, which shot out a bright light and condensed into array patterns. Han Fei saw that it was a directional teleportation array. However, he saw something wrong. This array had obvious fire patterns. Even teleportation arrays needed this kind of fire pattern, which meant that the place they were going to was extremely hot and destructive. With Ener's current strength, she shouldn't go to such a place. However, Han Fei saw that Ener was a little anxious. She had absorbed a lot more fire origin energy than before. At this rate, in two or three hours, Ener would be overloaded with energy and might even explode. Han Fei couldn't help but wonder what illness could be so troublesome. He wondered if his heaven enlightenment divine technique could make her feel better. What if she could be cured by the heaven enlightenment divine technique? Why? Did she have to suffer so much? After all, where they were going was protected by an array. If Ener's teacher was really a hidden sea establisher, then if he rashly broke through the space, he would definitely be targeted by the other party. Perhaps there would be a misunderstanding between them and they would even fight. Therefore, Han Fei quickly attached himself to Feng Ling. After all, his sister would be treated later. If he attached himself to Ener, what if Ener's teacher discovered him? With a cautious attitude, Han Fei was patient. Buzz. As the void turned, he felt a terrifying heat wave. This was not magma, but a flame crystal burning in the void. Its energy had probably reached the level of a heaven and earth spiritual fire. Han Fei's face changed slightly. Ener wouldn't be able to hold on for an hour under such a strong heat wave. And with Ener's talent, if she automatically absorbed the power here, it would only increase the pressure on her body. Han Fei looked again. There was no junior uncle Feng here, only an intermediate venerable. This man was obviously not junior uncle Feng. Ener's current reaction made Han Fei realize that she had been tricked. Ener's face changed drastically. Sisters, Master Yuran, where is my teacher? Ha ha ha. Feng Ling's face lit up, and she said with a smile, Teacher? You want to find a teacher? Go back to your medicinal field. Ha ha ha. Sister Yu also chuckled, changing from her previous image of a good person. She smiled contemptuously. Han Ener, we know that you have a heavenly heritage and are an unparalleled talent. However, you are sick. If Junior Uncle Fong could treat the illness that even your heavenly heritage can't resist, she would have treated you long ago. Why would she wait until now? You 
are still too stupid to believe this nonsense. Feng Ling smiled contemptuously. Han Ener, you think you can marry my brother? As long as he takes your heavenly heritage, my brother will become the most talented man in the glazed glass world. When his strength skyrockets, he might be able to marry half King Mu Shi or even half King Lu Ran. Why would he fall for you? Shameless. Han Ener's face was pale. She didn't expect that the person who always tried to get close to her was actually so despicable in secret. Although Feng Ling clearly didn't like her, she was the one who brought Feng Yuran to the medicinal field. Besides, Feng Yuran was the one who proposed to her. At first, her teacher didn't agree, but as time went by, seeing that this person was persistent, she didn't deliberately stop him. Until today, her teacher had been away for more than a month and hadn't returned. Unexpectedly, Feng Yuran revealed his true colors today. He said leisurely, Han Ener, I didn't want to do this at first, but that old woman was too stubborn and refused to let you marry me after so long a time. To be honest, I really wanted to marry you. I can take your heavenly heritage after you give birth to a child for me. Ha, huh, unfortunately, before that old woman left, her attitude towards me became tough again. What can I do? I can only take advantage of this period of time to take your heavenly heritage. At that time, with the heavenly heritage, who dares to kill me? Even if the old woman returns, can she kill me and destroy this heavenly heritage? Ener looked at the people who finally showed their true colors and her face turned pale. A jade slip appeared in her hand, and she said, this is a strike of my teacher. No one can resist it. Feng Yuran, fortunately, you were exposed so early. Otherwise, if I was tricked and really married you, it would be the greatest shame of my life. Feng Yuran shrugged. I didn't want to marry you in the first place. Qian Yu is much better than you. Look at yourself. You don't have any height, strength, or figure. Except for your face, you have no good points. If it weren't for your heavenly heritage, why would I, Feng Yuran, be stupid enough to marry you? As Feng Yuran spoke, his figure suddenly flashed, and the jade slip in. Ener's hand disappeared, appearing in Feng Yuran's hand. Ener hurriedly tried to detonate her soul, only to find that her soul had been suppressed by Feng Yuran. Feng Yuran said leisurely, Look, you're just stupid. If you had secretly used the power of this jade slip from the beginning, you might have had a chance to kill us. However, you just took it out stupidly. You're just a peak. Level law enforcer. Do you think you can stop me? Feng Ling sneered. Even if you successfully kill us, you don't know how to. Get out of here. With your heavenly heritage's ability to absorb power, you. Can only wait for death. Ina retreated and quickly activated her spiritual energy, preparing to blow. Herself up. She was determined to die. She would rather die than let Feng Yuran get his way. However, a suppressing pressure fell and Ener couldn't move at all. Feng Yuran said, don't waste your effort. I must take your heavenly heritage. Today. I can only say that you are unlucky. You should be the most dazzling. Heavenly talent in the glazed glass world, but you have a serious illness. It's a waste for you to occupy so many resources. I'll be the heavenly talent. In your place. Buzz. Feng Yuran extended his hand, trying to grab Ener in front of him. However, in the next moment, a terrifying pressure suddenly descended. Except for Ener, Feng Yuran and the other two were all prostrating on the 
ground. Feng Ling and Qian Yu were kneeling on the ground with half of their bones. Broken and blood flowing from their seven orifices. Feng Yuran also knelt on the ground, his flesh and blood cracking. Beside them, a black shadow stood proudly with his hands behind his back. He said leisurely, what an evil pair of siblings. Who do you think you are? How do you deserve to take a heaven-level spiritual heritage? Han Fei's sudden appearance was beyond their expectations. At this moment, Han Ener was looking at Han Fei, blankly. For some reason. When this person appeared, she felt a sense of familiarity. She was instinctively relieved, thinking that this was the person left behind. By her teacher to protect her. Because the other party saved her, she felt. Friendly and close to him. At this moment, Feng Yuran, who was kneeling on the ground, said with. Difficulty, senior, I, am the only son of the Feng family, in the heavenly. Treasure city. Please spare me for the sake of the Feng family. Han Fei said coldly, the Feng family? What is that? Even if Luli herself comes today, you won't be able to survive, let alone the Fong family. Everyone? Han Ener was a bit stunned, thinking to herself, this senior is so domineering. He didn't seem to be afraid of palace master at all. Fong Ling said, senior, you can kill us, but in this way, there will be no place for Han Ener and Granny Phoenix in the glazed glass world. Why don't we each take a step back? The Fong family will offer a heavy gift to make up. For Han Ener. The winner took it all. Fong Ling and Fong Yuran investigated everywhere and waited for more than a month. After confirming repeatedly that Han Ener had no help, they finally took action. They didn't expect that the other party still had someone protecting her. Now, that they were defeated, they had no choice but to admit defeat. However, Han Fei sneered. You're quite eloquent. You deceived my innocent. Sister. Do you think you can still live? Bang. Han Fei snorted, and Feng Ling's arms exploded. She groaned in pain and lay on. Her side. Sister. Feng Yuran glared at Han Fei. Do you know that if you kill any of us, you'll be in serious trouble? Who are you? If you know our Feng family, you should know that the Feng family has seven half-kings. Not everyone can offend us. Kiki. Han Fei grinned and looked up at the void. Who am I? Then listen carefully. I. Am the current heavenly master of the Inyang world, Han Fei. The heavenly heritage you want to get is my biological sisters. The one in the void, come out. Today, I'll kill these three people no matter what. I'd like to see what kind of dragon pool and tiger den the glazed glass world is. Why can't I explore it? Buzz. Han Fei's words struck Han Ener's heart, like a bolt of lightning. For a moment, she was at a loss and looked at Han Fei in shock, thinking, how? Is this possible? How can I have a brother? Besides, he was the current heavenly master of the Inyang world. Who didn't know that the Inyang world had long perished in the raging sea? Where did the master of the Inyang heavenly palace come from? Not to mention Ener, even Feng Ling and Feng Yuran were stunned. The two of them immediately thought that this person was a liar. This was impossible. Feng Yuran said, that's impossible. The Inyang world has disappeared for 80,000 years. How can you be from the Inyang world and call yourself the immortal master? Buzz. Just when everyone expressed their disbelief, Han Fei didn't look at them at all. Opposite Han Fei, a black shadow appeared. In the next moment, an old woman with white hair quietly appeared. 
Seeing the old woman, Han Ener hurried over. Teacher. The old woman sighed, stroked Han Ener's head, and then looked straight at. Han Fei. You're finally here. I didn't expect that it wasn't either of them. Han Ener's heart skipped a beat. What does teacher mean? You're finally. Here? Is. Is this person really my brother? Han Fei raised his head and looked at the old woman. Black Phoenix Demoness? While everyone was stunned, the old woman chuckled. How do you know that I am? The Black Phoenix Demoness? Han Fei said indifferently, when I found the medicinal field, I found that. The spiritual energy in the medicinal field was not normal. The entire medicinal field is an array, and the array is in harmony with nature. This is one of the reasons. Secondly, this should be your plan. You wanted to test the Fong siblings, or this Fong Yuran. Therefore, you left with an excuse and waited until today. Ener is not strong and has a heavenly heritage. It's impossible for her to survive without the protection of a strong master. I originally guessed that the master of glazed glass was taking care of Ener, but when I felt that the temperature here had slightly dropped to the limit of Ener's endurance, I was sure that the person who came was not the master of glazed glass. The Tao runes were not right. With that, Han Fei looked at the old woman and said, The only reason I can think of is that your Black Phoenix Demoness. Fong Yuren's heart trembled. Black Phoenix Demoness? The captain of the devil. Girl pirates? A king level powerhouse? Feng Ling was dumbfounded, so was Chen Yu. Han Ener's background was so terrifying. Even Ener looked at her teacher in surprise. It turned out that her teacher was the commander of the Devil Girl Pirates. Han Fei looked at Ener gently. In fact, Han Fei judged this situation because of the Nine Palace Luck Ruler. And he could guess it partly because of his gambling mentality. Han Ener was shocked. Feeling Han Fei's gaze, she didn't dare to look at Han. Fei, but she was very curious. As for her background, she wasn't that. Surprised. Black Phoenix said indifferently, since you know I'm here, why did you still? Attack? Han Fei glanced at Feng Yuran. How can I watch my sister suffer? Black Phoenix said indifferently, since we've taken action, we can only take action to the end. Although the Inyang world and the glazed glass world have a good relationship, the palace master has left the raging sea for a long time, so our relationship will change. The Fong family is indeed a strong family in the glazed glass world, and it's even stronger than what Fong Yuran said. Otherwise, I would have rejected him long ago. Han Fei tilted his head. With seven half kings? Black Phoenix chuckled. What do you think? Han Fei snorted. Do you mean that the Fong family has a king? Black Phoenix, if they have, do you still dare to fight them? Han Fei smiled. How many kings does the glazed glass world have? Black Phoenix, there are four kings, master of glazed glass, Chiu Yue Ming. Fong Xinlan. Me, Supreme in Black Phoenix. Han Fei looked at Black Phoenix. I didn't intend to meet you, but since I've met you, I got it. Who can you stop? Black Phoenix giggled. Do you think I will definitely help you? Han Fei said, You've watched over Ener for so many years and spent more than a month to fish out these people's evil intentions. If you had other schemes, you wouldn't have waited until now. Black Phoenix smiled faintly. Today, the master of glazed glass went to the supreme mystic world. Han Fei's heart did a flip. Therefore, there were only Chiu Yue Ming and Feng 
Xinlan left in the glazed glass world. The black phoenix's meaning was obvious. The departure of the master of glazed. Glass was probably the last straw that pushed Feng Yuran to take the risk. And the departure of the master of glazed glass meant that there were only two. Kings left in the glazed glass world except for Black Phoenix. Now, it seemed that Black Phoenix asked him if he dared to attack the Fong. Family, because she wanted to see his courage and strength. Hanfei smiled and said, I dare to fight Mad Fourth King, so I can certainly deal with Fong Xinlan. If you want to see it, go ahead. Then, Han Fei reached out and grabbed Feng Yuren's neck. He cast out the void lines, activated the soul-searching technique, and immediately found the location of the Feng family. Han Fei grinned. In the end, the Yingyang world will return sooner or later. Let me make today a start. Boom. On the fiery island, on the tranquil earth fire platform, the world rumbled. The sound spread thousands of kilometers and rippled the void. At that moment, in the glazed glass world, countless half-kings and venerables opened their eyes and looked in the direction of the tranquil earth fire. Platform. Someone walked in the air, covering thousands of kilometers with each step. That person came from the fire, and the void behind him rumbled. The fire burned all the way to the Fong family. At that moment, under the heavenly palace, Chiu Yuaming, who had just returned, was shocked. Supreme Black Phoenix? No, who was that person? In the Fong family, a charming woman saw through the void. Then she saw someone come carrying the descendants of the Fong family in his hand. Was he asking for a fight? At this moment, the entire Fong family was on guard. The visitor was extremely strong. He was clearly here to cause trouble. Six half-kings of the Fong family stepped in the air. The other person was lucky enough to be absent. Among the six half-kings, an old man shouted on the spot, Who are you? Why do you kidnap the descendants of our Fong family? Fong Ling and Fong Yuran were dumbfounded. They had never seen such a scene. Before. The master of the Inyang Heavenly Palace and the commander of the Devil Girl Pirates were actually hiding in the glazed glass world? At this moment, they suddenly showed up. Who wouldn't be afraid? Feng Ling only had time to shout, Third Grandpa, help. Then she fell silent, because her soul had been controlled. The so-called Third Grandpa was the youngest of the six. He looked like a young man. Now he shouted, How dare you bully our phone? Family? Let go of my granddaughter now, or I'll make you regret it. Han Fei raised his eyes. Is this the attitude of your phone family? Bang. As Han Fei issued an order in his heart, the woman named Qian Yu directly exploded. In an instant, her soul vanished. At this moment, Black Phoenix finally arrived with Han Ener. The two of them walked slowly, and Black Phoenix said, Ener, I didn't know that you had a brother. However, this is very likely. I don't know what he has been through, so I won't hand you over to him casually. Let's see what he will do. Then you can whether to go with him or not. At this moment, Ener was very confused, yet utterly excited. As soon as this brother appeared, she felt a special kinship with him. It was a connection that stemmed from bloodline. She desperately longed for this kinship. At this moment, seeing Han Fei start to slaughter people in front of the phone. Family, Ener couldn't help but panic. After all, the Fong family was not an ordinary family. Han Fei killed one of them first. Then he said to the old man, Mind your manners. Han Fei had fought his way up and experienced countless battles. When he was angry, his killing intent was overwhelming, and when he was crazy, his energy 
and blood was surging to the sky. At this moment, Han Fei had killed a person in the blink of an eye. Although she wasn't from the Fong family, she was still a heavenly talent of a small family. She had already become an advanced explorer at such a young age. However, Han Fei killed her with a thought in public. How domineering was that? Third Grandpa was about to fly into a rage when someone stopped him. May I ask who you are? Why did you have to catch our children and make enemies of us? Although this person was talking to Han Fei, he was looking at Black Phoenix. Bang! Half of Fong Ling's body was broken and exploded into nothingness. A scream shook the entire Fong family. How dare you? Could it be that Han Fei's hundred beast soul subduing roar couldn't beat them? Han Fei's voice rumbled like thunder, making it impossible for everyone in the Fong family below the venerable realm to withstand it. Fortunately, a large array appeared and blocked this voice. Han Fei shouted, Who are you looking at? Can't you tell who is the real boss? Instantly, everyone in the Fong family was furious, but didn't dare to say anything. Han Fei was still holding Fong Ling and Fong Yuran in his hands. This guy was like a lunatic, attacking without batting an eye. He was clearly provoking them. At this moment, all the half-kings of the Fong family couldn't sit still. Anymore. They had already been slapped in the face. If they still didn't take action, how would the other big clans and various venerable level powerhouses in the heavenly treasure city look at the Fong family? Swish. 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 The six half-kings attacked at the same time. Of course, these six people knew that the battle couldn't be fought in the heavenly treasure city, but in the void. How could the billions of people on the floating island withstand a battle between half-kings? However, when these people wanted to pull Han Fei into the void, Han Fei suddenly stepped out, pointed his finger at the sky, and blasted one of them away. Then, Han Fei activated the star teleportation technique, and his figure floated as if he had appeared in multiple places at the same time. He either clenched a fist mark, held a big hand, or stepped on the void. At that moment, his ability to absorb the spiritual energy within a hundred kilometers in an instant and his palm or fist mark that contained strong Tao runes didn't give these people a chance to break through the void at all. Bang! Boom! 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 With three punches, two Half King's bodies were already broken. Han Fei easily swept through the six Half Kings. If he wanted to kill, all the Half Kings of the Fong family could be killed in one second. This scene shocked all the venerables in the heavenly treasure city. Hiss! Who is this guy? Is there a new king in the glazed glass world? His speed is unparalleled and his strength is astonishing. No one in the phone. Family can resist him. Where did this person come from? He shattered a half-king with a wave of his hand, but he can still control his strength without leaking out at all. What exquisite control? Of course, although Han Fei shattered the half-kings in a row, he didn't kill them. Buzz. While the venerables of the heavenly treasure city were shocked, Chiu Yu Ming appeared in the void and said, Granny Phoenix, what's going on? Why don't you stop him? However, Black Phoenix moved slightly and stood in front of Chiu Yu Ming, saying indifferently, since we're looking for trouble, there must be a reason. Moon King, why don't you wait and see? Chiu Yuming narrowed her eyes. Others didn't know, but the kings naturally knew Granny Phoenix's strength. This person had long stepped into the sea establishment realm and was not weak. 
She had been farming in the Tranquil Dao Academy and only took in one. Disciple Why did she suddenly participate in today's matter? Granny Phoenix was actually blocking her way and Han Fei had just shown. Terrifying strength just now. Xiao Yuiming thought to herself, this person was. Only a half-king, but he could kill a half-king as easily as crushing a shrimp. Who was he? But since Feng Xinlan hadn't taken action yet, she might as well wait and see. After being shattered by Han Fei, all the half-kings, who were just reborn, looked at Han Fei solemnly with a dark face. The leader asked, Senior, may I ask who you are? Where are you from? Why are you attacking our Feng family? At this time, they had no intention of pulling Han Fei into the void to fight. Because they couldn't beat him at all. They even suspected that they had encountered a king. Han Fei grinned. You finally get how you should talk to me. Heh, but I don't want to talk to you. Call Feng Xinlan out. The six half-kings of the Feng family blushed. Who could tolerate such provocation? However, they couldn't just call out the king. With the king here, even a small matter would become a big matter. The old man said, I'm the head of the Feng family. Why bother the king of our family? Why don't we solve it here? Han Fei didn't mind. He said, you want to solve it? Fine, Feng Ling and Feng. You ran tricked my sister, trying to take her heavenly heritage. If I hadn't arrived in time, I'm afraid they would have gotten their way. Tell me, how can the Feng family appease my anger? Huh? Your sister? At this moment, everyone's eyes fell on Han Ener. This little girl was also a legend. Her heavenly heritage had long been seen through, and she had been taken into the Tranquil Heart Dao Academy, to Cultivate. Because of Granny Phoenix and the Tranquil Heart Dao Academy, generally no one would covet her. Looking at Feng Ling and Feng Yuran, the Feng family's ancestors, could probably be sure of the authenticity of the matter. However, they really didn't expect this little girl to have such a background. Xiao Yuiming was also slightly surprised. He had never heard of this little girl having any friends or family. When she came out, her talent was indeed astonishing. However, soon, everyone discovered that something was wrong. This girl's soul was incomplete and she would definitely die if she transcended the tribulation. She could be stuck at the peak of the law enforcer realm for the rest of her life. This stopped many strong masters from taking her as their disciple. The Fong family had a king. For the sake of Granny Phoenix, as long as their descendants didn't die, they could compensate Ener. Otherwise, how would others look at the Fong family? The leading half-king said, fellow Daoist, since this has happened, the Fong family will definitely punish these two people. Fortunately, your sister is fine. The Fong family is willing to pay a million ultra-quality spiritual stones as compensation. Kakik. Han Fei smiled, and the aura around him made everyone realize that something was wrong. Bang! Feng Ling in front of Han Fei exploded and died on the spot. Feng Ling was just an explorer. If she exploded, she would really die. How dare you! The half-kings of the Feng family all shouted. They were all furious. Who could have expected Han Fei to kill Feng Ling, so? Casually? F asterisk CK, at least give us a reason. If you aren't satisfied with what we offer, tell us your conditions. Why did you just kill her? But even so, they didn't dare to attack. If it weren't for the fact that the Feng family had a king, they wouldn't have dared to fight Han Fei at all. 
Xiao Mingyue frowned deeply. Granny Phoenix, isn't this too much? Granny Phoenix smiled. There's nothing wrong with killing her. Ener, on the other hand, couldn't bear it. She said, Teacher, why don't we? Just, forgive them? However, her teacher, who had always doted on her, shook her head slightly. Some things can be done, but some can't. In the world of cultivation, people are different. Chiu Yu's heart did a flip. What did Granny Phoenix mean? People were different? Did this little girl have a shocking background? Buzz. Above the Fong family, a beautiful woman suddenly appeared. She was dressed in green, and her eyes were cold. She said, you went too far. Your sister is a human, but how can the children of our Fong family be slaughtered by you? Today, I won't let you off. The corners of Han Fei's mouth curled up slightly. Oh. You're finally out. You kings think you can put on airs? However, putting on airs in front of me is never a good thing. Feng Xinlan, right? I'll give you a chance. You can. Give me a condition that I can't refuse. Don't let me take what I want for myself. At this moment, everyone looked at Han Fei differently. How could he be so calm in the face of a king? This boldness was rare in the world. Who was this person? If there was such a person in the glazed glass world, it was impossible for his Feng family not to know. Feng Xinlan said, What a half-king! Who gave you the courage to challenge a king? Han Fei said contemptuously, I'll give you another chance to organize your words. Give me a condition that I can't refuse. Feng Xinlan narrowed her eyes slightly. What if I don't? Bang! As soon as Feng Xinlan said so, she disappeared. In midair, a ring fell. However, in addition to this ring, there was also a huge fist mark. Boom! Clang! The ring was sent flying by a punch, and a terrifying explosive power swept. Across the world. Stop! Xiao Yueming shouted. The power of a king suppressed the world, locking this terrifying explosion in. This space. Xiao Yueming shouted, Do you want to destroy the heavenly treasure city? How? Can a king be so insensible? Both Xiao Yueming and Feng Xinlan were shocked. Who is this guy? He's only a half king, but he can confront a king without retreating. He he. I gave you a chance, but you didn't cherish it. What a pity. Bang. Under the watch of Chiu Yueming and Feng Xinlan, Han Fei controlled Feng Yuran. To blow himself up. The power of the explosion was grabbed by Han Fei, and then. Put into the void. Han Fei's strength shocked the entire Feng family. Black Phoenix watched this scene quietly from the beginning to the end. Thinking to herself, the son of the palace master is actually so strong. As expected of the heir of the Yin-Yang world. This is even stronger than what Zhen Zhu described to me. At this time, Han Fei said casually, you missed an opportunity. Now I'll give you another chance. Give me compensation that I can't refuse. Otherwise, the Fong family won't exist anymore. Buzz. At this moment, not only Fong Xinlan, but even Chiu Yueming looked at Han Fei. In shock. Are you F asterisk king crazy? Fong Xinlan gritted her teeth and said, I'd like to see how you can destroy. My Fong family. Chiu Yueming shouted, I don't care who you are. This is the glazed glass. World. How dare you act so ferociously in our glazed glass world? This matter is no longer just about the Fong family. Han Fei looked back at Black Phoenix. At that moment, Black Phoenix smiled and said, Moon King, let's wait and 
See. Xiao Yuaming shouted coldly, What are you still looking at? This be asterisk starred once. To destroy our glazed glass world. Granny Phoenix, are you going to take advantage of your seniority to go against me? Granny Phoenix said indifferently, If you speak this way, Moon King, don't blame me for attacking you. Xiao Yu said coldly, Granny Phoenix, are you not going to stay in the glazed glass world? Granny Phoenix shook her head slightly. That's right. Indeed, there's no need for me to stay in the glazed glass world. Beside Han Fei, the illusion of mountains and rivers appeared, and Xia Xiaochan appeared. When Xia Xiaochan appeared, she was a little stunned. What's going on? Who is fighting whom? Han Fei said, Girl, help me take care of my sister. Let me meet the kings of the glazed glass world. Although Xia Xiaochan didn't know what happened, the moment she saw Ener, she still appeared beside Ener and Granny Phoenix. Granny Phoenix looked at Xia Xiaochan in surprise, thinking, Han Fei still doesn't trust me. Han Ener and Xia Xiaochan looked at each other. Xia Xiaochan smiled. Little sister. Ener blushed and immediately lowered her head timidly. After hesitating for a moment, she said with difficulty, Sister-in-law? When the king saw Han Fei summon a half-king, they were puzzled, not because he summoned a mere half-king, but because Han Fei carried a small world with him. A powerhouse who could carry a small world with him could never be underestimated. In the next moment, Han Fei disappeared. Under Han Fei's feet, the void within a hundred kilometers cracked and shattered. Han Fei's fist was full of killing intent, magnificent, and illuminating the sky. Han Fei said, since you don't want to give it to me, I'll take it myself. Supreme Mystic World When Han Fei attacked the Fong family, the four palace masters of Supreme Mystic, Immeasurability, Glazed Glass, and sword god gathered in the supreme mystic world. At this moment, a young man was standing respectfully under the four of them, reporting something. If Han Fei were here, he would have recognized this person. Wasn't this Song Kaiyuan, who he had robbed twice? Song Kaiyuan said, For palace masters, it can't be wrong. The person who Claims to be black ghost used the treasure of the ashless world, the infinity. Water. Furthermore, he has many great daos. Not only has he embarked on the path of invincibility, but he has also mastered the great dao of space, and an unknown great dao, that could double his strength. It's impossible to tell his disguise technique, but his offensive methods include the heavenly void divine. Movement, the star teleportation technique, and the hundred beast soul. Subduing roar. He should have interacted with the beast king world too. The palace master of the immeasurability world directly said, Kaiyuan, just tell us who you think he is. If you can't tell, we don't have to come here. Song Kaiyuan nodded slightly. I only found one of his identities. Although, this person tried his best to hide it, his momentum in battle, can't be fake. He and the holy child of the snow god's temple are extremely similar when they use fist techniques. These two people should be the same person. I'm sure. Huh? Mushue Sisi, who was reporting with Song Kaiyuan, widened her eyes in shock. The once I put on the mask, I don't love anyone, guy. Song Kaiyuan rolled his eyes at her and said, At first, I wasn't quite sure. However, after considering the details, it's not difficult to be sure. The Holy Child, Shui Zhan, was ranked first in the Heavenly Imperial Tree competition. But in front of the bronze door, he only walked less than 1,500 meters. 
Then, he wrapped himself with the ice snow lotus throne. It seemed that he had an epiphany and was cultivating, but it was actually not the case. Facing such a great opportunity, there was no reason for him to stop. As far as I know, Shui Zhan's physique was even stronger than Wu Hao's. In the end, Song Kaiyuan said, this person has obviously embarked on the path of invincibility long ago. The path of invincibility is extremely rare in the raging sea. With the principle of great Tao absorption, no matter how low-key he is, as long as he grows to the level of a half-king, there's no reason for him not to be exposed. Even if he is in the outer sea, he shouldn't have been so obscure. Master of glazed glass, so, are you sure that they are the same person? The palace master of the sword god world said indifferently, is it possible that it's an avatar? Song Kaiyuan shook his head slightly. It's impossible for it to be an avatar. If it's an avatar, there's no need for Shui Zhan to hide in front of the bronze gate. He won't let himself stay in the land of King Death that opens every 300 years. He must have come out by now. Since it's not an avatar. If they want to come out, they have to avoid the detection of Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian. Either their concealment technique has reached the point where it's difficult for a king to detect, or they have a small world with them. Even if they have a small world with them, they need someone to take them out of the land of King Death. Then, how can these two people disappear perfectly? This becomes a huge problem. Therefore, when all kinds of coincidences are combined, this is no longer a coincidence. Song Kaiyuan slowly raised his head and said, in conclusion, either this person is a king that can use project clones, or the heavenly masters looked at each other. In the end, the master of the supreme mystic world said leisurely, or the twin divine technique that has disappeared for a long time. Mushue Sisi looked at her senior brother in shock. From the beginning to the end, she didn't find any problems. Why did senior brother notice so many details? The heavenly master of the sword god world said, in front of Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian, if he's really a king, there's no place for him to hide. No matter how hard he tries to hide his aura, the special aura of a sea establisher can't be hidden. Unless his strength completely exceeds that of Yi Qinglong and Ji Xian. But with that strength, there's no need to go to the land of King. Death, let alone rob others. The master of glazed glass nodded. That's right. He's already in the sea. Establishment realm. Why would he do such a meaningless thing? This person shouldn't have become a king yet. The heavenly master of the immeasurability world said leisurely, so, the turmoil in the wild abyss a while ago was actually because someone came out. Song Kaiyuan said, yes, I thought of this just because I thought of the turmoil in the wild abyss. Otherwise, I might have ignored this matter, and treated all these as coincidences. The heavenly master of the immeasurability world shook his head slightly. They can't be coincidences. You've already explained it to this extent. It's impossible to describe all these things as coincidences. The Inyang world has disappeared for more than 80,000 years. I'm afraid those people are about to die. It's indeed time for them to show up. The supreme mystic world master said, actually, the infinity water alone can Give us the answer. Don't forget, the place where the heavenly desolate city fell was in the Inyang world. The heavenly master of the sword god world said indifferently, let's stop. Here. Once the Inyang world appears, how can the nine palace continue to lie? Lo? 
Master of Glazed Glass said, If the Inyang world and the Nine Palace world return, the 36 mystic worlds will probably have to make a choice. At least, the Snow God's Temple has made their choice. The Supreme Mystic World Master said leisurely, I just don't know what happened to them all these years. If they can really return, why bother to hide? I'm not very optimistic about this matter now. If they return and start a war with the 36 mystic worlds, the people will be plunged into misery and suffering again. They'd better not return. The Supreme Mystic World Master said to Song Kaiyuan and Mu Shuizi, the two of you can leave. Don't tell this matter to anyone else. Yes. Not long after Song Kaiyuan and Mu Shuizi left, Liu Li suddenly frowned. The person from the Sword God world asked, What's wrong? Liu Li, something seems to happen in the glazed glass world. I have to go back. Now. Glazed glass world, heavenly treasure city. The void, cracked. Now Han Fei's disassembling degree of spiritual energy had reached 100%. The power of his great Tao was 30% stronger than before, and his strength erupted to the limit. With a casual tap, there would be nearly a hundred thousand waves of super power. The power of his great Tao instantly condensed and moved at his will. The power seemed infinite. This was the benefit of perfect disassembling of spiritual energy. And this was even after Han Fei sent a projection out. Such power was definitely not something ordinary kings could compare to. But at this moment, Han Fei found that he and a king of the inner domain were evenly matched. He had underestimated the kings of the world. Logically speaking, with his current strength, he could easily beat a king like the White Armor Emperor. However, he drew a tie with Feng Xinlan today. In Black Phoenix's eyes, today, she just wanted to see Han Fei's strength, and his means. Now, she had seen his strength. To be able to fight Feng Xinlan, like this, in the Half-King realm, she could recognize him as the master of the Inyang world. As for his means, Han Fei was fierce, domineering, and vengeful. This meant that Han Fei had probably experienced a lot before. However, she didn't quite like his domineering personality. This was too different from the style of the former palace master. At this moment, the two parties had only fought for less than five seconds. But it was already dark in the sky, and there were void cracks everywhere. Occasionally, there were auras dissipating, so Chiao Yuaming had to postpone the game with Black Phoenix and cleaning the mess made by the two people in the sky. Chiao Yuaming shouted via voice transmission, Feng Xinlan, stop. Do you want to destroy the heavenly treasure city? Feng Xinlan snorted. This guy is bullying our Feng family. How can I let him off? Han Fei sneered. How noble is my sister's status? If it weren't for the fact that the glazed glass world has taken care of her for so many years, do you think this matter would be over easily? Feng Xinlan scolded, noble? I'd like to hear how noble her identity is. Han Fei sneered. I'm on an equal footing with Liu Li. What do you think of my sister? Huh? Whether it was Feng Xinlan or Chiu Yuming, their first reaction was, What are you bragging about? However, on second thought, this guy's strength was really terrifying. He was only in the half-king realm, but he was comparable to a king. If he transcended the tribulation and became a king, how strong would he be? The two of them thought about it further. What did this person mean by being on an equal footing? Granny Phoenix was clearly on this person's side. With a king as his subordinate, this person's identity. His 
Xiao Yueming and Feng Xinlan's hearts sank. Is he the master of an unknown? Heavenly Palace? Bang! Han Fei and Feng Xinlan threw a punch at each other and stood quietly in the air. Feng Xinlan finally calmed down a little. Liu Li wasn't around, Xiao Yueming was. Blocked by Granny Phoenix, and this guy's strength was comparable to hers. If they continued to fight, only the heavenly treasure city would be damaged. However, Han Fei seemed determined to destroy the Feng family, which Feng Xinlan couldn't ignore. Seeing that the two of them had stopped fighting, Chiu Yueming immediately broke through the void and came over. Chiu Yueming shouted, I don't care who you are. If you really touch the heavenly treasure city, you will be the enemy of our glazed glass world. Your sister has been saved, and the criminals have been killed by you on the spot. If you push your luck, you will offend more than just our glazed glass world. Han Fei didn't seem to hear Chiu Yueming. Instead, he looked into the void and asked Black Phoenix, Does Liu Li know Ener's identity? Black Phoenix nodded. Yes. Han Fei asked, How long has Ener been in the glazed glass world? Black Phoenix, 63 years. Han Fei was briefly stunned, but then he realized that there was nothing wrong with the number of years. If he counted the years when he stayed on Earth, it wouldn't be much longer than this. In the cultivation world, a few decades or hundreds of years was no different. From a few months or dozens of months. Han Fei nodded slightly. Then he glanced at Feng Xinlan and Xiao Yueming indifferently and snorted. The favor that the glazed glass world took in my sister has been offset with our feud with your Feng family. Tell Liu Li that I'll take Ener away. When we meet again, we are no longer friends. For Han Fei, even if he couldn't win, he had to win in momentum. Whether it worked or not, he would say a few harsh words first. Besides, Feng Xinlan didn't dare to really fight. After all, this was the sky. Above the heavenly treasure city. If they fought seriously, the consequences would be disastrous. Therefore, under Chiu Yueming's repeated scolding, Feng Xinlan finally stopped. After Han Fei stopped, he still clamored. He wouldn't owe anyone a favor. He was very satisfied with the result he got today. No matter what the relationship between Liu Li and his mother was back then. The master of the Yang world was him now, and he didn't want the Yang world to owe the glazed glass world a favor easily. Xiao Yueming said coldly, don't go too far. What makes you think you're qualified to call our palace master by name? Ha ha ha. Han Fei laughed. She will know if I'm qualified or not when she comes back. Han Fei retreated from the void with a swish, his voice still echoing. Remember, the Feng family has used up the favor, I owe Liu Li. Feng Xinlan thought to herself, not good. The favor this person mentioned was probably not small. This person came to their door with such great fanfare not to ask for compensation, but not to recognize this favor. However, Han Fei had already appeared outside. If she compensated him, it would be a disgrace to the Feng family. There would probably be various rumors about the Feng family in the Heavenly Treasure City. Soon, Xia Xiaochan was standing beside Ener, feeling the atmosphere was strange. As if to start a topic, Xia Xiaochan said, Ener, do you want to know about the stupid things your brother did when he was a child? Huh? Ener was stunned. Why did she suddenly mention this? However, she was really curious. What was her brother like before? Not to mention Ener, even Black Phoenix, was curious. Xia Xiaochan said, when I first met him, he was only a fishing master, with a level 3 spiritual heritage. His talent was much worse than yours. 
Xiao Xiaochan had just started and hadn't finished speaking yet. With a swish, Han Fei broke out of the void and looked at Xiao Xiaochan. Helplessly. Hey. I was just absent for a while. Can we not talk about this? Xiao Xiaochan was lost for words. How did you come back so fast? Black Phoenix shook her head slightly. It's good not to owe them a favor. Han Fei grinned. Of course. Behind Han Fei, Feng Xinlan and Xiao Yuming also broke out of the void. Xiao Yuming shouted, How can Feng Xinlan represent the master of glazed? Glass? Without looking back, Han Fei sneered. The Feng family is from the glazed. Glass world. If the Feng family makes a mistake, the glazed glass world makes a mistake. Feng Xinlan asked, but you've already killed two people from the Feng family. Han Fei said, those two people have done too many evil deeds. Their deaths are not worthy of being used as chips. Before they could refute, Han Fei said, we're even now. I'm leaving. Are you? Going to stop me? Xiao Yuaming, why don't you dare to wait for the master of glazed glass to come back? Han Fei sneered. I don't even know her. Why should I wait for her? Just because I don't attack now doesn't mean I'm easy to talk to. Don't talk. Nonsense. I'm leaving now. With that, Han Fei looked at Black Phoenix. The two looked at each other and took Xia Xiaochan and Ener to break through the void. It was not that Xiao Yuaming and Feng Xinlan didn't want to stop them, but once they did, there would be a big battle. Xiao Yuaming sighed. Your Feng family should quickly give the outside world an explanation to resolve this matter as soon as possible. I've already informed Liu Li to return. We seem to have been tricked. Feng Xinlan's face was black. Now that things had come to this point, it was useless to talk about it. She could only wait for Liu Li to come back to take charge. Half a day later, when Liu Li returned, although the battle had already ended, she could still learn what had happened for many people. Lili's perception swept across the Feng family. Seeing that Xiao Yuaming and Feng Xinlan were both here, she immediately said, Come and see me. A moment later, Feng Xinlan said, This matter was started by two stupid children of our Feng family, but everything happened too fast. And that kid was too domineering and killed the two children on the spot. I didn't find out about his true intentions immediately. Xiao Yuaming said, Liu Li, who is that child, and Granny Phoenix? What secrets are there behind them? After hearing their accounts, Liu Li said calmly, he wants to take back this favor just like that? Impossible. Xiao Yuaming asked, Liu Li, is this favor very important? Liu Li said lightly, at least, not so cheap. Hearing this, Feng Xinlan thought to herself, sure enough, I was tricked. It's that kid's fault. His attitude was too tough at that time, and I was provoked. Feng Xinlan asked, Liu Li, who are they? Liu Li said leisurely, the kid should be the current master of the Yin Yang world, and Granny Phoenix is the Black Phoenix demoness of the Devil Girl. Pirates. Han Ener is the daughter of Han Guanchu and Jiang Lingxian. Hiss. Xiao Yuaming and Feng Xinlan were both shocked. Inyang World? Black Phoenix? Xiao Yuaming said in shock, hasn't the Inyang World disappeared for eighty thousand years? Is it coming back? Feng Xinlan's heart stirred. Do they have the confidence to return? Liu Li said, since the age of doom, too many people have forgotten the real reason for our existence in the raging sea. If someone leaves, he will 
definitely return. You don't have to worry about this matter. Xinlan, Yud. Better not make enemies with him. Feng Xinlan was silent for a moment. I'm waiting to see how that kid will. Return. Liu Li shook her head slightly, thinking, there are still many things you don't. No. Lu Ran and Mu Shi were discussing the matter of the Feng family. Mu Shi said, the commotion in the Feng family is definitely not something a half-king can cause. They said that a half-king of the Feng family is deducing a great technique. Obviously, that's a lie. Lu Ran shrugged and said, isn't that obvious? Your master has already taken action, so it's just for ordinary people to hear. But don't ask about this. Matter. There's nothing to ask. If your master has a conflict with the Fong family, can you help her fight the Fong family? The two of them were chatting when they heard a voice. Lu Ran, Mushi, come. See me. Lu Ran and Mushi looked at each other in surprise. Master of glazed glass? In the outer sea of the glazed glass world, on a certain route in the mist, a big green ship was sailing on the sea. From time to time, it would perform a void teleportation. Finally, after two hours, the void teleportation stopped. A moment later, on the deck, Han Fei controlled the fishing pole with his sole power and casually caught a few low-level lobsters. Xia Xiaochan was fiddling with the grill. From time to time, she would throw her fishing pole into the sea to find some low-level lobsters, conchs, and manta shrimp. Ener was standing far away, looking at Xia Xiaochan and Han Fei curiously. Han Fei said, Ener, you don't know me? I thought you knew me. Ener. Seeing that Ener didn't speak, Han Fei smiled and said, People have Ener. Souls and young souls. What supports you in your body now is your young soul. But you still lack a in soul. She is waiting for me to take you back. In this way, your in and young souls will be combined, and then you can break through to the peak of the law enforcer realm at any time. With the abundant strength you have accumulated over so many years, I bet you will reach the explorer. Realm soon. Hearing Han Fei's words, Ener frowned. In soul? Han Fei chuckled. With a thought, an extremely complicated array slowly formed. On the hull. It was a small heaven and earth array. Han Fei said, the Tao of Yin and Yang are opposites, uniform, and produce. Each other. For example, in this heaven and earth array, you can enter and Leave at a glance. If I'm not wrong, you can only enter but not leave. Therefore, you don't dare to absorb spiritual energy and energy, but can only quickly release the power gathered in your body. Only in this way can you maintain the continuation of your life. This was very convincing. She couldn't help but seek her teacher's approval, but her teacher wasn't on the deck. Ener braced herself and asked, Then where is my Yin soul? Han Fei smiled. In the Yin Yang world. Ener asked, Didn't they say that the Yin Yang world disappeared eighty thousand years ago? Han Fei said, Disappearing doesn't mean it doesn't exist. If there's a way to disappear, there's naturally a way to return. It's a little difficult, but haven't I reappeared in the raging sea? At this moment, a cold-faced woman in green opened the cabin. Ener looked back and was stunned. Who else could it be but Black Phoenix? Black Phoenix said, Silly girl, since I am a king, how can I really be an old woman? Chi La. A large amount of seasonings was poured into the oil pot, and an enticing fragrance burst out. When the shrimp meat entered the pot, there was a Continuous sizzling sound, which made people swallow their saliva. 
Han Fei raised his head and said, Greetings, Senior Black Phoenix. Black Phoenix smiled faintly. Why didn't you call me Senior before? Han Fei said, I didn't know you well back then. Black Phoenix didn't argue with Han Fei about this. She said, How are things in the Inyang world? Are the four of them safe? Han Fei knew who the four people the Black Phoenix was talking about were. He said, The Waterwood Palace Master and the Golden Crow Palace Master have long died. Although my mother and father are still alive, their situation is not very good. At this time, Han Fei looked at Ener and said, Our father's name is Han. Guanchu, the master of the Nine Palace. Our mother's name is Jiang Linxian, the former master of the Inyang world. This is a secret that I spent a long time to find out. You won't be able to see them this time you go back because I'm still not strong enough. However, shouldn't you call me brother now? Ener opened her mouth, lowered her head, and said in a low voice, Brother! Ha ha ha! Han Fei laughed and called, Come on, have a taste of the food your brother made. As the saying went, more haste, less speed. After all, Ener was still very distant from him. When Ener first came into contact with Hot Pot, she was completely fascinated. Even Black Phoenix looked at Han Fei in shock. This was completely different from the domineering master of a heavenly palace. She knew. Black Phoenix couldn't help but remember that Jinju and Long Wu had said that this guy was a superb cook and claimed to be the best cook in the raging. See. In the past, she only thought that Jinju and Long Wu were talking. Nonsense, but now it seemed that it was true. Han Fei asked, Ener, is it delicious? Ener, um. Han Fei asked, do you want to eat it every day? Ener tilted her head and glanced at Han Fei, thinking, now brother looks. Like a bad guy who wants to kidnap a child. Xia Xiaochan pinched Han Fei's waist speechlessly and said, cut the crap. Eat. Han Fei. After dinner. Han Fei said, Senior Black Phoenix, since inner spiritual heritage is too. Hi, why didn't you seal this power from the beginning? Black Phoenix shook her head slightly. Why not use this power to cleanse her? Body repeatedly? You should be able to tell that Ener's physique is extremely strong. Han Fei nodded slightly. Although her physique was not as strong as his. Before, it was indeed very strong in her realm. Han Fei said, that's good. However, this way of improving the physique will eventually leave some impure power in Ener's body. Although Ener's physique looks strong now, there's actually still a lot of room for improvement. Oh? Black Phoenix said in surprise, if it's a body refining technique, Ener is probably past that period now. If she wants to completely rebuild her foundation, she'll have to cripple her cultivation and start afresh. But, Ener, with your heavenly heritage, even if you recultivate, it will be much faster. Han Fei shook his head. No need to recultivate. Black Phoenix was surprised. No need? Why? Ener has been suppressing her strength for a long time. With the slightest carelessness, she'll have to transcend the tribulation. Han Fei said, I have a great technique. Although it's not the first in the entire Raging Sea, it's definitely among the top three. This technique can remove the impurities in the body. With Ener's current situation, I'm afraid. That after completely removing the impurities in her body, her strength will even be reduced to that of a junior law enforcer. Hiss. Black Phoenix's eyes widened. How can there be such a magic technique? If there is such a technique, it can be ranked first even in the entire raging. See. 
Han Fei smiled. Ener, relax. Ener didn't dare to be negligent. Now, in her eyes, Han Fei was a super powerful existence. She was still a little confused. She didn't dare to imagine that her brother was the master of a heavenly palace, so were her mother and father. All of this happened too suddenly. It wasn't that she hadn't asked her teacher before. However, her teacher never told her. She only told her to wait and that she might know the answer later. She asked how long it would take. But her teacher said that she didn't know either. Ener still remembered that when she first asked this question, she was still a child less than ten years old. More than fifty years had passed, and she finally got this answer. Ener had just relaxed when Han Fei pointed at her glabella, and her glabella immediately dazzled with golden light. After a burst of colorful light, Han Fei looked at Xia Xiaochan and said, Girl, relax too. Me? Xia Xiaochan was stunned and asked in confusion, Is this body tempering? Technique useful to me? Han Fei smiled. Sure, this technique can be cultivated for cultivators in any realm. Take it. Xia Xiaochan certainly trusted Han Fei, so she didn't resist him. Han Fei didn't intend to keep the purity mystic body a secret. In Han Fei's view, this technique was just a transition technique. If he was willing, he could immediately spend 1,000 wisps of chaotic qi to deduce it. However, this body tempering technique was enough for the time being. This was because the body tempering technique deduced might only be suitable for high realms. For example, the indestructible overlord body eventually became the supreme mystic body. Although the latter was ranked high, the conditions required to cultivate it were extremely harsh. Now that Han Fei had the purity mystic body, he planned to teach it to the Thug Academy. At that time, he would nurture all the disciples of the Thug Academy into peerless heavenly talents. In the future, when he went on an expedition in the Raging Sea, he would have good soldiers. Black Phoenix was puzzled. You just taught others the number one body. Refinement technique in the Raging Sea so easily? Han Fei smiled casually. The Raging Sea is still too small. Who has seen the world outside? It's just a body tempering technique. If I don't even teach it. To my sister and my wife, who else can I teach it to? At that moment, Han Fei's arrogant temperament was revealed again. Black Phoenix was stunned for a moment and then said, The Avenger is already famous in the Martial Emperor City. Because of the two sea quelling bazaar treasures, many people are paying attention to you. Han Fei said disdainfully, Wherever I am, the Avenger will be there. Black Phoenix, show me the supreme Inyang wheel and the nine palace luck. Ruler. Huh? Black Phoenix said, although I already believe that you are the son of the palace master and the master of the nine palace, I still want to confirm. No. Matter how strong your array skills are and how much you know about the Yin. Young world, I still want to see those two things that can prove your identity. Han Fei raised his hand, and the nine palace luck ruler appeared in his hand. The marker moved and fell on the flat. Then, with a thought from Han Fei, little black and little white appeared. He said, since you know the Inyang world so well, you should know them. Right? Black Phoenix's eyes burned. Twin Inyang spirit swallowing fish. Han Fei asked, what is Ener's spiritual beast? Black Phoenix shook her head. For some reason, she hasn't awakened her spiritual beast yet. Han Fei frowned. He wasn't sure. Perhaps Ener was slightly different from him and needed to wait for her Ener's soul and Yang soul to fuse before she could awaken her spiritual beast. 
Without dwelling on this problem, Han Fei issued an order in his heart, and a small Yin Yang Wheel appeared beside him, but he didn't use the supreme Yin Yang Wheel, because it was unnecessary. Han Fei said, if you hadn't taken care of Yiner for so many years, I wouldn't have shown you so much. Black Phoenix, one last thing. I want to know why Yiner lacks a Yin soul. Han Fei tilted his head and looked at the Black Phoenix. I also want to ask. Why did Yiner appear in the glazed glass world? Why were you by her side? Black Phoenix was surprised. You don't know? Han Fei, not at all. Black Phoenix said, hundreds of years ago, I vaguely heard a summoning. In the void, I could occasionally hear the summoning of the palace master, but it was not clear. Until one day, a projection clone of the Nine Palace Master appeared in front of me with Ener. Before and after, I only had time to say a few words before the projection of the Nine Palace Master disappeared. Han Fei asked, what did he say? Black Phoenix said, he said to wait and take good care of Ener. If it's inconvenient, I can go to the glazed glass world to seek protection. Black Phoenix continued, the Devil Girl pirates drifted on the sea all year. Round. I wanted to take Ener with me, but later, I found that Ener was talented and didn't have ordinary meridians at all. However, her soul was greatly damaged and she needed to rest, so I went to the glazed glass world to seek protection. Hanfei was slightly relieved. It was good that they didn't come to the glazed glass world from the beginning. Otherwise, the Fong family's matter won't be able to offset the favor. Black Phoenix, where is the palace master? Where is the master of the nine? Palace? Han Fei shook his head. I don't know. Perhaps they're in the river of time. But this is not something we should consider now. When Black Phoenix heard about the river of time, the corners of her mouth twitched. That was indeed impossible to consider. That damn place was beyond the reach of ordinary people. Even she could only See time at most. But to jump into time? That was almost no different from courting death. Black Phoenix, since saving the palace master is not something we should consider, what should we do? Han Fei grinned. Heh. How long have the 36 mystic worlds been controlled by these people from the supreme clearness world? I'm afraid. They've lost their direction. Black Phoenix's heart did a flip. What did he mean? Han Fei said, Senior Black Phoenix, the Devil Girl Pirates are still the Devil Girl Pirates, and the Avenger is still the Avenger. We still need to wait for the Inyang world to return. I still need time to grow. Black Phoenix asked, Why? Han Fei asked, do you want to take a look outside the raging sea? Black Phoenix narrowed her eyes, and Han Fei sneered. Do you think my goal is the 36 mystic worlds? No, no, no. The moment I awakened my Tao heart, my goal was no longer the 36 mystic worlds. Even if I know that there are kings and even emperors here, so what? A group of clowns have spent a hundred thousand years, and are still immersed in the raging sea. They don't know what the outside world is like. At that moment, Han Fei looked like a real ruler. He was more like a king than any king the Black Phoenix had ever seen. Han Fei said indifferently, the current raging sea is a mess. Except for the high spiritual energy, more resources, and bigger places, there's nothing remarkable about it. The so-called kings, to put it nicely, are kings, but to put it bluntly, they are just a group of sea establishment cultivators. Although they are strong now, being strong for a moment doesn't mean they will always be strong. 
It's not about the revenge of the Inyang world, but the unity of human beings. Han Fei felt this way not because Jiang Linxian said that she wanted him to find a way to unify the 36 heavenly palaces, but because after he saw these people, he felt that they were just a group of strong masters ruling a group of weak people. And they even separated themselves into the inner and outer domains, and their only goal was just the monarch palace. A monarch palace had blocked these people for a hundred thousand years. To be honest, Han Fei despised their narrow vision. While chatting with Black Phoenix, Xia Xiaochan had quickly comprehended the cultivation method of the purity mystic body, and slowly woke up. Seeing this, Black Phoenix didn't continue to discuss with Han Fei but asked, Are you going back to the Inyang world? Han Fei shook his head. Before returning to the Inyang world, I still have some things to deal with. Let's go to the Supreme Mystic World first. Supreme Mystic World? Black Phoenix was slightly surprised and then reacted. Are you going to steal? Books? Han Fei couldn't have felt worse. How could you guess it? I only said a name. Black Phoenix said, you've mastered the twin divine technique and chosen to go to the supreme mystic world. Anyone can guess it. Han Fei asked, why? Can't I steal it? Black Phoenix said, it's not that you can't steal it, but as far as I know, there are almost no people who can steal books in the Supreme Mystic World. Supreme Mystic Academy is a cultivation place for the strong. There should be a king guarding it. However, Black Phoenix was a little unsure. After all, Han Fei had the twin divine technique. Even if he couldn't steal it, it wouldn't hurt his life. Han Fei said, I still have a lot of things to do in the raging sea. The devil. Girl pirates are still the devil girl pirates. From today on, you and I can. Pretend that we don't know each other. Give me a route to the supreme mystic. World and a nearby route to the martial emperor city. We can part ways. Immediately. Of course, I'll take Ener away. Han Fei didn't know Black Phoenix well. Even if they were both related to the Inyang world, there was no need to join forces now. Besides, if there were too many people, it would affect his plan. Black Phoenix took a deep look at Han Fei. When can the Inyang world return? Han Fei shook his head slightly. That depends on when I can beat the strong. Although Han Fei believed that his strength was extraordinary, if he became a king in the future, his strength would increase several times. Even in this raging sea, there were very few people who could defeat him. However, it was meaningless if only he was strong. There were so many kings and even emperors in the raging sea. Therefore, Han Fei was not invincible. If the Inyang world was to appear again, it would definitely cause a huge uproar. It was impossible for him and Mu Wuhua to resist the kings of the Raging Sea alone. They wouldn't even be able to withstand the impact of two pirate teams. Black Phoenix said again, Can we return to the Inyang world? Han Fei shook his head. There's no need. The resources in the wild abyss are limited and the spiritual energy is thin. It can't compare to the raging sea. In all aspects. If the devil girl pirates really care about the Inyang world, they should preserve their strength as much as possible. When I return, there will be a storm of blood. Xia Xiaochan had already woken up. Listening to the conversation between Han. Fei and the Black Phoenix, she thought to herself, what Han Fei didn't mention. Is the hidden danger of the Merman royal family. She forcibly left. Chun Huangdian was not stupid. He would find out sooner, or later. At that time, his target would definitely be Han Fei. Therefore, Han Fei said. 
that he needed stronger strength. Alas! Black Phoenix threw a jade slip to Han Fei and said, in the end, paper can't. Cover fire. Since you have returned and appeared in the glazed glass world, this news will eventually spread. The news that the Inyang world is about to appear can't be hidden in the raging sea for long. Since you are now the master of the Inyang world, this is something you have to bear. Han Fei grinned and didn't speak. He would deal with whatever came his way. From the moment the Snow Lady discovered his identity, he had been prepared for the news of the Inyang world to be exposed. Half a day later, when Ener woke up, Black Phoenix and Ener talked for quite a while in the cabin before they separated. When the flag of the Avenger was raised, Black Phoenix's heart sank slightly. If possible, she really didn't want to see the master of the Inyang world appear in the raging sea in such a form. However, Han Fei's strength and grand vision gave her hope. She decided to wait and see. For the time being, she would gather all the forces of the Devil Girl Pirates. Over the years, she had kept a low profile for too long. It was time for her to plunder. Ener bid farewell to Black Phoenix with tears in her eyes. When there were only Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan on the ship, she was too tense and restrained. Han Fei immediately summoned Yenner. Brother, when Yenner came out, there was a little squirrel on her head and a big white rabbit in her arms. Yenner said happily, Brother, I went to see Sister Water Luster today. The little crab is moving. Han Fei's heart did a flip. Has the King Ba crab begun to revive? However, this was not what Han Fei cared about now. He said, Yenner, this is my biological sister, Yenner. Ener, this is the daughter of my old friend, Yenner. I think you two can play together? Han Ener was stunned for a moment. Another sister appeared? Yenner, on the other hand, had already run over. Sister Ener, take this. Big white rabbit. It's so soft. Yenner directly put the big white rabbit into her arms. This was the first. Time Han Ener had seen such a magical creature. It was simply cute. The rabbit was not afraid of strangers and kept wriggling in Ener's arms. Han Ener asked, Um, what is this? Yenner said, Bunny. Sister Ener, don't you know Bunny? Yenner turned around. Brother, shall we take Sister Ener into the painting? Han Fei nodded slightly and looked at Ener. Open your mind. Just go to the small world with Nyenner to have some fun. I will go to the Supreme Mystic World and the Martial Emperor City. It may take a few days. In the small world, the spiritual energy is thin, which will make you feel more comfortable. When the illusion of mountains and rivers appeared, Ener and Nyenner went to the sea quelling painting together. Han Fei was slightly relieved. Xia Xiaochan asked, Are you just going to let them stay in the sea quelling? Painting? Is it really okay? Han Fei said, With Xiao Se, Tree Spirit, and the others around, it won't be a problem. Otherwise, Ener is so restrained since she doesn't know me well. When we return to the Inyang world, I can stuff both of them into the thug. Academy. It should take some time for them to understand this world. After all, Teacher Wenren Yu and the others know more about teaching than us. When Ener went into the sea quelling painting, Han Fei immediately glanced at the route left by Black Phoenix, quickly raised the sail, and moved in the direction of the supreme mystic world. He had just fought in the glazed glass world. When Liu Li went back, she would Definitely know that someone from the Inyang world had come. The glazed glass world was on good terms with supreme mystic, immeasurability, and sword god. Perhaps one day, she would tell this matter to the other. 
worlds. Therefore, he had to go to the supreme mystic world early. According to the route given by Black Phoenix, Han Fei roughly checked the routes. They were mostly twisted, so there must be many detours on these routes. As for why there were detours, it was probably because of some dangerous creatures on this route. Powerful creatures also had territorial awareness. And the route was mainly meant to avoid these marine creatures with great territories. Of course, there should be some creatures that suddenly attacked the route. But theoretically speaking, powerful marine creatures usually wouldn't run out of their territory. Therefore, Hanfei didn't encounter any danger along the way. The only thing he encountered was a huge octopus that reached the peak of the venerable realm. It was not hard to imagine that the big octopus was absorbed by Hanfei and ended up as food. Three days passed. Hanfei finally came to the sea near the supreme mystic world from the zigzagging routes. The supreme mystic world covered various cultivation means. Here, there were tens of thousands of academies of various sizes. Of course, in these academies, there would be some difference in quality and level. For example, some schools had venerables, while some only had explorers. Of course, in the supreme mystic world, there was a place recognized as the strongest, which was the academy. The academy was unparalleled in the 36 mystic worlds. It was said to contain millions of classics, including all kinds of magical techniques and combat skills. Supreme Mystic World, Muddy Sky City, the Holy Land of Book Mountain. When Han Fei came to this place, he felt terrible. He had been wandering around for a day and had even read the memories of two people in a row. He had already known a lot about the Supreme Mystic World. But what made Han Fei speechless was that the Academy was on the book. Mountain, which itself was an array with many wonderful arrays embedded in it. Secondly, there were very few disciples in Book Mountain. It was said that there were less than a hundred inner disciples and less than a thousand outer disciples in the entire Book Mountain. Outer disciples couldn't go to the intersect yet, so Book Mountain was desolate all year round and no one came to climb it. Han Fei looked at the towering peak and thought to himself, there must be countless arrays waiting for me along the way. Even if I'm an array master, it's impossible for me to sneak in without knowing the arrays. After a day, Han Fei finally couldn't sit still. He said, if these people don't come out all year round, do I have to wait here? For years? No, I have to lure them out. Old Yuan said, I don't think there are any weaklings in this academy. How? Much noise do you have to make to attract them? Han Fei wondered if he should trigger the seal on the book mountain and attract the attention of the academy. When they sent people to investigate, he would quietly possess them and follow them in. Just as Han Fei was about to carry out this plan, he suddenly saw a figure break through the seal of the book mountain and come out. When Han Fei took a closer look, he found that it was Song Kai Yuan. Han Fei was overjoyed. God help me. Han Fei was worried that he couldn't enter the academy when Song Kai Yuan came out. Han Fei's impression of Song Kai Yuan was that this guy was like a scholar with a refined temperament. In addition, this person was knowledgeable and seemed more like a commander. Previously, in the land of King Death, it was actually this guy who commanded the heavenly talents of the four palaces. Even later, in the Battle of Mushue Sisi and Mushi, Mushue Sisi was also constantly directing Mushi to fight. Perhaps this was a great advantage of the supreme mystic world. He must have read many combat skills and techniques and knew these things very well, so he had the ability to command. At this moment, Song Kaiyuan went out. 
Han Fei certainly wouldn't let him go. With a thought, he chased after him. A moment later, on a high-level island in the supreme mystic world, which should be a high-level reception port. There were several half-kings guarding here. At this moment, they were receiving a big ship that had just arrived. Han Fei followed Song Kaiyuan all the way here. When he saw the boat, his heart did a flip. Who was standing on the boat? Wasn't it Lu Ran and Mushi? Han Fei was lost for words. He had just come from the glazed glass world, but these two people arrived so quickly? Those who didn't know better would think that he was followed. Song Kaiyuan, Junior Sister Lu Ran, Junior Sister Mu Shi, you're here? Lu Ran said, Brother Song, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I didn't expect you to pick me up personally. Where's Cece? Song Kaiyuan smiled and said, that girl made no progress in cultivation, so. She was punished to read in the scripture repository tower. Huh? Reading again? Mushi couldn't help but shrink her head, seeming to sympathize with her good. Sister. Song Kaiyuan said, it doesn't matter. She's already used to being punished. When you go over later, that girl will definitely sneak out. But don't go in. If she can't even hold out for ten days or half a month, the punishment next. Time will definitely be more severe. Lu Ran clicked her tongue and shook her head. I really don't understand your academy. Cece is already so smart, but she is still punished into reading. Books? If this were in our glazed glass world, I'm afraid I would have to live in the scripture repository tower and never be able to come out. Song Kaiyuan smiled and said, if the master of glazed glass was willing, you would have been in the academy long ago. Mushi said, then why are we here? Song Kaiyuan said, I don't know much about this. I only know that it has something to do with the martial emperor city. Let's wait for a while. Li. Kai Tian and Jian Hui should be on their way too. They will arrive in half a day at most. Han Fei's heart did a flip. Something to do with the martial emperor city? What a coincidence. He was going to the martial emperor city too. If they were going there too, he could even take a ride. Half a day later, Li Kai Tian and Jian Hui arrived. Before Li Kai Tian got off the boat, he shouted, I really don't know what's the rush. I've just come home and was about to cultivate in seclusion for half a year before I was kicked out. Jian Hui hugged his sword and asked calmly, Why are we here? Song Kaiyuan said, Let's talk when we get to the academy first. After all, if you come as guests, our academy has to receive you, right? Han Fei had already attached himself to Song Kaiyuan, so he followed them back to the academy. When they came to the foot of the book mountain, Song Kaiyuan led the crowd into it. Wherever they went, the mist retreated and the light dissipated. The arrays seemed to ignore them. Han Fei was paying attention to these arrays and then found that these arrays were extremely complicated, similar to the methods he used to create the maze. Trial in the Thousand Star City Li Kaitian said, Old Song There are only a few dozen of you living in Book Mountain. What's there to hide? If we land halfway up the mountain, I won't be able to tell the direction. Lu Ran said, Shut up. They didn't set up this Book Mountain for you. If they had accepted someone like you, the academy would have been full long ago. Li Kai Tian chuckled. Hey! It's not my fault. These people were on good terms. Judging from their friendly relationship, the four heavenly palaces should be quite close. At least, the heavenly talents were very familiar with each other. 
After a while, everyone passed the book Mountain Array and saw a paradise on Earth. Here, the spiritual energy was more than three times more intense than in the outside world. Hanfei saw big birds flying away in shock, insects jumping in the forest, waterfalls, mountains, springs, green grass, ponds, lotus flowers, and lush green forests. Of course, these were not important. What was important was that in some forests, among the scattered houses, a tall tower stood. No matter what the other sceneries of the academy were, anyone who came to the academy for the first time would definitely be attracted by this tower. They all knew that this must be the scripture repository tower of the academy. Li Kaitian clicked his tongue and said, Every time I see the scripture repository tower, I can't help but want to go in and take a look. Hey, old Song, can you ask your junior uncle to let us go in and explore it? Song Kaiyuan smiled and said, If you want to find some books to read, I can let you enter the scripture repository tower. But if you all want to explore it, I can't decide. You can ask my master. Li Kaitian shrugged. Forget it. My luck has never been good. I've been here three times, and my luck was getting worse each time. Forget it. I'm not entering it. Hearing their words, Han Fei felt that the scripture repository tower was actually composed of two parts. One part was the normal library. There were all kinds of books, combat skills, and techniques hidden here. The other part required one to explore. What one could get was completely unexpected. After entering this place, Han Fei didn't scan this place with his perception. At the same time, he didn't ask the old turtle to investigate either. The Supreme Mystic World was an important heavenly palace in the inner domain, he couldn't underestimate the king here. It turned out that although the old turtle was knowledgeable and had experienced a long period of sedimentation, his strength was not exaggerated. If his original body was still here, he might be able to dominate a region and easily sweep across the heavenly palaces. But the point was that the old turtle only had one soul now. Hanfei didn't dare to take the risk. Everyone walked together and in the blink of an eye, they came to a lake that was as smooth as a mirror. Behind this lake was the scripture repository tower. On the lake, a person in white stood on one foot, holding a book in his hand. As if he didn't hear the arrival of Song Kaiyuan and the others. When they saw this person, everyone immediately put their movements light. Song Kaiyuan cupped his hands at the man and said, Junior uncle, everyone is here. The man didn't move his eyes away from the page, but turned it over. After reading for a while, he slowly said, All of you are too impetuous. Now stay still for a day just like me. Everyone? Li Kaiyuan and Lu Ran looked at each other and thought to themselves, I knew it. Every time they saw this junior uncle, he would say this. They had to stand for a day before they could do anything else. Junior uncle, I don't want to read. I want to stand as punishment. Suddenly, everyone looked up at the scripture repository tower. At a small window, a hundred meters high, someone stuck her head out of the window and shouted. Who else could it be if not Mushue Sisi? The man in white frowned. Rude. Shut up. The white-cloaked man reached out and squeezed, and Mushue Sisi's mouth closed. She immediately couldn't speak. Hanfei's heart did a flip. F asterisk CK, does the scripture repository tower have windows? His first thought was, I can get in from a window. But on second thought, it didn't make sense. It was impossible for such a tower to have no seals. Once he entered through the window, he would 
immediately trigger the seals. However, Mushue Sisi, whose mouth was sealed, was still gesturing. Suddenly, Mushi bowed to the man in white and said, Junior Uncle Thief King. May I go in and be punished together with Sisi? The man in white looked up at Mushi and snorted. Your willpower is extremely poor. I'll punish you to go to the tower and copy the meditation glazed glass. Scripture ten times. Hanfei was stunned. Who the f asterisk ck is this guy? She's not your disciple. How? Can you punish her? However, why does this punishment sound like special? Treatment? Hanfei immediately attached himself onto Mushi quietly. Mushi smiled sweetly. Thank you, junior uncle. With that, Mushi ran to the scripture repository tower. It was obvious that she was familiar with the place. When Mushi entered the tower, she stepped on seven or eight arrays in a row. And then entered a bottom passage about twenty meters long. At the end of the passage, there was a stone door that could be pushed open easily. As if going home, Mushi passed six stone doors in a row before she came to the real scripture repository tower. Hanfei was shocked by what he saw. The entire inner area of the scripture repository tower was full of bookshelves. Not only were there bookshelves on the walls of the tower, but in the middle of the scripture repository tower, there was a pillar that seemed to reach all the way to the top of the tower. Outside this circle of pillars, there were also layers of bookshelves. This was just the most basic bookshelf structure inside and outside. Also, between the two, there were some floating bookshelves, most in a semicircle, flying in the air. There were thousands of them. Hanfei estimated that there were probably a million books here. Oh my god! Hanfei had long known that there were many books in the supreme mystic world. But he didn't expect there to be so many. However, it had been a hundred thousand years since the Age of Doom. It seemed natural that there were many books. Mushi jumped up, soared a hundred meters in the air, and hugged Mushu Asisi. The two immediately spoke telepathically. Mushu Asisi said, Sisi, help me teach senior brother a lesson later. It's all his fault. Junior Uncle Thief King thinks I'm not smart again. Mushi seemed to be used to this scene and immediately said, You're not as smart as Senior Brother Song in the first place. Okay, let's copy it. Half four. Each of us. When you're done, let's play chess. Okay, okay. Han Fei, on the other hand, was pleasantly surprised. He didn't expect to sneak in so easily. He had thought it would be difficult, but it turned out that stealing books was not a problem for him at all. Although Mushue Sisi claimed that she was not liked by her junior uncle, in fact, she was actually spoiled. Otherwise, how could a half-king wheedle a king? How could she even have a helper? When Mushue Sisi and Mushi grabbed a pen and paper and began to copy books, Hanfei looked at the top of the tower. He didn't expect that he would come to the supreme mystic world so easily. Black Phoenix had told him that it was difficult to steal books from the supreme mystic world. However, he didn't even spend any effort. While the two girls were copying books, Hanfei had already come to the center of the thousand-meter-tall tower. At this point, there were no bookshelves and above his head was a starry sky. Hanfei had seen this scene before. Back in the fiery mountain in the level. To fishery, after he climbed up the pillar, he had seen this kind of starry. Roof. The sky above this kind of tower building was actually connected to a void. And every starlight actually represented an opportunity, a treasure. Of course, in the scripture repository tower, every starlight should represent a book. 
Han Fei felt that he had to do more to get more treasures. But once he took action, wouldn't he be discovered? Han Fei calmed himself down. He still had a way to make old Yuan use the turtle shell sky sealing technique. To temporarily seal the space. Of course, in that case, it was very likely that he would be discovered. Han Fei didn't want to run out so quickly. After all, it wasn't easy for him. To come in. Wouldn't it be a loss if he left without getting anything? Han Fei's purpose here was to find a body refining technique suitable for him. The Supreme Mystic World had a lot of books. If he could choose dozens of books and fuse them with the purity mystic body with the help of the demon. Purification pot, he might be able to get a stronger technique. The purity mystic body was ranked 998th in the sea establishment realm. Among the millions of races in the infinite ocean, it seemed to be extremely strong, but Han Fei knew that as long as he had enough body tempering techniques, he could deduce stronger techniques. However, when Han Fei tried to fly into the starry sky, he discovered, to his surprise, that the stars were retreating. F asterisk CK. Han Fei immediately retreated. Fortunately, he only tried to get a little closer. If the noise was too loud, wouldn't he be exposed on the spot? However, just as the stars retreated, Mushue Sisi couldn't help but look up at the top of the tower. Huh? Why is the sea of books moving? Mushi said, isn't it always moving around? Mushue Sisi shook her head. That's not right. That's roaming. But this time, it's escaping. Buzz. Just as Mushue Sisi was surprised, she saw that the junior uncle in white suddenly appeared in the tower with a swish. Mushue Sisi was shocked and hurriedly said via voice transmission, Junior. Uncle, I'm not slacking off. However, the junior uncle in white said indifferently, Kaiyuan, come in. Immediately afterward, Song Kaiyuan, Lu Ran, Li Kai Tian, and Jian Hui entered. The scripture repository tower. Mushue Sisi asked in surprise, why are you punished too? Song Kaiyuan shook his head, helplessly. This silly junior sister. Why is she? Always so stupid at critical moments? The man in white said, Okay, we've been putting on a show for you for so long. It's time for you to show up. Should I call you Shui Zhan or Han Fei? Or should I call you Inyang Palace Master? Everyone? Except for Song Kaiyuan, everyone was stunned. What did he mean? Lu Ran and Mu Shi were also dumbfounded. Shui Zhan. What did it have to do with? Shui Zhan. Li Kaitian couldn't help but ask, Han Fei? Isn't that the commander of the Avenger Pirates? Han Fei was also dumbfounded. What's going on? I've been discovered? My Perfect concealment technique has been seen through? Outside the book mountain, in a restaurant, Han Fei, Xia Xiaochan, Ener, and Nyaner were eating. Suddenly, Han Fei's pupils were constricted, and he couldn't help but look in. The direction of the book mountain. Excellent. Does this book mountain know what I'm going to do? How did it know I was coming? Xia Xiaochan asked, what's wrong? Han Fei said carelessly, I was discovered. In the scripture repository tower. Mu Shuizi and the others looked around in confusion. There were only the few. Of them in the tower. Who was Junior Uncle talking to? The man in white said indifferently, since I've confirmed that you're here. You must be here. You've just been to the glazed glass world. We Supreme. Mystic world is so close to the glazed glass world. There's no reason for you. Not to come. Mushue Sisi, Junior Uncle, what are you talking about? Is there anyone here? Don't scare me. 
Mushi tugged at Mushuecici's sleeve. Don't speak. After a few seconds, a voice said leisurely, I'm very curious. When did the people from your academy start to scheme against me? How did they know my identity? How did they know that I would definitely come? Hiss. Ah, ghost. Mushue Sisi and Mushi widened their eyes in shock. So, they had been with a mysterious person just now? Mushi's eyes flickered with a strange light. Shui Zhan. Was it Shui Zhan from the Snow God's Temple? At this moment, Song Kaiyuan stood out. Fellow Daoist Shui Zhan, in the land of King Death, I've already guessed that you, Black Ghost, and Shui Zhan are the same person. Excluding the possibility of avatars, since you have the Ashless World, I've already been sure of my guess. After leaving the land of King Death, Junior Uncle quickly went to the Martial Emperor City to get some information about you. However, we found that you had direct contact with the commander of the Avengers, Han Fei. In addition to some things happening in the Thunder Fire world, it's not difficult to confirm that you and Han Fei are the same person. Song Kaiyun continued, I wasn't very sure that you would come. First of all, the glazed glass world and the supreme mystic world are very close. To be precise, we four heavenly palaces are all very close to each other. Our Supreme Mystic World is known as the World of Books, so I estimated that you might come here. Secondly, we estimated that you would come to explore historical books and investigate the secrets of the Raging Sea. Although it was just a guess, it happened to be right. However, I didn't expect you to explore the Sea of Books as soon as you came. As soon as Song Kaiyuan said so. Some other people appeared with a swish. Lu Ran couldn't help but shout in surprise, Master? Li Kaitian exclaimed, Ah! Master Dragon? Jian Hui said, Greetings, Master Sword God. Lu Ran's teacher was naturally the master of glazed glass. Master Dragon that Li Kaitian mentioned was named Shang Long, the master of the immeasurability world. Jian Hui's teacher, Sword God, was Sword God Lu Qing, the master of the sword. God World. The last one was Lu Yu, the master of the supreme mystic world. The Snow Lady had told Han Fei about these people on the Snow God. At this moment, to Han Fei's shock, all these big shots were waiting for him. Han Fei said, It seems that I've gained a lot of face. I even attracted the Attention of the four heavenly masters. Liu Li looked like a girl. Her face was relaxed, covered with a white gauze. And her eyes were watery. She was a peerless beauty. Liu Li said, you went to the glazed glass world and fought with Feng Xinlan. And then you claimed that you didn't owe us a favor? No way. Anyway, Lu Ran and the others were dumbfounded. With so many big shots here. It was impossible for them to be talking to the air. There must be someone. Here. In the next moment, Mushu Sisi said to Mushi via voice transmission, it's the twin divine technique, the Inyang world's twin divine technique, that has disappeared for 80,000 years. Oh my god, he's here. The white-clothed junior uncle looked at Mushu Sisi and shook his head. Helplessly. Stupid. Hanfei finally understood that Mushue Sisi might just be bait and was deliberately placed here. When Mushi and the others arrived, the white-clothed junior uncle knew that. With this girl's personality, she definitely couldn't hold back. He also knew that Mushi would definitely ask to go in and be punished together. Because they were very good friends. This would give Han Fei a chance to enter the scripture repository tower. After entering the scripture repository tower, once he was tempted by the treasures that were as dense as the stars, he would expose himself. 
And all of this was part of these people's plan. Perhaps this wasn't the only coincidence they had planned. For example, they punished Mu Shuizi into reading in the scripture repository tower. Perhaps they had long suspected that he was here, so they let Mu Shui Sisi enter the tower. No wonder it was so easy for me to enter Book Mountain. I didn't expect that. All I saw was bait. Han Fei didn't hide it anymore. At this moment, sitting on a bookshelf, he said indifferently, however, since you know that it's the twin divine technique, you should know that this scripture repository tower can't trap me. Liu Yu said, we don't have any ill intentions, so you don't have to run in a hurry. Don't you want to steal books from my supreme mystic world? As the master of the supreme mystic world, so what if I let you steal a few times? Han Fei couldn't have felt worse. As the saying went, free food was the most expensive. It was impossible for these people not to want something from him. What Han Fei didn't understand was that since the masters of these heavenly palaces knew that he was coming, why did they let their heavenly talents and disciples participate in witnessing this scene? So, was it fun to unveil his mysterious mask? Han Fei said, don't say, steal, okay? I'm just borrowing some books. Lu Yu chuckled. Whether it's stealing or borrowing, since the master of the Inyang world has appeared, it means that it's not far away from returning. Is there still a place for the Inyang world in the raging sea? It's impossible for the snow god's temple to protect the Inyang world. Although, with the four of us, it's still difficult for the Inyang world to establish itself in the raging sea. Do you not want us to be your allies? Han Fei smiled. Allies? What conditions do you need? Sword God Lu Qing said, leave, raging sea. Han Fei's heart did a flip. In the next moment, Lu Yu said, if I've guessed right, you should have a powerful compass in your hand. Han Fei's pupils were constricted slightly. How did these people know about the vast ocean navigator? Liu Li said, don't be surprised. That thing was made by us together in the first place. But 80,000 years ago, some accidents happened, causing the Yin. Yang world, Waterwood world, Golden Crow world, and Nine Palace world to be besieged. In the end, the Golden Crow world was taken, the Nine Palace world was sealed, and Yin Yang and Waterwood world escaped. The four of us formed an alliance and retreated to a corner, which has lasted to this day. Therefore, from the beginning, we were allies. Han Fei didn't trust these so-called allies very much. He could roughly guess that the Yin Yang world used to have a good relationship with these families, but before he came to the supreme mystic world, Black Phoenix didn't say anything about them to him. After all, tens of thousands of years had passed. No matter how good their relationship was in the past, could it still be so good now? Han Fei didn't want to take the risk. Han Fei said, do you want to talk about this in front of so many people? Liu said, why don't you show up? Han Fei said, I've showed up now. Everyone, especially Mushue Sisi and the others, they had learned from history that there was a magical technique like the twin divine technique. No one had really seen it. Now, Han Fei's words made them speechless. As half-kings, they couldn't even see a shadow. They had scanned around with their perceptions many times, but there was clearly nothing. Lu, you didn't ask any more. They could feel where Han Fei was, but they could only feel nothingness, where there was vague, chaotic qi surging. If they really attacked him, the chaotic qi should be used to blow himself up. Lu, you couldn't help but say, anyway, since you're here, I don't mind you. Choosing a few great techniques. 
Let's talk after you finish exploring the sea. Of books. Huh? Hanfei was stunned. Are you kidding me? I'm here to steal books, but you. Blocked me here. Not only did you not chase me away, but you also allowed me. To explore the sea of books? What kind of logic is that? Needless to say, this was clearly a trap. Hanfei said, you're not waiting for me to explore the sea of books, are you? You'd better tell me in advance. Otherwise, I really dare not explore the sea. Of books. Lu Yu said, I'll tell you after you explore the sea of books. Hanfei. In the outside world. Hanfei's white mist body was measuring his luck with the nine palace luck. Ruler. Lu Yu and the other's behavior puzzled Han Fei. After all, he was here too. Steal, but the owner was waiting for him to steal? And he even encouraged him. To steal. If there was nothing wrong with it, Han Fei could pull his head off. And kick it like a ball. However, when Han Fei tested his luck, he found that the result was. Auspicious. Although it wasn't greatly auspicious, it meant that something good would happen. Can I really explore it? Are the masters of these heavenly palaces really so friendly? However, the nine palace luck ruler wouldn't lie. If even an auspicious divination result appeared, why didn't he explore it? In the scripture repository tower, Hanfei smiled. Since you don't mind, let me try. Lu Yu smiled. You can explore it nine times. Huh? Song Kaiyuan and Mu Shui Sisi looked at Lu Yu at the same time, thinking to themselves, this is unfair, isn't it? Every time we are allowed to explore the sea of books, we are only allowed three times. Why does this guy have nine chances? Before Song Kaiyuan and the others could come out of their shock, Lu Yu said. However, you have to be careful. Anyone who explores in the scripture. Repository Tower only has nine chances in their life. After using them up. It's impossible to find any more books here. Song Kaiyuan thought to himself, after all, this person is the current. Heavenly Master of the Inyang World. Perhaps his status is higher than ours. Therefore, I can understand. After a slight surprise, Song Kaiyuan and the others raised their heads. Few people were qualified to come to the scripture repository tower to explore. The Sea of Books Han Fei could be said to be the strongest and most important person to explore. The Sea of Books What book would he find? Lu Yu said, you need to release your soul and blood to illuminate the sea of books and then explore the books with a fish hook. Have a try. His twin bodies were telepathic. Although Han Fei didn't know what Lu Yu and the others were up to, he wasn't worried. They had clearly asked him to investigate. If he didn't even dare to do this, wouldn't he seem too petty? Buzz. Han Fei didn't conceal his actions. In the blink of an eye, he appeared at the top of the scripture repository tower, at the bottom of the sea of books. At the bottom of the sea of books, there was a circular wooden platform for people to stand on. Han Fei was standing on it, holding a fishing pole. In the sea of books, his divine might shone and instantly shot into the galaxy. Han Fei switched his Great Tao to his own Great Tao, the Great Tao of Heaven. Enlightenment, and the Path of Invincibility. Swish. 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 Although Mu Shui Sisi and the others couldn't see Han Fei, they could see the fishing pole in the air and the soaring blood and chi, so they knew that there was someone here. Suddenly, Mu Shui Sisi said via voice transmission, Look. There are more stars. In the sea of books. Needless to say, everyone saw that in the starry sky of the sea of books, the 
shining stars became more and more dense. However, the stars were different in brightness, as if the stars were trying to outshine each other. However, the white-clothed junior uncle said, it's not necessarily a good thing to have more stars in the sea of books. If you have too many choices, you won't know how to choose. At this moment, countless summons suddenly appeared in Han Fei's heart. Han. Fei looked over and could see at least hundreds of shining stars trying to establish a connection with him. Han Fei's lips twitched. F asterisk CK, how should I choose? They all feel good. Originally, Han Fei was here to find a body tempering technique. However, when he was in the snow god's temple, he had already deduced a wave of body tempering techniques. Although they might not be the strongest, they were very likely the strongest in the raging sea. After all, the purity mystic body was one of the top body tempering techniques in the entire sea establishment realm. Of course, he had to find it, but the number of times was limited, so he should find some other book first. Han Fei looked at the stars and thought that he had to use the vast ocean. Navigator. Immediately afterward, in Han Fei's body, where it was covered by the black mist, the vast ocean navigator began to spin. Han Fei's first choice was naturally the eighth level of void fishing. Weather. Its name was void fishing or true spirit fishing, the vast ocean navigator. Knew what he should choose. The vast ocean navigator began to spin, which meant that there was something he needed here. Under the gaze of Song Kaiyuan and the others, after quite a while, Han Fei suddenly threw the hook at a shining star near the center of the tower. Buzz. In the next moment, Han Fei saw an ancient fish skin book emerge from the void, on which the words void fishing level 8 were written. Han Fei was stunned. He didn't expect that he would catch void fishing instead of true spirit fishing, which saved him the process to deduce it. Huh? Shang Long was puzzled. Why haven't I heard of this technique? Sword God Lu Qing, the Tao runes in this book seem to be from the monarch. Palace, right? Liu Li, I've never heard of it. Lu Yu, this is your world's book. You should. Know it, right? Lu Yu shrugged and sneered. The tower is not my tower. I've never heard of. This technique. However, I remember something. Everyone looked at him, and Lu Yu said, among the human cultivation. Techniques in the entire raging sea, there is a technique with only seven. Levels. Don't you know it? Lu Li asked, are you talking about the true spirit fishing art? That. Technique is just ordinary, right? Lu Yu shook his head. Although its quality is average, it's very rare. Because it covers all realms from the lowest level to the sea establishment. Realm. Besides, I've never heard that it has the eighth level. Everyone was silent. Lu, you knew more about techniques and combat skills than them. If Lu Yu's first thought was the true spirit fishing art, perhaps there was indeed a connection between the two. Han Fei was shocked. Even if this was the only game he got today, it was worth it. At least, it meant that there was still a way to go after void fishing. Originally, the seventh level of void fishing, void descending, was already extremely terrifying. This was different from the projections of ordinary kings. It was said that the void fishing could make the projections cross thousands of kilometers. However, in Han Fei's opinion, this ability was not as good as the void lines and the sky-stealing technique. When the two were combined, it was perfect. Void descending had no effect for the time being except that it could give him some clones and allow him to fight many people alone. Now that he had obtained the eighth level of void fishing, Han Fei immediately 
stuffed it into Forge the Universe. Even in the Black Mist state, Han Fei's use of Forge the Universe wouldn't be hindered. Han Fei smiled secretly. Anyway, these people couldn't see his expression. They only knew that he was the master of the Inyang world, but how could? They know that he had a treasure like the demon purification pot? However, when the void fishing technique was activated, the stars in the sea of books became even more dense. The stars were so densely packed that there was almost no distance between them. While Lu Yu and the others were shocked, Han Fei's vast ocean navigator began to spin again. This time, Han Fei wanted to find the strongest body tempering technique here. From the beginning, Han Fei's goal was to find a body tempering technique. Although he had already deduced the purity mystic body, he had already come to the scripture repository tower, why not find it? Swish. When a magical book shining with dazzling golden light appeared, Han Fei saw the body refining technique named Chaotic Demon Body. Below, the master of the immeasurability world said in shock, isn't this the chaotic demon body of Tai Yuan of the chaos world? Your academy even has such a body refining technique? Lu Yu shrugged. How would I know? He can get the chaotic demon body, which means that his physique refining talent is at least comparable to old Tai Yuan. After Han Fei took the chaotic demon body, he threw it into Forge the Universe. Without looking at it. After taking the strongest body tempering technique in the Raging Sea, now Han Fei wanted to choose the technique most suitable for him. There were countless techniques, but suitability was the most important. Because the number of times was limited, Han Fei wouldn't use all the times to get body tempering techniques and then fuse them. Therefore, when the vast ocean navigator began to spin for the third time, it pointed at the technique most suitable for him. Han Fei didn't specify a certain category. When the marker stopped, the fish hook was cast out. What was pulled out of? The Sea of Books was a book called The Inyang Reincarnation Saber. As soon as this technique came out, rays of light swam in the Sea of Books, and all stars glittered. Lu Yu, Lu Li, and the others looked at each other and nodded slightly. They seemed to have some judgment about something. Since then, Han Fei had used up the times to use the vast ocean navigator. Today, he looked at the great technique that almost dazzled his eyes and didn't know what to do. Han Fei couldn't help but sigh. Without the vast ocean navigator, he didn't know what to do. Although Lu Yu wanted to give him nine choices, could he fish blindly? This time, his experience in the scripture repository tower was completely different from what he expected. Han Fei didn't find a massive number of body refining techniques, but he obtained the eighth level of void fishing. This book alone was better than thousands of books. This book decided that he could continue his current path. After taking the three techniques, Han Fei put away his fishing pole and dispersed his blood chi. The starlight in the sea of books slowly faded away the moment Han Fei's aura subsided. In the end, it returned to its original appearance. Han Fei said, nine times is too many. I think I'll probably have more interactions with the supreme mystic world in the future, so I might as well leave it for the future. Now, can you tell me why you want me to explore the Sea of Books first? Shang Long of the Immeasurability World sneered. Boy, let me tell you. Something. The fact that you can appear here means that you inherited the luck. Of Yang, Waterwood, and Nine Palaces. Your luck triggered the book C. Proving that you are a person with great luck. The 36 mystic worlds. Have been trapped in the raging sea for too long. If the Inyang world appears in the Raging Sea again, 
how can it not have the help of allies? Sword God Lu Qing said indifferently, we don't have any ill intentions, but your appearance means that there will be a change in this era. R4. Heavenly palaces are different from supreme clearness, infinity, and the others. We are waiting for a change. Hanfei was lost for words. How did you know it was me? Lu Yu smiled. Luck. Since you had the compass that left the raging sea, your fate was destined to be different. This time, even Song Kaiyuan was confused. The king set up this trap, just for this. As smart as Song Kaiyuan, he naturally knew of the existence of the monarch. Palace, in a way, limited human exploration of the outside world. However, the depths of the imperial palace were too dangerous. Even kings would die there. But now with Han Fei, there was hope of leaving the raging. See? In any case, this was great news for the four palaces. However, after a moment of silence, Han Fei said, Seniors, if you want to leave the raging sea, even if I have a way to leave the raging sea, how do you know that I'm willing to leave? Liu Li said, You're only a half king now but you can tie with Feng Xinlan. This means that it shouldn't be that difficult for you to become a king. Do you also want to be sealed in this world by the monarch palace forever? Han Fei said with a smile, you've explored the monarch palace for eighty thousand years. If I want to leave, I'll definitely have to explore the monarch palace first. But if you expect me to take you away, you should pay me. More than a few books. Lu Yu said with a smile, it's too early to say whether to go or not, but this doesn't prevent us from establishing a certain alliance first. At least, you owe the glazed glass world a favor, and now you've got three great techniques from our supreme mystic world. Since you're already prepared to take revenge on the supreme clearness, infinity, and the other heavenly palaces, you don't want to make enemies of us too, right? Therefore, why don't we establish an alliance today? Han Fei thought for a moment and smiled. I have no objection. However, I'm curious why they are all here. Logically speaking, he could just talk with the masters of the heavenly palaces about these things. Why were Song Kaiyuan and the others all here? And they had been here since the beginning. At this moment, Liu Li interrupted, it's not so easy to return the favor of the glazed glass world. There's something wrong with the Fong family about Ener, but you've killed the people of the Fong family and fought Fong. Xinlan. You've only cleared part of the debt. As for the other part, you should take the two people from our glazed glass world with you. Liu Yu said, after all, you got three great techniques from the scripture. Repository Tower I heard that your Avenger pirates lack people. My disciples, Song Kaiyuan and Mushue Sisi, are very knowledgeable. There's almost nothing in the raging sea that they don't know. It might be beneficial for you to take them with you. Sword God Lu Qing we four heavenly palaces are four in one. If you form an alliance with us, there will be five in one. My disciple is unparalleled in swordsmanship. Shang Long of the immeasurability world, I agree with Lu Qing that we are five in one. So if you agree to take their disciples, you should take mine. Two. With that, Shang Long patted Li Kaitian's shoulder and made him stagger. Now, follow Han Fei to the Avenger and be a pirate. Uh. Li Kaitian was dumbfounded. So, they want us to be pirates? Let alone Li Kaitian, Han Fei was dumbfounded too. What's going on? Has the trust between us reached the point where I can even help you take care of your Disciples? Han Fei thought to himself, 
Do I look so free? I have a lot of things to do. I'm not a nanny. Why should I help you take care of your disciples? Han Fei immediately refused. Heh. I'm not afraid of keeping them, but do they? Dare to follow me back to the Inyang world? I just want to say that there. Chances of survival are extremely small if they go to the Inyang world. Han Fei was not kidding. When he left the Inyang world, if the old turtle hadn't helped him suppress the huge amount of energy, he might have died. It was not easy to leave the Inyang world, but it was easy to enter it. If it were easy, the wild abyss would have long been trampled flat. Lu Yu smiled and said, Don't worry. They won't go to the Inyang world with you. Anyway, there aren't many people on your Avenger. Just let them borrow your name and show up a few times. This time, we just want you to take them to the Martial Emperor City. Han Fei's heart did a flip. Why should I go to the Martial Emperor City? Lu Yu said, I can give you a reason why you have to go. The Martial Emperor City is not only the place with the most information and resources in the entire raging sea. In the Martial Emperor City, there is also a holy land called the Martial Emperor's Inheritance. Legend has it that it is a trial for monarchs. Although the trial is extremely dangerous, the gains will be extremely abundant. You haven't reached the sea establishment realm yet. Why? Don't you take a look? Song Kaiyuan and the others were surprised. The Martial Emperor's Inheritance is opening? Shang Long said leisurely, after the trial in the land of King Death, the Martial Emperor's Inheritance was suddenly announced to be opened. All the heavenly talents are heading there. Han Fei's heart did a flip. Was that true? He didn't know the real situation. However, Lu Yu continued, it doesn't matter if others go or not. However, this opportunity should be irresistible to you, because there is also a bronze door there. Buzz. Han Fei was refreshed. A bronze door? Hiss. Han Fei immediately realized something. The Martial Emperor's inheritance was opened behind the land of King Death, and there was also a bronze door? Wasn't it guiding him to complete the trial test of the Void Temple? Thinking of the wine gourd godly weapon that he accidentally got from the bronze door, Han Fei felt that he had to explore the Martial Emperor's inheritance. Han Fei was deliberately silent for a moment before he said, Okay. I agree. Sword God Lu Qing said, The place outside the Martial Emperor city is very dangerous. It's the most chaotic place in the Raging Sea. Be careful not to be hunted. Han Fei grinned. I'm looking forward to someone hunting me. When will the Invincible Inheritance be activated? Lu Yu said, in three months, it will be open for a month. The opening time of the Martial Emperor's Inheritance has never been fixed. It's all up to the Martial Emperor City. Therefore, it's best to wait there in advance. Han Fei asked, how long will it take to go to the Martial Emperor City? Lu Yu said, every heavenly palace has an independent route. You can arrive. There in about twenty days. Han Fei thought for a moment. The Avenger will appear in the Supreme Mystic. World in two months. They can come when they hear the news. Lu Yu said, okay. By the way, do you still want to explore the sea of books? Han Fei said, no, let me explore it another day. Han Fei thought to himself, now I have already got three books I need, which is enough. Most importantly, I don't know what else to look for. Instead of looking for body tempering techniques here, he might as well go to the Martial Emperor City to register for a mission. As long as he had enough 
money, he could collect all kinds of great techniques. Anyway, he had more. Then 9,000 ultra-quality divine weapons. Buzz. Han Fei had nothing to talk about. He fused his twin bodies, and quietly. Disappeared. After Han Fei left, Shang Long said, Old Lu. Can this kid do it? He's just. Lucky. Does the fate of our 36 mystic worlds really depend on him? Lu, you said leisurely, otherwise, can you leave the raging sea? In that case. I'll bet on you too. Half a day later. In a place called Tomorrow Town in the Supreme Mystic World, Han Fei and Xia. Xiaochan were shopping with Ener and Yenner. At this moment, among the four of them, Han Fei was the strongest, showing the strength of a junior law enforcer. The other three were all weaklings. Han Fei held a few fish balls in his hand and handed one to each of the three women. No matter where it is, these fish balls taste the same. I wonder if these are ancestral fish balls. Xiao Xiaochan was lost for words. Cut the crap. Are we really going to the Martial Emperor City, with the people from the Supreme Mystic World in two months? Han Fei nodded. It doesn't matter. These worlds should be fine. If there's a problem, I'll test my luck. Xiao Xiaochan said, I heard of the Martial Emperor's inheritance in the Martial Emperor City. It's said to be extremely difficult to obtain. However, I never saw any information about the bronze door in the historical records. But it's said that the Martial Emperor's inheritance is divided into levels. And some people died to obtain it. The higher level one chooses, the higher. The chance of death. But I don't know what it is exactly. Han Fei smiled and said, then let's go take a look. Isn't the Martial Emperor City said to be absolutely safe? Even if Chen Huangdian knows that you are here, can he go to the Martial Emperor City to catch you? Xia Xiaochan smiled. No, the Martial Emperor City won't let him do that. Once they do, the credibility of the Martial Emperor City will collapse. However, if Chen Huangdian blocks our way, I'm afraid it will be difficult for us to leave. Han Fei said with a smile, Chen Huangdian is only a king after all. Even if he has become an emperor, so what? The Martial Emperor City is so big. I don't believe he can find me no matter where I go. Xia Xiaochan asked, what if he's waiting for us in the wild abyss? Han Fei said, there is no if. He can only wait for us in the wild abyss. This is why I'm going to the Martial Emperor City. I might not be able to beat him. Now, but in terms of causing trouble, I'm not afraid of anyone. Xia Xiaochan tilted her head and looked at Han Fei, thinking, just don't. Cause any trouble in the Martial Emperor City. Otherwise, it won't be fun if they drive us away. Behind Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan, Ener and Yenner were walking and eating. Happily. Perhaps affected by Yenner's gluttonous behaviors, Ener was chewing a bag of crisps when she walked. After shopping, Han Fei didn't send Ener and Yenner back to the sea. Quelling painting. Instead, he sealed the power of Ener's heavenly heritage. And let the old turtle's soul, and shall say, follow the two of them. Then they stayed in Tomorrow Town. After listening to Han Fei's spiritual energy disassembling course, Xia, Xiao Chan and the hexagon starfish fell into a cultivation state. It was a pity that Han Fei couldn't take Xia Xiao Chan and the big starfish into forge the universe together. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let them cultivate in the sea quelling painting. As for Han Fei, he came to forge the universe alone and looked at the few great techniques he had just obtained. Because the void fishing technique was no longer the true spirit fishing 
Technique, Han Fei couldn't use the deduction of the true spirit fishing. Technique to cause lightning to temper his body. The eighth level of void fishing was called time fishing. However, when Han Fei opened the book, he found that there was no word on it. If his eyes fell on the book, he would slowly see blue. This book actually had the power of time. Han Fei tried to extract the power of time from the book several times, but he failed as if it were a heavenly book. The void descending technique he was practicing now was a sea establishment. Realm technique. He was already learning it before he reached the sea. Establishment realm. The time fishing art should be a technique that could only be learned in the sky opening realm. Even if he wanted to learn it early, it would probably be after he reached the sea establishment realm. Hanfei wasn't in a hurry. Anyway, he had plenty of time. When he looked at the other book, information popped up in Han Fei's eyes. Chaotic Demon Body, Ultra Quality, Sea Establishment Realm Introduction, Chaotic Demon Body, a great technique that uses chaotic qi to disassemble and assemble the body. This technique uses the void oscillation to reassemble the body repeatedly. When cultivating this technique, one should have a tenacious will and a tough Tao heart. Once the technique is mastered, the body can withstand the void storm. Even if the body is shattered, all body parts can fight separately or reassemble, and the strength will not decrease at all. This technique ranks 11,668 among the body tempering techniques in the sea establishment realm. Deduced art, chaotic body. Deduction cost, 1,000 wisps of chaotic chi. Effect, if there is no interference, the body can be reassembled infinitely. And the strength won't decrease. Shortcoming, soul power. When Han Fei saw the 11,668th place in the sea establishment realm, he was no longer interested. This was the strongest body tempering technique in the Raging Sea? Ranked more than 10,000? Aren't you ashamed? I can easily deduce. A technique ranking 998. I've suffered a huge loss this time. If I had known that the strongest body tempering technique here was only ranked in the top 10,000, why didn't I synthesize it myself? Besides, this chaotic demon body couldn't be cultivated in any realm. It was inferior to his purity mystic body. In comparison, Han Fei felt that the purity mystic body was simply awesome. More importantly, it wasn't tiring or painful to cultivate. Its only shortcoming was that the utilization rate of resources was too low. In 10 Billion points of spiritual energy, only a hundred million could reach the level needed for the purity mystic body. Han Fei threw the chaotic demon body aside and picked up another book. A moment later, information popped up in his eyes. Inyang Reincarnation Saber, Unrated. Introduction, to cultivate this technique, you have to master the great Tao of Yin and Yang. The Yin Yang Reincarnation Saber contains the pure Yang Saber and the Grand Yin Soul Saber. Once a saber is destroyed, the other will be reincarnated. The two sabers have to repeat this cycle nine times before they can be truly destroyed. Once this technique is mastered, it will be impossible for the enemy to defend against it. Deduction, it can't be deduced. You can only comprehend it yourself. Effect, the deeper one's understanding of the Inyang Great Tao, the more. Saber reincarnation times. Shortcoming, if you use this technique too often, you will inevitably have. Some guesses about reincarnation and easily get a heart demon. Remarks, this technique requires two treasured sabers. After reading the information of the Inyang Reincarnation Saber, Han Fei's. Eyes widened. 
This was simply a peerless combat skill, specially made for him. It could both attack the body and the soul. If he didn't understand it wrong, it meant that he only needed to make one slash to make eighteen slashes? Gulp. Hanfei couldn't help but grin. Compared to the chaotic demon body just now, this Yang reincarnation saber was simply a divine technique. After thinking about it, Han Fei felt that this Yang reincarnation saber was no worse than the sky-splitting sword manual he got in the supreme clearness world. Of course, if the sky-splitting sword manual could become the sky-splitting saber manual, he wouldn't mind. Han Fei's first thought was to use the blade of hope as the two treasure knives. But on second thought, he decided to keep the Blade of Hope a secret. There were still two months before they left for the Martial Emperor City. This time was neither long nor short. In Forge the Universe, it would be more than five years. Hanfei certainly wouldn't waste such a long time. Hanfei extended his hand, and the magical wine gourd that had been put aside flew into his hand. Hanfei grinned. I'd like to see how special the wine in this magical gourd is. Buzz. With the previous experience, this time, Han Fei activated his great Tao. His strength increased more than three times before he opened the gourd. Bow. Han Fei almost lost his balance and threw the gourd away. Han Fei's face turned green. He had to use 50% of his strength to pull the cork out. This meant that those who uncorked the calabash were at least in the sea. Establishment realm. Han Fei was really speechless. It was so difficult to even pull out the plug? Then how long would it take to completely refine this calabash godly weapon? However, the moment the plug was removed, Han Fei immediately smelled the fragrance of wine. A faint red mist spread out of the calabash. Han Fei couldn't help but remember that the mist in front of the bronze door must be the smell of alcohol. Han Fei hurriedly sat on his ice snow lotus throne and raised the calabash, thinking, I won't drink much. I'll just take a small sip the first time. However, maybe because it was the first time Han Fei used a godly weapon. After this sip, his mouth was full and his tongue was numb. Han Fei subconsciously opened his mouth. This time, half a caddy was poured. In. F asterisk CK, I'm doomed. Han Fei quickly stuffed the plug in. In less than three seconds, strange. Energy surged in his body. There seemed to be a waterfall in his head, and he. Felt the world was spinning. Han Fei thought, no. I can't sleep. Immediately, the power of will in his body surged out. With the power of will, Han Fei finally stabilized himself although his face had turned all red. The old turtle asked, why don't you give me a sip too? However, Han Fei was probably too drunk to hear anything. Thunder rumbled in his head. Han Fei felt that he was spinning, and a tremendous amount of energy rushed into his body. In fact, the old turtle was dumbfounded. Han Fei's body was spewing out a large amount of red liquor mist. It was not energy, but an epiphany that could clear his mind. However, Han Fei might have drunk too much and his mind was not clear at all. Han Fei felt that there was a river in his body flowing backward, but he felt that it was not enough his body could still bear more. Therefore, in Forge the Universe, a large number of ultra-quality spiritual stones shattered. Half of the energy released by the old turtle was absorbed at this moment. Only after more than ten days did the alcohol mist in Han Fei's body dissipate. At this time, Han Fei finally woke up. Han Fei didn't return to normal until the eighteenth day. However, when Han Fei looked at the information, he was surprised to find that 
His soul power had increased by more than 1,200 points and his strength by 302. Waves in only 18 days. A sip of wine? Hanfei was dumbfounded. What kind of cultivation speed was this? Although he had the power of faith, wasn't this cultivation speed too fast? At this rate, how strong would he be in five years? Han Fei didn't know if the wine in the calabash was a hundred-year-old wine or a thousand-year-old wine. However, it couldn't be ten or ten thousand years. Old. Ten thousand years was too long. With his relationship with that senior brother, there was no need for him to give him ten thousand-year-old wine, the moment they met, right? And between the hundred-year Dao querying wine and the thousand-year heavenly Dao wine, Han Fei felt that it should be a hundred-year-old wine. Unfortunately, he couldn't make the calabash acknowledge him as its master. Nor could he feel how much wine was in the calabash. He didn't know when he could make the calabash acknowledge him as its master. In Forge the Universe Half a year later, Han Fei's power of will was exhausted. During this period of time, Han Fei quickly strengthened his strength to 34,652 waves. Without the power of will, Han Fei needed to cultivate the purity mystic body. He also had to give lectures to the old turtle, Xia Xiaochan, and Ener. Occasionally, he would go out to tour tomorrow town with them. These days were quite comfortable. In Forge the Universe, three years later, Han Fei discovered that there was a bottleneck in his cultivation state. Or, rather, the resistance to cultivation had become greater. When Han Fei took a closer look, information popped up in his eyes. Owner, Han Fei. Level, 89, Half King. Bloodline ranking among the clans in the Infinite Ocean, the 2,720,986. Chaotic Chi, 2,276 Wisps. Spiritual Power, 323,401. Perception Range, 220,000 kilometers. Strength, 38,763 waves. First Spiritual Heritage, Unknown. Second Spiritual Heritage, Unknown. First Spiritual Beast, Twin Inyang Spirit Swallowing Fish, Level 79. Second Spiritual Beast, Emperor Sparrow, Level 78. Main Art, The Seventh Level of Void Fishing, Void Descending Art, King Level. Divine Quality. At this moment, when this resistance appeared, Han Fei realized that with his current life level and bloodline level, it was extremely difficult for him to break through 40,000 waves in the half-king realm. Even though he had already forged the indestructible golden body, without going through the king tribulation, the strength of the indestructible golden body seemed to be approaching the upper limit. If he wanted to make another breakthrough, transcending the tribulation might be the only way. Huff. Han Fei smiled casually. He had gained a lot from this trip. If he could return to the Inyang world and successfully transcend the tribulation, as Lu Yu and the others said, it was possible for the Inyang world to return to the raging sea. After all, after he reached the king realm, he wouldn't be afraid of anyone in the raging sea. At this moment, in addition to the improvement of Han Fei's strength, the Emperor Sparrow had also improved by one level. Han Fei was already used to its growth speed. After all, it was an Emperor Sparrow. However, Han Fei was a little uncertain. The information about his spiritual heritage had always been unknown. Now, he was already a half-king. Why was it still unknown? Han Fei couldn't help but think that he would have to check if there were other little vines in the raging sea? The sooner he collected all the little vines of the demon purification pot, 
the stronger the demon purification pot would be. Two months passed. On the Avenger, Xiao Xiaochan, Ener, Nyener, and Xiao Se were all there. The old turtle slept and cultivated habitually. Since he had his own body, his desire to come out was not high. Therefore, he was still cultivating in Han Fei's forge the universe. Han Fei sighed. Resources were consumed too quickly. He had nearly seven million ultra-quality spiritual stones. However, from the looks of it, because of the cultivation of the purity mystic body, ultra-quality spiritual stones were consumed extremely quickly. At this moment, there were only more than 4.2 million left. This was the drawback of the purity mystic body. The efficiency of an ultra-quality spiritual stone was only 1%. This caused the spiritual energy in Forge the Universe to be so rich that it almost exploded. Fortunately, the old turtle had been cultivating and expanding Forge the Universe. Otherwise, Hanfei wouldn't know how to use spiritual energy. Forge the Universe had expanded to 5,000 kilometers. Although the consumption of expansion had been increasing, the spiritual Energy overflowing from his cultivation had also been increasing. Therefore, Han Fei's intuition was that resources were used too quickly. Fortunately, Xia Xiaochan still had 10 million ultra quality spiritual stones. Otherwise, Han Fei would have to rob some heavenly talents. On this day, in the outer sea of the supreme mystic world, Han Fei held two black kitchen knives in his hands. Since he learned the draw technique, he rarely used real knives. He always used whatever he wanted as if everything could be used. But at this moment, Hanfei used the kitchen knife again, naturally too. Practice the Inyang reincarnation saber. Swish. Hanfei raised his hand, and a saber shadow shot out. In addition to this shining saber shadow, there was also a strange saber mark. That seemed to be blooming in the void. Of course, it could also be discovered. In the void, which was much weaker than the black mist body. Hanfei's opponent was a purple shield wall. Yes, in order to supervise Master Hexagon's cultivation, Hanfei directly used him as a shield. With a clang, the six gate array shook three times before it blocked Hanfei's attack. However, as soon as this slash was blocked by the six gate array, an identical saber beam stabbed at the void. At the same angle and with the same power, it continued to slash at the six gate array. In addition to the pure yang blade, there was also an invisible extreme mean blade that shattered outside the six gate array. Help! The hexagon starfish shouted, Xia Xiaochan, help! Hanfei is going to kill the starfish. The array is about to be broken. However, on the deck, Xia Xiaochan was holding a green wooden date or some fruit. She took a bite and ate it with relish. She said, Come on, big starfish, you can do it. Nyaner shouted, Starfish, you can do it. Ener tilted her head and looked at Nyaner. Nyaner, is this really? Appropriate? The starfish has asked for help. Seeing that Ener was sympathetic with Master Hexagon, Xia Xiaochan immediately said, His skin is rough and his flesh is thick. When he shouts for help, it means that he had only suffered an ordinary blow. If he really needed help, he wouldn't have shouted this. Ener was puzzled. Then what will he shout? On the deck, the two had just spoken a few words. The pure yang blade had appeared six times, so had the ultimate yin blade. The explosion outside the six gate array was already the sixth time. Ka ka ka. More and more cracks appeared on the six gate array. Seeing that even the six gate array might not be able to withstand it, the starfish shouted, Damn it, I can't hold on anymore. 
Seeing this scene, Xia Xiaochan immediately looked at Ener and said, Look. This is what he will say when he really feels danger. Crack bang. When Master Hexagon's six gate array was completely shattered, Han Fei reached out and grabbed, and the remaining power of Yin Yang reincarnation dissipated. Han Fei frowned and said, Master Hexagon, your current strength is too weak. You can't even withstand a single slash from me in the same realm. What kind of mysterious creature are you? You're smearing the name of mysterious creatures. Do you know that? The hexagon starfish was lost for words. That's called one slash? You slashed me twelve times in total, six times to break the array, and six times to kill my soul. Who is as ferocious as you? However, Han Fei was still not satisfied. This Yin Yang reincarnation saber was really strong, but he hadn't used it for long. From the annihilation of one slash to the reappearance of another, there was a long interval of nearly one second. This was because he wasn't proficient in it. Han Fei shook his head slightly. Okay, let's fight again. This time, I'll use the strength of an intermediate peak level venerable to use this knife. Try. It. Hearing that, the hexagon starfish flew far away with a swish and immediately shouted, I'm going to make a breakthrough. I've been struck by you for several days. Today, I feel that the opportunity has come. I'm going to make a breakthrough. Han Fei said disdainfully, it's not a realm breakthrough. It's just a small breakthrough. Let's continue after the breakthrough. A moment later, when the hexagon starfish made a breakthrough, Xia Xiaochan said, should we set off? Han Fei thought for a moment and nodded slightly. Two months have passed. It's time to go to the Martial Emperor City. Half a day later, when a big ship with a skeleton pirate ship appeared outside the Supreme Mystic World, it only took less than 15 minutes for Song Kaiyuan and the others to arrive. They had been waiting for two months. Now, they were very curious about the Avenger pirates, especially Mu Shi, who felt extremely complicated. Was this person really Shui Zhan? When everyone approached the Avenger, Song Kaiyuan cupped his hands at the ship and said, Heavenly Master, we're here. A leisurely voice came from the ship, come on board. By the way, my name is Han Fei. Call me Captain from now on. Remember not to call me the wrong way. There are no Heavenly Masters here. Song Kaiyuan immediately cupped his hands. Understood. Um. Han Fei said leisurely, there's a great technique on the deck. Learn it. First. Confused, everyone boarded the Avenger. When Song Kaiyuan obtained this great technique, he couldn't help but gasp. Divine Deceit Technique. A Divine Quality Concealment Technique? Song Kaiyuan was stunned. F asterisk CK, a super technique that couldn't be found even. In the scripture repository tower was thrown out so casually? Han Fei said, this technique is only used by members of the Avenger Pirates. Once it's leaked and I find out, I'll kill you. Besides, once you choose to cultivate this technique, each of you will owe me a million ultra-quality spiritual stones as the learning cost of this technique. Hiss. Everyone gasped. We've just boarded the ship and haven't even seen you, but we already owe you a million ultra-quality spiritual stones? Song Kaiyuan was speechless. As expected of the black and white ghosts. There. Style hadn't changed at all. The sphere of influence of the supreme mystic world was very likely under the control of the kings. Han Fei was alone and unfamiliar with the place, so he had to be careful. After they boarded the ship, they didn't find anyone on the ship. 
however. After they boarded the ship, the ship automatically activated void. Teleportation. Buzz. When they crossed hundreds of thousands of kilometers, Song Kaiyuan and the others were speechless. Mushue Sisi said, isn't this the route of our supreme mystic world? Someone actually opened a new route near our supreme mystic world? Song Kaiyuan said indifferently, this is not surprising. Although the routes of our four heavenly palaces are relatively hidden, it's not to the point where we can't find them. Although Han Fei and Lu Yu had an agreement on the surface, as long as he didn't become a king, he couldn't compare to the masters of these heavenly palaces. Therefore, before he became a king, Han Fei would never be exposed to other people's spheres of influence. As for this route, it was left to him by Black Phoenix. However, the route left by Black Phoenix turned into the route of the Devil Girl Pirates, and eventually led to the Martial Emperor City. At this moment, Han Fei didn't want to have anything to do with the Devil Girl Pirates, nor did he want more people to realize his relationship with the Devil Girl Pirates. Therefore, Han Fei planned to use one of the abandoned routes on this route. Map This was a route that had been silent for a long time. This route had been abandoned for too long. Even Black Phoenix only took shortcuts on this route occasionally and rarely walked the route in its entirety. In fact, this route originally belonged to the Nine Palace world. The first half of the route had disappeared, but the second half was still there. Back then, although the Inyang world and the Waterwood world were moved out of the Raging Sea, the Nine Palace world was still there. The Nine Palace world didn't enter a sealed state from the beginning, but was gradually targeted and forced to enter a sealed state. Because of this, many villages and towns in the Nine Palace world had disappeared, and the population had plummeted. The Nine Palace world had once tried resisting, but they were desperately outnumbered. In the end, they almost disappeared. However, their route was preserved. As the Nine Palace world disappeared, the route was gradually abandoned. The Black Phoenix knew a lot about the Nine Palace world, and she even knew part of the route of the Inyang world. However, there seemed to be a problem with the route of the Inyang world, and it was completely abandoned. Two hour passed. Before Song Kaiyuan and the others saw Han Fei, they felt that something was wrong. Suddenly, with a buzz, two figures appeared on the mast. Everyone was very surprised by Han Fei's appearance. They were all in the half-king realm. Why were the two of them so outstanding? The two people who appeared on the mast were Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan. Han Fei smiled and said lazily, Welcome to the Avenger Pirates. May I ask? Do. You like this gift? Of course, everyone knew what Han Fei was talking about. Apart from the. Venerable level, divine quality disguise technique, divine deceit technique. What else could it be? Li Kai Tian said, Captain, this thing is good, but isn't it a little too? Expensive? Among the people on this trip, Li Kai Tian was the most straightforward. Even. Mushi was smarter than him. Han Fei's face immediately sank. You think it's expensive? It's just a. Million ultra quality spiritual stones. You can only buy twenty or thirty. Ultra quality divine weapons with this money. But now what did you get? A. Divine quality technique. How do you have the cheek to say it's expensive? You, yes, you, owe me an extra hundred thousand ultra quality spiritual. Stones. Li Kai Tian? Everyone. Mushue Sisi couldn't help but look at her senior brother. 
Song Kaiyuan immediately smiled and said, Captain, it's not expensive. Divine quality techniques are extremely rare even in our scripture repository. Tower. How can a million ultra-quality spiritual stones compare to it? Song Kaiyuan was speechless. Don't you know what kind of temper this person has? Is there anyone in the entire raging sea that he doesn't dare to rob? The others didn't speak, but looked at Han Fei differently. Song Kaiyuan knew Han Fei's identity, strength, and means very well. Li Kaitian was fined as soon as he boarded the ship, mainly because he challenged the captain's status and prestige. Jian Hui looked at Han Fei, with soaring fighting intent in his eyes, treating Han Fei as a powerful opponent. As for Mu Shui Sisi, Lu Ran, and Mu Shi, they were discussing in secret. Mu Shui Sisi said, Hey! I don't believe that this person is Shui Zhan. There. Temperaments are clearly different. Lu Ran said, Look at the divine deceit technique. Venerable level divine quality and best at concealment. Since his identity has been exposed, it can't be fake. Otherwise, do you think the four palace masters were wrong? Mushi said, it's obvious that he's not a good person. If I had known that he was like this, I wouldn't have given him the sun moon shell. After what happened last time, Mushi had thought that Shui Zhan was just a cold person and she didn't hate him. However, now it seemed that this guy was clearly a liar. Now, he was standing in front of her as if he didn't know her at all. Of course, what made Mushi say this was Xia Xiaochan, who was sitting on the mast. Today, everyone here knew that Xia Xiaochan was the princess of the Merman royal family. In addition to being amazed by Han Fei's boldness, these girls didn't like Xia. Xiaochan at all. Lu Ran said, Sisi, do you want to try again? Mu Shui Sisi said, come on. Try again? That's the princess of the Merman royal. Family. She can kill anyone with a single order. Although I'm very supportive. Of Sisi, in my opinion, just forget Shui Zhan. Han Fei thought to himself, do you think I can't hear you? Immediately, Han Fei looked at the three of them. Noticing his stare, Mu Shuizi said, Not good, he can hear us. Lu Ran and Mu Shi trembled and stopped talking via voice transmission. However, they were secretly speechless. Isn't this guy not a king yet? Why can he even hear our voice transmissions? Humph. Han Fei snorted. Although I don't quite understand why your masters want you to board the Avenger, from today on, you just need to cooperate unconditionally with me. You have no say about where the Avenger is going and what it's going to do. You have to make the contribution you should and then you'll get the rewards you deserve. Don't doubt my judgment or my orders. Han Fei grinned and looked into the distance. Let's go. Half a month later. In a place enshrouded by mist, waves surged on the sea. The almost abandoned route of the Nine Palace world was indeed not easy to take. Along the way, they encountered as many as seven half-king level marine creatures. On this day, the sea was misty and the surrounding spiritual energy was thin. Everyone had a bad feeling. Song Kaiyuan said, Captain, there seems to be something wrong with this route. Even the most dangerous route usually doesn't have so many powerful creatures appearing in a row. However, so many half-kings have already appeared on this route. This one seems to be more difficult to deal with than the other sea demons. Han Fei said casually, cut the crap. Just kill any enemy appearing, okay? Now. Wait. Whoosh. Half an hour later, when the Avenger was about to complete a void. Teleportation, suddenly, dozens of black shadows appeared in the shadow of the. Waves. 
Han Fei frowned slightly. Prepare for battle. Just a bunch of thunder dragon. Eel. How dare they provoke the Avenger? Kill them all. Hiss. Everyone's face turned green. There must be more than twenty of them, right? Kill. Them all? Is this something we can do? Whoosh. Roar. Huge figures stuck out of the sea one after another. It was no exaggeration to say that these dragon eels' heads were as big as two. Avengers. Their bodies were nearly 100,000 feet long. At this point, these dragon eels pounced on them, but Han Fei didn't do anything. What could Song Kaiyuan and the others do? They could only attack. Clang. The moment the thunder dragon eel came out of the water, Jian Hui erupted with a soaring sword chi. As the sword slashed out, the world lost its color. The power of that sword passed through without a trace, only leaving a trace of brilliance. Sizzle boom. In front of the thunder dragon eel, dazzling lightning struck down. Chi la. The two fought extremely fast. At this moment, the body of the giant thunder dragon eel was cut open by the sword. A massive amount of lightning exploded in all directions. In an instant, this sea area turned into a sea of lightning. Li Kaitian roared and jumped out with a silver rod in his hand. The rod shadow was tens of thousands of feet long, and the power suppressed the raging waves. And the sea temporarily flat. How dare a mere lightning bolt attack us? Hum. Ah. It's F asterisk king exciting. Bang. 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 Li Kai Tian smashed the head of a thunder dragon eel with his rod, but at least. A hundred lightning bolts enveloped him and instantly blew him up. Lu ran, ouch. Ouch. I hate, lightning. The death of a few thunder dragon eels made the surrounding thunder dragon. Eels erupt with shocking lightning at the same time. Not only was the thunder dragon eel drawing lightning, but lightning was also falling from the sky. Han Fei looked at the people who were electrocuted and knew that the lightning couldn't kill them. After all, it was impossible for all of them to be half-kings. Among them, only seven had really reached the half-king realm, and each of Jian Hui and Li. Kai Tian killed one of them. Buzz. A figure quietly stood on the head of a thunder dragon eel. She raised her daggers, and the super giant eel more than 600 meters wide suddenly fell apart. Roar. Who else could it be but Xia Xiaochan? When countless lightning struck down, Xia Xiaochan activated her purity mystic body and was instantly bathed in the terrifying lightning. Mushue Sisi, Lu Ran, and Mushi also charged at their targets. Seeing that they should be fine, Han Fei immediately appeared in the sky. Han Fei raised his hand, and the embroidery needle appeared. He shouted, Enlarge, enlarge! In the sea, the greatest danger came from the unknown. However, a person like Han Fei, he had nothing better to do than to cause trouble. What was the big deal of a mere ferocious beast invasion? When Han Fei saw the power of lightning, he had another idea. He could just leave the thunder dragon eel to Song Kaiyuan and the others. The embroidery needle in Han Fei's hand had turned into a huge pillar, a super lightning rod. In all directions, in the sky, everyone's lightning was pouring into Han Fei's body. At that moment, the terrifying power that Han Fei endured made Li Kaitian drool with envy. Li Kaitian smacked his lips. So strong. The three girls had changed the way they looked at Han Fei in the past half month. Other people took the route, hoping not to encounter danger, but Han Fei just hoped that more and more ferocious beasts would come to hunt. 
oh, oh, oh. On Han Fei's shoulder, a big starfish was screaming, and all its six tentacles were smoking. Geese bumps even appeared on the starfish's skin, because of the electrocution. Han Fei shouted, don't open the shield. Enlarge yourself. Han Fei grabbed the hexagon starfish and threw him into the sky. In an instant, the starfish became a hundred meters long. Did he dare to disobey Han Fei? Bam. 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 Han Fei went up and punched and kicked. The hexagon starfish had never experienced this before. In an instant, he was struck by Han Fei thousands of times. Then, Han Fei's Monkey King's three thousand sticks attacked again. Help! He's trying to kill the starfish. Xia Xiao Chan, save me! Han Fei snorted. It's useless even if you scream your lungs out today. Where? Is the accumulated energy in your body? If I don't force you to make a breakthrough today, this won't end. Below, the thunder dragon eels were not idiots. After all, more than half of their strong masters had died. Therefore, they had to escape. However, when they saw the beast in the sky, they immediately understood. This beast was not human at all. How could he even beat his own pet? They knew that if they were one step slower, they would be dead. After only a hundred seconds, the hexagon starfish was almost beaten stunned by Han Fei. Every time Han Fei struck down, the power of lightning poured into the starfish's body. The massive amount of energy accumulated in his body was being consumed crazily, and spiritual energy was dissipating crazily. The hundred-meter-long starfish was reduced to eighty meters, and all kinds of blood and juices were spraying out. A moment later, the eyelids of everyone on the ship twitched. Even Xia Xiaochan couldn't help narrowing her eyes, thinking, the big starfish has been enjoying life for decades. Now he has finally got his retribution. Crack. In Madair, the big starfish was actually beaten to make a breakthrough. Like a deflated ball, half of the impurities in his body had been removed by Han Fei. When Han Fei put away the embroidery needle, with a swish, the hexagon starfish had already clung to Xia Xiaochan's calf, shivering. It's horrible. Starfish wants to go home. Starfish wants to go back to the Merman royal family. Han Fei glared at him. What did you say? The starfish. Xia Xiaochan said, Why didn't you just make a breakthrough yourself before? Do you have to be forced to make a breakthrough? Han Fei said leisurely, I took the opportunity this time to help you temper your body. If you don't cultivate now, I don't mind helping you cultivate once. A month. The effect should be similar. Buzz. The hexagon starfish's six big eyes rolled crazily, and its body trembled. Violently. It hurriedly said, cultivate. From today on, I'll start. Cultivating. Han Fei added, well, half a year at most. If you can't break through to the peak of the venerable realm in half a year, I'll help you again. Han Fei secretly sighed. In terms of resources, the hexagon starfish was much more blissful than those who risked their lives to search for opportunities. Mysterious creatures like them grew extremely fast. There was no such thing as polishing their foundation like humans. The situation of the various races was different. Humans might grow up with their own polishing. As for creatures like the hexagon starfish, perhaps their polishing method was another way, such as how much energy they absorbed. Li Kai Tian and the others couldn't help looking around. Now, Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan no longer bothered to hide their identities in front of them. They were even beating a mysterious creature like the hexagon. 
starfish in their presence. In the past, who would have known that a mysterious creature like the hexagon starfish would be beaten like this? Now, they finally realized that Han Fei was used to being domineering. Whoever came would be taught a lesson by him. Song Kaiyuan said, Captain, I feel that there's something wrong with our route. Although the crisis of the Thunder Dragon Eels seems to have passed, the danger that envelopes the sky doesn't seem to have passed. Mushue Sisi also said, Captain, senior brother, is right. I still have a bad feeling. Han Fei said angrily, if we run as soon as we're in trouble, are we still pirates? What are pirates? Pirates are bandits on the sea. Not just the other ships, but the hundred demons, the giant beasts, the royal family of mermen, and the human race are all our targets. Even these sea demons and ferocious beasts are also our targets. With that, Han Fei pulled his fishing hook, and a ten thousand foot long dragon eel was hooked over. The illusion of mountains and rivers appeared, and the dragon eel disappeared into the illusion. Song Kaiyuan and Mushue Sisi looked at each other. Their hearts did a flip. This must be the sea quelling painting. However, it made sense. Han Fei was the master of the Inyang world in the first place, so it was understandable that he had the sea quelling painting of the Inyang world. Han Fei ignored them. In fact, Han Fei also knew that there might be stronger existences on his path. However, it was impossible to change the route now. Could he use the vast ocean navigator to choose a new direction? That would definitely waste time. When he finally arrived in the Martial Emperor City, perhaps the Martial Emperor's inheritance would have been taken. And there were many strong enemies on this current route because it had been abandoned for a long time. Even so, it was originally a route, right? Therefore, they could still reach the destination via this route. Instead of opening a new route, he might as well open up this old route. In fact, Han Fei's idea was logical. Han Fei shouted, Li Kai Tian, void teleportation. Buzz. With an order, the Avenger broke through the void. However, the moment the Avenger broke out of the void, everyone on the ship, except Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan was shocked. They saw a giant beast blocking the route. Han Fei and Xia Xiaochan were very familiar with this giant beast. It turned out to be a mantis shrimp. However, this mantis shrimp had black and white stripes. Its body was more than 100 kilometers wide and 500 kilometers long. Immediately, information popped up in Han Fei's eyes. Name, Night Mantis Shrimp. Introduction, Night Mantis Shrimp, a behemoth species left behind from ancient times. The Night Mantis Shrimp is violent, irritable, and extremely aggressive. It is very aggressive to many creatures. Its strength is extremely terrifying, and its punching speed is astonishing. Its punching path is hidden in the void and difficult to detect. After transforming into a human, the night mantis shrimp is good at hiding. Level greater than 91. Quality ancient mutant. Realm sea establishment. Great Dao speed. Contained chaotic chi greater than 1962. Battle technique, void breaking fist, nerve blade, heaven and earth spirit. Hammer, universe stab armor. Food, shellfish. Collectible arm of night, eyes of night, mantis armor, distant. Absorbable. Remarks, the night mantis shrimp is extremely fast. If you can't keep up. With its speed, you'll be easily killed. Hiss. Even Han Fei couldn't help taking a breath. The last time he saw such a big creature was when he saw the King Ba Crab. 
Although the mantis shrimp was much smaller than the king ba crab, it was relative. Han Fei's ship was at most a sesame seed in the eyes of the mantis crab. Han Fei also keenly captured a few pieces of information, the giant beasts could transform into humans. This meant that the giant beasts didn't have to maintain their huge bodies all the time. In addition, after turning into humans, their combat style was slightly different. Jian Hui's voice was cold. A mature giant beast. Mushue Sisi exclaimed, it's the night mantis shrimp. It's so big. Has it reached the sea establishment realm? Mushi exclaimed, how can we fight this? Why is there such a giant beast king? On this route? Lu Ran glanced at Han Fei. Prepare for battle. Prepare the king level. Strikes. While the others were on guard, Xia Xiaochan held a dagger in both hands, supported herself on the mast, and swayed her calves. She turned her head and looked at Han Fei. See establishment realm. Should we fight it? Han Fei said, let me do it. Xia Xiaochan narrowed her eyes and said, I want to feel the power of the sea. Establishment realm. If it doesn't work out, I'll leave. Han Fei shook his head. Even if you use the heavenly cicada transformation. In terms of strength, you can't even reach the 50% of a sea establisher. Xia Xiaochan was surprised. Even the weakest sea establisher has a strength. Of 60,000 waves? Han Fei looked at the night mantis shrimp. How strong was this level 91 thing? It was hard to say. Back then, the King Ba crab was so weak, because it was dying. Besides, if the King Ba crab had really used its last resort, ordinary sea. Establishment kings wouldn't have dared to fight it head on. The night mantis shrimp in front of him was a giant beast. Its strength was probably no less than 60,000 waves. Therefore, Han Fei said, do other kings have such strength? I don't know, but this mantis shrimp definitely has it. Fuse. Han Fei fused with little black and little white and shouted, girl, retreat. Song Kaiyuan gasped and shouted, it's a king. Li Kaitian, retreat. In the blink of an eye. When Han Fei discovered that the night mantis shrimp was walking on the great Dao of speed, he realized that something was wrong. After Han Fei fused with little black and little white, he saw a ray of light sweeping across the sky. However, it wasn't light. It was the night mantis shrimp moving its pincer, intending to cut the Avenger in two. Buzz. Han Fei immediately used the Great Tao of Time. A blue barrier appeared in front of the Avenger. At this moment, everyone saw that what came at them was a huge sickle hook. Oh my god! Li Kai Tian and the others couldn't help exclaiming. This scene looked too terrifying. The huge super pincer was hundreds of kilometers long and extended to the front of the Avenger like a hook hanging from the sky. Jian Hui couldn't help but hold the sword in his hand. His body immediately warmed up, and his palms were sweaty. Xia Xiaochan's face changed drastically. So fast. Although she could tell that it was a huge pincer, it was definitely not very clear. Xia Xiaochan felt that if this attack was aimed at her, she would at most have time to turn into a shadow. After the attack of the night mantis shrimp was slowed down by time, Han Fei issued an order in his heart, and the surrounding spiritual energy was instantly drained. Han Fei's figure instantly appeared a hundred kilometers away, holding a blue light blade. Pfft. At that moment, Han Fei extracted the power of time and slash at the pincer. And with a bang, the pincer seven or eight kilometers long was cut off. Behind Han Fei, the illusion of mountains and rivers appeared. This huge 
Pincer fell directly into it and was suppressed by Han Fei with a thought. He he. You're too hasty. How can the Avenger pirates be destroyed so easily? Have you asked my opinion yet? Gulp. Mushue Sisi couldn't help swallowing. Wow, is this, the legendary Great Dao? Of time? It's so powerful. I didn't even see that attack, but the captain had. Cut off the pincer? Jian, Huey's eyelids twitched. Too fast. Whether it was the attack of the night mantis shrimp or Han Fei's attack, they were so fast that he didn't even have the time to react. Judging from the intensity of the attacks between the two parties, Jian Hui helplessly discovered that if he attacked with all his strength, it would probably be like this. At this moment, Jian Hui realized that it was really ridiculous that he wanted to resist Han Fei. Even his strongest blow couldn't resist Han Fei's ordinary blow. How could he fight him? Lu Ran and Mushi widened their eyes and looked at each other. They seemed to see a few soul-piercing questions in each other's eyes. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? The hexagon starfish shivered, and its six big eyes rolled crazily, thinking. Is the world of the strong like this? Isn't this power a bit too strong? If the mantis shrimp's pincer hit my six gate array. The hexagon starfish's eyes froze, and he quickly concluded that he definitely couldn't resist it, nor could he escape. However, this outcome seemed to be beyond the mantis shrimp's expectations. A hoarse and stiff voice sounded between the heavens and earth. The Great Tao of time? Human, have you touched the legendary realm? Han Fei sneered. Legend? I'm a legend. Get out of the way. Otherwise, it's unknown who will win in the end. Although Han Fei was often overconfident, he couldn't be too arrogant in front of a sea establisher. If he were alone, he would definitely ignore this mantis shrimp and even take the initiative to provoke it and fight it for hundreds of rounds. However, the mantis shrimp's attack was too fast for him to put away the Avenger, Xia Xiaochan, and the others. How arrogant! I'd like to see what kind of taboo the great Tao of time is. Boom! Boom! As soon as the mantis shrimp said so, a pair of fist marks came at Han Fei at the speed of light. It was no exaggeration to say that even if Han Fei's Inyang divine eyes had reacted, even if the time great Tao slowed down the speed of the fists, Han Fei's body still couldn't keep up with the speed of the punch. However, Han Fei knew the mantis shrimp too well. No matter how fast your fists were, your weakness was the last joint of your pincer. This was universal to all mantis shrimps. Therefore, Han Fei had already prepared a blow for it. Han Fei held two knives in his hand. The two knives seemed to break through. The void, in an instant, turning into dazzling knife marks, and appeared at the last joints of the night mantis shrimp's pincers. The night mantis shrimp didn't expect Han Fei to be so tough. In the face of its fast punches, he could still calmly shatter two ultra quality, divine weapons, and exchange injuries with him. Bang! Han Fei had already estimated how strong the punch of the night mantis shrimp was. Under such a terrifying punching speed, he probably couldn't withstand it. At all. However, in front of the great Tao of time, taking this punch was just the matter of a wisp of chaotic chi. Han Fei's body exploded in an instant. But before Xia Xiaochan and the others panicked, they saw a blue shadow appear. Immediately afterward, Han Fei appeared again. At this moment, even Han Fei couldn't help but sigh at how useful the time technique was. Han Fei even wondered how old Demon Chu could comprehend such a great technique. 
Hanfei estimated that he must have obtained it from a nine-star star bead. Fortunately, old demon Chu was killed by him. Otherwise, if that guy really became a king, let alone the Inyang world, no king in the 36 mystic worlds might be able to kill him. Huff. On the Avenger that was rapidly retreating, everyone subconsciously swallowed. What a terrifying power. Even a monster like Han Fei was instantly blown up. How strong was the night mantis shrimp? The hexagon starfish murmured, I have to cultivate harder. This world is too. Terrifying. Xiao Xiaochan said, shut up. If you keep nagging, I'll throw you to the battlefield. As she spoke, Xia Xiaochan held her double knives, and her blood and energy were surging. A battle of this level triggered the belligerence in her. She was calculating. If she fused the shadow shrimp and the giant arowana at the same time after using the heavenly cicada transformation, she should be able to fight the mantis shrimp. However, the premise was that she couldn't be knocked out by the mantis shrimp. Otherwise, she might be hammered to death. On this side, Hanfei blocked the attack of the night mantis shrimp head-on. Within 10,000 kilometers, the sea vortexes were spinning and waves were flying thousands of kilometers away. While the night mantis shrimp was surprised, the Inyang reincarnation blade hit the night mantis shrimp. Crack puff. After only one slash, another pincer of the night mantis shrimp was cut off by Han Fei. Not only was his pincer cut off, but the void blade also cut his soul. Hiss roar. The night mantis shrimp was already a sea establisher. How could it be beaten? To such a state by a human being in the half king realm? It immediately flew into a rage. Its soul collided with Han Fei's void saber, setting off a soul explosion. Just as it was about to take its severed pincer back, he saw Han Fei walk thousands of kilometers with a single step and turn into a golden giant. He clenched his fist and an array was attached to his fist. Sacrificing punch. Seeing that Han Fei dared to take the initiative to attack him, the knight. Mantis Shrimp immediately launched an attack although he had only one pincer. Left. In midair, even from a distance, a soaring power could be seen, diagonally. Breaking through the sky and creating a void crack thousands of kilometers. Long. Li Kaitian swallowed and said, should we retreat further away? This power is. Too terrifying. We're thousands of kilometers away but we're still hit. Song Kaiyuan said, No, just be prepared to teleport at any time. The captain is very powerful. He's not at a disadvantage in this battle, but has the advantage. Our chances of winning are not small. Song Kaiyuan's words shocked everyone. That was a real sea establishment king. Their captain was only in the half-king realm but he still had the upper hand. This made them feel a lot of pressure. If the captain was too strong, they would seem too weak. On the battlefield, Han Fei withstood the power of the punch, but his body was instantly dripping with blood. However, so what? Puff. All of a sudden, the night mantis shrimp discovered, to its surprise, that at some point in time, at the place where its pincer was broken, a new blade. Power appeared. At the same time, another void knife slashed at the night mantis shrimp. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Hanfei quickly came to the broken. Pincer of the night mantis. The illusion of mountains and rivers appeared and swallowed the hundreds of kilometers long pincer into the sea quelling painting. At this moment, Han Fei roared. Within a thousand kilometers, the surface of the sea was turbulent, and endless blades rose to the sky. Under the blade inferno, this sea area was enveloped by saber beams. 
Holding the time blade, Hanfei drilled into the blade inferno and slashed at the only remaining pincer of the night mantis shrimp. Hanfei roared, Come on, fight me if you have what it takes. Let's see how many lives you have. Hiss. On this side, the night mantis shrimp had just suppressed Hanfei's violent attack. The time blade was too strong, and it found that it couldn't resist it. At all in a head-on clash. Clang. 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 Thousands of blades fell on the shell of the night mantis shrimp every second. Of course, this was nothing. No matter how powerful the blade inferno was, it wasn't strong enough to kill a king. The battle between Han Fei and the night mantis shrimp had just reached its climax. Han Fei used the power of the Yang reincarnation knife to trick it once. But Han Fei's subsequent actions were very fast. He continuously used the chaotic chi and attacked with all his strength, no longer giving the knight. Mantis shrimp a chance to fight back. Pfft. The god-scaring stab and the heaven gate knocking were activated at the same time. However, at this moment, a white light exploded in the sky. Seeing that the white light seemed to be a fist mark, Han Fei immediately thought that it must be the heaven and earth spirit hammer of the night mantis. Shrimp. In the end, Han Fei sighed slightly. The advantage he had was probably going to be beaten back by this hammer. Han Fei immediately picked up two sledgehammers and struck them in the air. Knock, knock, knock. Han Fei glided in the sky, hammer shadows filling the sky. Below, 10,000 kilometers away, Mushue Sisi exclaimed, Is this the Hundred War Divine Hammer? The legendary top hammer technique of the war. Giants in the Age of Doom? Song Kaiyuan also said solemnly, The super technique of the Age of Doom is more than a level stronger than the current technique. This hammer technique can not only be used in combat, but also in forging. Its peak effect is probably not much worse than the forging technique of the Thunder Fire World. Li Kaitian said in surprise, Fight the king of the giant beasts alone? How strong will the captain be if he becomes a king? Suddenly, Mushi said, Xia Xiaochan is gone. Xia Xiaochan didn't officially introduce herself to these people. When she wanted to hide, it was difficult for Song Kaiyuan and the others to find her. Generally speaking, it was difficult to find her without paying special attention. As soon as Mushi said so, a strange cicada cry came from the battlefield. In the sky full of blades, many glazed glass-like colors appeared somewhere. Immediately afterward, everyone saw countless colorful lights flash across the back of the night mantis shrimp. When he took a closer look, he found that it was not light, but a visual illusion produced because Xia Xiaochan was too fast. Hiss. Everyone was dumbfounded and looked at each other. Mushue Sisi asked in surprise, really? Another existence who can kill a king. As a half-king? Song Kaiyuan shook his head. She's not that strong yet. Xia Xiaochan is. Holding a sea-quelling bizarre treasure, whose energy goes straight into the. Body of the night mantis shrimp. Plus her special identity, and the strength of her spiritual beast, so the shell of the night mantis shrimp is broken. Swish. While they were talking, a figure shot out of the boat with a swish. Lu Ran shouted, Jian Hui, what are you doing there? However, Li Kaitian grinned and said, don't stop him. There aren't many. Chances for a half-king to fight a king. Jian Hui has been frantically preparing his sword and tent since just now. If he doesn't have a try, he won't. Stop. Boom boom boom. The hammers in the sky were blasted by Han Fei a hundred times in a row and were shattered in the end. 
However, the two sledgehammers in Han Fei's hand were also broken. Han Fei couldn't help but sigh. It seemed that ultra-quality divine weapons were no longer enough. It was a waste of weapons to use ultra-quality divine weapons to fight a king. Or rather, it was a waste of weapons to use ultra-quality divine weapons to fight such a special giant beast king. For ultra-quality divine weapons had been destroyed, but the king hadn't been killed. Han Fei saw that Xia Xiaochan turned into a stream of light on the back of the night mantis shrimp, raising countless pieces of flesh. The speed of the heavenly cicada transformation made Xia Xiaochan's strength exceed 30,000 waves at this moment. And this night mantis shrimp didn't specialize in physique, but only had its own carapace. Therefore, it couldn't completely stop Xia Xiaochan. However, Han Fei immediately said, Girl, retreat. Han Fei's words reminded Xia Xiaochan. Colorful lights appeared all over the sky, and Xia Xiaochan flashed hundreds of times in one second. His roar. The night mantis shrimp had never experienced this before. If the other party was also in the sea establishment realm, it would be fine. However, the other party was clearly only in the half-king realm. It was beaten by a group of half-kings. It felt that it was insulted. Its body suddenly rolled, and its huge body turned into a super ball. On its body, the spikes that had been dormant were all revealed at this moment. Within a thousand kilometers, thousands of rolling spikes appeared. Although Xia Xiaochan retreated fast enough, the attack of the night mantis shrimp came even faster than her. Fortunately, Xia Xiaochan's reaction speed was relatively fast, and her abnormal agility allowed her to dodge this strange attack. But Han Fei could tell that this must be the night mantis shrimp's universe. Piercing armor technique. He quickly came to Xia Xiaochan, grabbed her, and left the battlefield. At this moment, Han Fei saw a soaring sword chi crossing thousands of kilometers. No, the sword chi was brought here by Jian Hui. When Jian Hui approached Han Fei, he instantly drew his sword. This should be the closest distance he could get to the night mantis shrimp. If he got any closer, he would be courting death. Anyway, the night mantis shrimp was too big, so Jian Hui wasn't afraid of. Missing the target. Huh? Han Fei couldn't help being surprised. Jian Hui's sword Qi was so powerful. In terms of power alone, it was comparable to the blow of a king, like the white. Armor Emperor. This strength was indeed terrifying. Even Xia Xiaochan said in surprise, this guy is so strong. I might not even be able to block this sword. Han Fei shook his head slightly. With his physique and strength, he can only attack like this once at most. You stay here. I'll chop the shrimp. In the blink of an eye, Han Fei saw Jian Hui attack, and the Yin Yang reincarnation saber was still erupting on the battlefield. Han Fei reached out and grabbed a big wine pot. Xia Xiaochan recognized it at a glance. Wasn't that the big calabash that Han Fei picked up behind the bronze door? How could it be used as a weapon? However, Han Fei held the calabash and said, Enlarge, enlarge. However, the calabash didn't react. Han Fei immediately added, If you kill it, it'll be yours. Buzz. The calabash in Han Fei's hand suddenly became bigger, from a half foot. Calabash, to a hundred foot calabash. Buzz. The calabash continued to grow larger and suddenly became thousands of meters. Long. When the calabash was about to fall, it had grown to a terrifying size of more than 30 kilometers. Even Han Fei was stunned, let alone Xia Xiaochan and the others. At this moment, the calabash broke through the void, the void exploded, and Flames rolled into the sky. 
The night mantis shrimp thought to itself, it's just a calabash. Can it turn? The sky upside down? Watch me whip it. Rumble. Rumble. However, when the two collided, the entire body of the night mantis shrimp deformed. With cracking sounds, the shell of the night mantis shrimp collapsed. Not good. In this terrifying tide of explosion, Xia Xiaochan and Jian Hui retreated. They couldn't withstand this shockwave. At this moment, the two saber of the Yin-Yang reincarnation saber continued to erupt. In an instant, they cut off a part of the mantis shrimp's body. Bang! The huge mantis shrimp suddenly turned into a water mist. On the Avenger, everyone looked at each other in shock. Li Kaitian, hiss. Is, the night mantis shrimp dead? Lu Ran asked, seriously? Did the captain kill a king? Song Kaiyuan said, there are no weather changes. He probably didn't succeed. On the spot, Han Fei frowned, only to see that the wine gourd opened the stopper by itself, and a huge section of the mantis shrimp body was completely swallowed by this guy. In the exploding mist, a young man in black clothes and a white cloak had one arm and two legs growing rapidly. The man looked at Han Fei from a distance. Although he was unwilling, he could only flee with a black face. This time, Han Fei didn't chase him. If he continued to fight, his great Dao wouldn't be able to hold on. When the time came, he wouldn't be a match for this guy. Buzz. Coincidentally, the Inyang reincarnation saber burst out again, making the black-clothed young man's eyelids twitch. Swish. When the man in black disappeared into the void, the calabash returned to its previous size. You swallowed the mountain-like remains of a king? Can you at least leave? Some for me? Hanfei was lost for words. Brother, I only got a limb? Uf asterisk king got half. Of your body. Hanfei couldn't help sighing. It was a pity that he didn't get the shrimp's chaotic chi. Otherwise, his chaotic chi would have immediately soared to more than 4,000 wisps. When he became a king, it might have exceeded 5,000 wisps. Unfortunately, he only got a pincer. It was already good enough to have dozens of wisps of chaotic chi. Hanfei walked thousands of kilometers with each step and returned from the center of the battlefield. Everyone looked at him as if he were a monster. Li Kaitian asked, curiously, Captain, is the shrimp dead? Hanfei said huffily, no, he ran away. Huff. Everyone was relieved. Fortunately, he ran away. Otherwise, it meant that their captain could kill a king. If the captain was so strong, why did he still need them? Even so, everyone was speechless. A half-king had defeated a king? Who would believe it? Hanfei said, keep teleporting. Let's eat mantis shrimp hot pot in half a day. Although the giant beast king on the route of the Nine Palace world was driven away, Hanfei didn't dare to stay long on the route. Who knew if the king had any good friends? If they ganged up on him, he wouldn't be able to resist. Half a day later. Buzz. The Avenger broke out of the void and appeared on a relatively harmonious route. On this route, there were more species of marine creatures, and the pressure around was gone. And this was the general route of the Golden Crow world. Because it was a general route, all the pirate groups were basically using it. 2. The way to the Martial Emperor City was not a secret, and only the general route could be taken. Therefore, at this moment, Han Fei and the others had escaped the dangerous route of the Nine Palace world. At this moment, Han Fei was debiting the mantis shrimp remains. 
he had cut off a complete pincer and a section of the body of that shrimp and absorbed a total of thirty-seven wisps of chaotic chi. At this moment, a big pot was cooking. Gulp, gulp. However, at this moment, Han Fei was eating alone. Including Xia Xiaochan, the hexagon starfish. Everyone was already sitting. Cross-legged. Even if they were already half-kings, they couldn't withstand the flesh and blood of a king. Of course, this flesh and blood couldn't directly help them break through. Xia Xiaochan was the first to wake up, and then the others all woke up. Han Fei said, we'll be outside the Martial Emperor City in three days at most. There are still about fifteen days before the so-called Martial Emperor's inheritance opens. In the next fifteen days, it's time for you to play a role. Song Kaiyuan said, Captain, the Martial Emperor City also has countless resources. Shall we land in the Martial Emperor City first, take a tour of it, and then start robbing? Song Kaiyuan knew that Han Fei wanted to plunder. For Han Fei, he could rob any party in the entire raging sea. Song Kaiyuan even felt that with Han Fei's personality, if he really stayed in the raging sea for a long time, he would definitely be able to create one of the top ten pirate groups. If Han Fei made a breakthrough, he might even be able to enter the top three in the Golden Crow world on a normal sailing route. A ship made of red and yellow wood inlaid with various special metals was slowly approaching. The captain was about 300 meters tall, and there were as many as 21 venerables and one sea establisher on it. At this moment, on the bow of the ship, two young men were chatting, one of whom was Xia Hai. One of them said, Brother Hai, I heard that the Martial Emperor City won't refuse anyone this time. Why are there so few people from our Golden Crow world? Xia Hai chuckled. How can we all come at once? What kind of place is the Martial Emperor City? There are endless battles outside the Martial Emperor City. It's extremely difficult for anyone to hunt us unless there is a king. Hunting. Therefore, we'll go first. The real main force is still behind. It's said that there are nearly 300 people from the Golden Crow world this time. This number is already a lot, already occupying half of our Golden Crow world's venerables. Another person smiled and said, it seems that the competition for Marshall Emperor's inheritance, this time, will be a fierce battle. If so many people come, won't the Marshall Emperor City become the place with the most heavenly talents in the entire raging sea? Xia Hai smiled and said, even without us, the Marshall Emperor City still has the most venerable level powerhouses in the raging sea. Not to mention the ten pirate groups, there are countless venerables who escaped from the thirty-six mystic worlds and other races over the years. Another person said, this time, I'm afraid not many real heavenly talents will come. Last time in the land of King Death, even Bei Tang Xian was seriously injured. This time, it said that he can't come. Except for Wu Hao. You are the best among the heavenly talents, Brother Hai. Humph. Shui Zhan's damn mask suddenly appeared in Xia Hai's mind. What happened in the land of King Death last time was an accident. Someone sneaked in and even abducted the princess of the Merman royal family. This time, it didn't matter even if he encountered him again. This was because, as for the martial emperor's inheritance, there wouldn't be a situation where the strong collided. After all, inheritance was inheritance. It was a competition of who had more potential. This time, he had a good chance to win. However, he had to admit that Shui Zhan was not easy to deal with. Unfortunately, how could he escape from the land of King Death? How great! 
would it be if he was killed there? Suddenly, the void trembled, and everyone saw a big black ship break out of the void. Instantly, cheers filled the ship. It's pirates. Skeleton flags. This is the Avenger pirates. Prepare the fire cannon. Bang. However, before the Golden Crow world took action, they saw that the front part of the bow of the Avenger began to deform, and the bow opened like a shark sharp teeth. A black copper cannon barrel appeared, and with a swish, a golden light blasted out. Bang. Boom. The tide rose to the sky, and a huge fire bird soared above the golden crow. Sky. Boom. A terrifying Dao rune that exceeded the power of a half-king blasted out with spiritual energy and struck the hull of the golden crow sky again. However, the big bird that was scattering fire origin energy failed to break. The golden crow sky ship array after two consecutive attacks. Haha. <laughs> I thought the legendary Avenger was very powerful. It turns out that it's just SOSO. Its energy cannon isn't much stronger than our energy. Cannon. They're just a small pirate team. Let's destroy them. Xiao Hai's eyes were cold as he shouted in a low voice, This Avenger is the culprit who killed Jin Yuan. And now they even dare to rob our golden crow. World. Kill them. Bang. This time, it was the Fire Origin Cannon's turn to attack the Avenger. However, this time, it was even more unbelievable. The Avenger bore the fire. Origin, cannon head on, the bow of the ship flashed, and the entire Avenger emerged from the surging fire waves. Seeing that the other party's array couldn't be broken, Han Fei directly attacked. Han Fei broke out of the void and slashed. The huge firebird array broke its wings. Hiss. At this moment, on the Golden Crow World ship, a half-king exclaimed, Not. Good. This person broke 30% of the Golden Crow array with one slash. How? Strong is he? Xiao Hai immediately took out a jade slip and shouted, Hold on. As long as you. Hold on for 50 seconds, once the Fire King arrives, these people won't be able. To escape. Xia Hai thought that they just needed to block Han Fei and the others for 50 seconds. Even this ship array could block them for 20 seconds. However, when Han Fei slapped more than 20 times in a row and the terrifying power shattered the ship array of the Golden Crow world, Xia Hai's expression changed. This person was so strong. In terms of strength, he was several times stronger than ordinary half-kings. The moment the array was broken, the twenty-one people on the Golden Crow World ship fused with their spiritual beasts and prepared for a full-scale battle. Xia Hai crushed a jade slip. Anyway, he just needed to wait for the Fire King to arrive. If he resisted it head-on and was injured, wouldn't it be a pity if he lost? The chance to inherit the Martial Emperor's inheritance? He might as well. Block this person with a king-level blow first. A figure wrapped in a fireball appeared in the void, blocking Han Fei's way. Han Fei didn't panic. He shouted unhurriedly, You want to join the Avenger? It's time to test your strength. Attack and rob them. At this moment, Song Kaiyuan and the others had already cultivated the divine deceit technique. Xia Hai and the others couldn't discover their disguise at all. Besides, the four heavenly palaces rarely appeared in the thirty-six mystic worlds. Except in the land of King Death, it might have been hundreds of years since they last met. Xia Hai and the others certainly couldn't recognize them. Therefore, no one was afraid of exposing anything in the battle. Li Kaitian immediately roared, put away his rod, and took out two axes. In addition to the rod technique, his axe was also unparalleled. 
At this moment, the giant axe was like a thousand-foot-tall giant attacking. With all its strength. The axe light fell from the sky, extremely powerful. Fire Meteor, Heavenly Fire Meteor Technique The heavenly talents of the Golden Crow world were naturally not weaklings. Someone was good at shields. With a series of fire shields in front of him, Heavenly Fire fell from behind and locked onto Li Kai Tian. However, he underestimated Li Kai Tian's ability. When fighting Han Fei, he certainly didn't look strong. However, when fighting ordinary half kings, Li Kai Tian was almost invincible. He shook his double axes and injected six levels of divine power into them. With a bang, the man was shattered. As for the fire meteor stones behind him, Li Kai Tian roared, and a colloid like shield shadow appeared. No matter how the heavenly fire rolled, it was intact. As for Jian Hui, he was fighting, quite leisurely. He had already prepared his sword intent. As he slashed out, a brilliant light appeared. One person was killed, and a sun moon shell was directly obtained. Lu Ran took action and used the jade palm, directly crushing a person and his turtle spiritual beast. Even Mu Shi, who had fused with her spiritual beast in advance, had a special thorn that could imprison her opponent. Immediately afterward, a white sword shadow appeared, and this person was also cut into pieces. Mushue Sisi held a big bow in her hand and shot in the air. A phoenix danced. There were arrays in the arrow patterns. How could a woman who was pampered by the academy like that not have any strength? At this moment, Song Kaiyuan thrust out the sky dissecting brush and trapped three enemies in his domain. As soon as the brush appeared, there was an azure dragon and sword chi. Faced with Song Kaiyuan's storm of attacks, the three people were instantly blown up. At this moment, half of the powerhouses on the Golden Crow World ship were blown up. Han Fei didn't care about the king's attack at all. Instead, he said, Leisurely, hand over your sun moon shells, and I'll spare your lives. Otherwise, I'll kill all of you. Xia Hai thought he was very strong but he didn't know that no one on the Avenger was weaker than him. Xia Hai shouted, All of you, don't hold back. Hold on. You're all half-kings. Don't tell me you can't even hold on for fifty seconds. However, after Xia Hai shouted, his vision suddenly blurred. Xia Hai was subconsciously shocked. Immediately afterward, Xia Hai felt a stabbing pain in his mind. His body involuntarily split apart. He immediately realized that something was wrong with his shadow. Something was cutting his shadow. Making a prompt decision, Xia Hai launched a soul attack, intending to blow Xia Xiaochan out. However, a dragon roar appeared and exploded. Xia Hai felt his head buzzing. He had no time to think or even know where the enemy was. He immediately detonated the power of fire origin, and a terrifying temperature swept across the world. However, in the flames that filled the sky, a purple shield shadow appeared, and completely withstood his high temperature attack. Unfortunately, Xia Hai couldn't see the hexagon starfish's defense array. Puff. With a flash of light, Xia Hai was cut into pieces, his soul and flesh shattered. In the blink of an eye, a half-king had been reduced to such a state. The flame shadow in the sky glanced at the one-sided situation below, and wanted to go down to help, but a fist shadow came at him. Boom! Under this punch, the king's blow was immediately annihilated. The people of the Golden Crow world below were dumbfounded. What the hell was going on? Was Han Fei so strong? Not only was Han Fei's strength terrifying enough to compete with a king, but 
The people of the Golden Crow world also discovered that any person on the Avenger was a heavenly talent. This was a one-sided situation. How could they attack in such a situation? At this time, someone below finally couldn't hold on anymore. Someone shouted. You just want our sunmoon shells, right? There's no need to kill. We'll just give them to you. Han Fei sneered. This ship is mine. Everyone? Li Kaitian shouted, hear it? We also want your ship. Han Fei pointed his finger at Xia Hai and tapped in the air, seriously. Injuring the reborn Xia Hai again. After a while, there were only 21 Golden Crow Sky powerhouses left. After about 15 seconds, a shadow of fire origin suddenly descended. The man shouted, Where are the people? Xia Hai's face turned pale. How should I explain this? He stammered, Fire King. The Avenger pirates are too strong. We were wiped. Out. Our sunmoon shells and ship were all snatched. As he said, everyone lowered their heads. It was too embarrassing. Twenty-one people failed to stop eight people and suffered. Such a crushing defeat. The Fire King's face darkened. You mean, so many of you were wiped out by the eight of them in thirty seconds? The Fire King couldn't help but doubt the strength of Xia Hai and the others. Xia Hai said leisurely, I used the power of your blow, but... The Fire King raised his eyebrows. But what? Don't hem and haw. Xia Hai said in a low voice, it was shattered by Han Fei, with a single blow. The Fire King. This time, the Fire King had to take it seriously. The Avenger Pirates was just an ordinary pirate team in the first place. Although some news had spread, it couldn't be so strong, right? Wasn't the Avenger Han Fei only in the Half-King realm? Now even a Half-King could easily sweep away his attack? The Fire King pondered for a moment. This Avenger is probably not simple. Two. Be able to block my blow, it means that Han Fei has very likely transcended the tribulation and become a king. In addition, someone in the Martial Emperor City wants to trade two sea quelling bizarre treasures for his head, which is enough to prove this. Seeing that Xia Hai seemed to be seriously injured, the Fire King snorted and threw out a triple tribulation pill. Eat it. The inheritance of the Marshal. Emperor is going to open. It's not good to be injured at this time. After that, the Fire King threw out a ship and said, You no longer have any money, so I won't give you anything for now, to prevent you from being robbed. Again. Just go to the Marshal Emperor City like this. When we reach the Marshal Emperor City, I'll give you some resources. The Avenger pirates are not bloodthirsty people after all. Otherwise, you would have been slaughtered by them. What could Xia Hai and the others do? They could only leave like this. Fortunately, the Avenger didn't want to kill them. Otherwise, they would have been dead. On the other side, Xia Xiaochan asked curiously, why didn't we kill them? Han Fei said with a smile, although we've made many enemies on this trip. There's no need to be on a killing spree now. If we slaughter Xia Hai and the others now, the Golden Crow World's king will definitely be furious. Maybe he will be hunting us down all over the map. At that time, he will disturb us from continuing to rob. Also, Xia Hai and the others didn't do anything wrong. To me. I'm not a bloodthirsty person. Why should I kill them now? Xia Xiaochan rolled her eyes. But don't let the people from the soul ceiling. World go. Han Fei immediately slapped his thigh and said, that's impossible. As long as. They dare to come, I dare to wipe them out. One day passed. 
Han Fei happened to lead the route of the Golden Crow world. Song Kaiyuan said, within 30 million kilometers of the periphery of the Martial Emperor City, there is no such thing as a route or not. This is a free war zone. Here, sea establishers are not allowed to attack. Or rather, sea establishers can only attack sea establishers. Han Fei said, I'm not in the sea establishment realm, am I? After a moment of silence, Song Kaiyuan said, Well, I don't know if it can be counted. I don't think so. Han Fei sneered. Anyway, I don't attack much. I'll just leave the looting to you later. Oh, these are your spoils. There are a total of 500,000 ultra quality spiritual stones and 38 ultra quality divine weapons, as well as other resources worth probably 300,000 ultra quality spiritual stones. Mushue Sisi exclaimed, Ah! So many? Hanfei said, It's reasonable for the Avengers' own crew to get more resources. From today on, you can get 20% of the resources for every ship you loot. Hiss. Everyone couldn't help looking at each other. Only 20% of the resources? Didn't this mean that Han Fei had obtained 2.5 million ultra-quality spiritual stones? Han Fei exclaimed in his heart, these heavenly talents are really rich. A. Random robbery got him millions of resources. If they rob three groups a day, they can make a fortune in only three or five days. Han Fei tried his luck with the Nine Palace Luck Ruler and found that it was auspicious. Then he began to choose the direction with the vast ocean. Navigator in satisfaction. Han Fei thought for a moment and muttered, Except for the four heavenly palaces, the snow god palace, and the million. Poison world, all the heavenly palaces, including the hundred demon clan, the merman clan, and the ten pirate groups, which are the richest. He excluded the million poison world, because Han Fei felt that patriarch. Million poison might have discovered his identity. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble he decided not to scheme against them. Han Fei didn't know which world he would rob. In any case, with the vast ocean navigator guiding the way, they could just blame themselves for being unlucky. The Avenger opened its claws and began to hunt like a dormant beast. The big ship teleported five or six hundred thousand kilometers away every time. And the periphery of the Martial Emperor City was the free war zone. In this place, the direction didn't matter, so when Han Fei had the vast ocean navigator, he was destined to become a hunter. On the Medicine King World ship, a pioneer group of 32 people came on the ship. These 32 people were all half kings. From the name of the Medicine King Wang Qian, one may think that it was a place to nurture alchemists. In fact, that was not the case. It was precisely because of the large number of alchemists in the Medicine King world that there were more strong masters nurtured. In addition to alchemy, the people of the Medicine King world didn't specialize in any specific combat skills or techniques. At this moment, on the bow deck, everyone knew that they were arriving at the Martial Emperor City. For people like them, such opportunities were very rare. They usually didn't come to places like the Martial Emperor City. This time, they had a chance to participate in competing for the Martial Emperor's inheritance after a careful selection. At this moment, the people of the Medicine King world were all waiting. Eagerly. At the bow of the ship, a woman said, Mu Chen, it's a rare opportunity to come to the Martial Emperor City. It's said that everything can be traded. Here. We have to get the herbs for the level 5 tribulation pills. The young man nodded. It's time to show them the strength of our medicine. King World. 
Buzz. Suddenly, a big black ship broke out of the void. Most people were still wondering who had suddenly appeared. However, when someone saw the pirate skeleton flag, they immediately exclaimed, Pirates, it's the Avenger Pirates. Someone thought to himself, not good. This is a free war zone. How dare they? Rob here? Do they have a king behind them? Buzz. On the big ship of the Medicine King world, a middle-aged man stood proudly in. The air. Avenger pirates? Humph, robbing in front of me? Aren't you too? Arrogant? At this time, Han Fei chuckled. Medicine King World, right? Hand over five. Million ultra-quality spiritual stones, and three level three tribulation pills. And you can pass. Han Fei was asking for twice of what he got from the Golden Crow World. However, there was a king here, so it was normal for him to ask for more. The medicine king sneered. I'm afraid you're still asleep. How dare Amir? Half-king, speak so arrogantly to me? You only have seven half-kings under you. How dare you try to rob us? Hee <laughs> hee. Since you don't want to hand the money over, let's fight. Cut the crap. In the free war zone, although sea establishers were not allowed to attack at will, there was an exception. If you wanted to rob others, sea establishers could attack unconditionally. After all, you had already wanted to rob me, and I couldn't just watch my own people being robbed, right? Buzz. Han Fei slashed at the big ship of Medicine King World with both knives. Han Fei thought to himself, I'm already here. How can I return empty-handed?